Like, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah wa barakatuh. Brothers and sisters, I hope you're doing fine. We're back. We had a bit of a break for the last couple of days. Eat uh, Mubarak, may Allah accept all your good deeds and uh, your fasting, subhanAllah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept all the good that you've done. Amen. Um, yeah, we're back. SubhanAllah, we're back. And um, like I said, there's certain things that we wanted to improve on. We had time to think about certain things that we wanted to improve on. Uh, today, we're going to talk about uh, 200 for 200, which is the next campaign that we're going to be doing. 200 for 200, Salah Plus Map Day. It's going to be next week. We're going to have next week. We actually can put the title. We can put Salah Plus Map Day or Prayer Map Day. Um, so t next week, what we're planning to do is to give up 200 prayer mats in person in central London, uh, Leicester Square. It's the location for now. Uh, there are going to be more updates. It's a little campaign video we shot. Um, so yeah, bring your friends along. You know, it's going to be a gift box. We're preparing a gift box with uh, the prayer mats, uh, you know, and other gifts within um the, the the yeah the packaging that comes with it so we plan to do that uh chef mohammed is going to be there um ali is going to be there you know myself uh chef mohammed subhanallah so yeah that's going to be very very good so it's sort of like a yeah you know, a bit of an eat post eat celebration type of thing you know where we all come together for a couple of hours. Um, yeah, so that's next week. Uh, for those who live in London, for those who live near London, for those who can travel to London, uh, we're going to release, or well, we were supposed to release the video yesterday. Which one? Uh, the campaign video. Oh, yes, yeah, it's done. I'm saying it's done. But is it, has it been released? I don't think they've released it yet. Yeah. Well, we're going to release it in a couple of days. You oh, guys right. will see it everywhere. Um, and all the details are going to be there, inshallah. But yeah, we're going to be talking about this because we. Uh, and are, are there any people in the chat already talking? Yes. Okay, beautiful. Assalamu alaikum, chat. I hope it says your mic is not correct. Let me double check. My mic is not correct. Oh. How do I sound? Mic check, mic check. So yeah, Ali, Ali, Ali is here as well. He's just sorting out something. So we're gonna be it's gonna be myself and Ali today. Um, Chef Mom is not around. So yeah, come with that, brothers and sisters. We'll check out. See, see what, what we're going to do today. Check out. No, that's good. I can hear from it. Yeah. So, yeah, brothers and sisters, let's go. I'm just doing background, mate. I'm just waiting for Ali, I'm waiting for more people to join. That's all right. Today, we're going to talk about. Yeah, it's like an echo when you Yeah, mind. echo. Let me get the brothers here. Oh. Yeah. But yeah, in the meantime, we drove, we go, we're just having some we're just having some technical difficulties, however. So we're trying to fix everything. But like in the meantime, yeah, subhanAllah, Ramadan has been good. We are now in Shawal, you know, so a month of Shawal. Uh, I've been fasting as well for those couple of days. I've been fasting three days now so far, and you know I just thought I hadn't. I have. I have not been fasting for Shawa the last four years or so. I've not been fasting the last four years. So I thought, you know what, this year, um, I felt very engaged with Ramadan. I felt very energetic and strong. So I felt like, you know what, <clears throat> I think I have to continue to fast. Because like the most difficult thing about fasting is when you've been fasting for the entire month, say you drop out and you just go back to launch to your normal life for like a week after the you know after Eid, 
and then you you decide to go and do the fasting then i find it very difficult to fast consecutively uh because you kind of then your body has then adjusted itself to eating more regular so i thought you know what um let me continue fast um and see where it takes me because i feel like fasting again it really just kind of purifies uh your your it makes you strong strong willed going against certain uh you know sins or going against just you know um things that you know wouldn't be beneficial for for you as a believer so i, f- I felt like i was reaching a point towards the end of ramadan where i was really starting to like enjoy the fasting uh, and now i'm in that place where the fasting is actually like it's really having a benefit on it on, on me not to say that ramadan never had a benefit on me but for those people who feel like uh, ramadan hasn't been as successful i would strongly strongly recommend even now three days after eid or four days after eid, you should still jump on on on, on this you know because your body is still in that fasting mode um yeah, the shawal fasting the shawal fasting yeah a lot of the, the the people were asking how do i maintain you know my righteousness my piety how do i maintain or just doing good i mean maybe righteousness and piety is too strong but how do i maintain remaining good right and i feel like this fasting is very powerful i also want to like engage with the quran the shawal more i want to keep engaging with the quran uh, whether it's reading it, listening to it, um, dissecting it, you know, opening up, hearing different perspectives, and just really dicker, a lot of dicker as well. I haven't been doing it for the last couple of days, but more so, you know, at night time maybe as well. Um, yeah, all these things for Lahia are very important. Um, sorry, let me just... Uh, uh, okay, 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 let me just... Uh, Okay, yeah. So yeah, subhanAllah. So this fasting thing, alhamdulillah, man, it's um it's really starting to take me to a different place, you know. So I don't know I don't know why I don't do it more or like, or like throughout the year. So hopefully after Shawal I'll be able to incorporate fasting more into my life. Especially, you know, since I want to be focused, like there's certain goals I have. Yeah, and, and for those people who have goals and for those people who want to memorize things, for those people who want to achieve things in business or school or like uh, you know, physically, like fasting is a very, very good tool. It's a very, very good tool to, because remember, we, we, we fast to please Allah, first and foremost. That's the first thing why you fast. But there are byproducts. Uh, pros that come out of the process of fasting and um, I think if you're like performing I mean look at the, the football players like there's some football players that say that when they fast they perform much better you know I don't know if that's true for like a prolonged time I'm not a specialist in that but there are um, benefits in, in, in fasting in fact the best of fasting is the fasting where you fast one day, you know, you alternate. The fasting of Dawood is called the fasting of Dawood. He used to fast one day and then he would leave out one day. He would fast okay. one day and he would leave out one day. It's a kind of one thing about Dawood, which is very interesting. I'm going to go over there and then after Karim is going to follow me. One thing about Dawood is that he was very strong very physically strong he was able he said he was able to bend uh, iron no way. with his, his hands yeah, yeah he was uh he was yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, but he used to because i'm talking about fasting he was to do he used to do the alternation of fasting one day oh, fasting yeah yes yeah don't fast every day yeah, yeah, subhanallah and voila this shows again like just the balance the mizan like the balance of this religion is um don't go too much yeah. don't go too less don't go too much that's where you you meet but yeah and that's, I, and that's because the rights the rights of other people subhanallah like if, you yeah, if, you, if, you, if it was just for yourself yeah maybe you can yeah but you're valid because remember the companions you said oh i'm not gonna sleep yeah 
sneak this. I'm not going to fast. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to fast. I'm not going to have any intimacy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and he said, no. Yeah. Those who follow my story. Yeah. I could I sleep out in my rage. Right? Yeah. So it's, it's basically the rights of others. And it shows you the importance this time gives in the rights of others. Yeah. But also um, differentiating itself from like other religions because yeah. we're not monks, right? Because like the monks do things like that. And exactly. we... And, and is this very interesting? Yeah. Because Going to extremes in their religion, might that for example, you look at the mic, they're saying it's called noise coming from my mic or his mic? No, your mic. This mic, yes. Well, can you call that? Okay, one of you guys, though. Yeah, okay, let me know, guys. Is it, is it, is it, they can hear you, it's just that's an echo. Hello, can you hear me? Yeah, is that an echo? How many people watching? Your mic works, um, 80, people. 80 people. It's my mic working. Okay, guys, uh, apologies for the technical difficulties. Uh, Ali, do you want to just introduce yourself? Uh, hello. <laughs> yes, uh, brothers and sisters. What we're going to do today, brothers and sisters, is we're going to, inshallah, be open to QA if you guys want to call in. We're going to answer questions. Uh, but we're just going to try to fix the echo. Just give us a second here. Yeah? Okay, hello. One, one, two, three. Mic check. Yeah. Can you hear me? Please let me know. So yeah, for those people who've been missing us, we're back. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. <laughs> yeah. Stronger than ever. Stronger than ever. Mashallah. The names are still here. The top donors are still there. Yeah. What happened there? Uh, the Sadaqah wheel is still here. Uh, oh. Did you, did you did you jump into the water? Yeah, I need to do that, man. I need, oh. I need, I need, to, I need to do that. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that. Don't worry, don't worry, yeah. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we still owe. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm gonna do that. Don't worry, inshallah. Uh, can you guys hear me now? Let me know if you guys can hear me. Can you guys hear me, please? Yeah. But yeah, I was just talking to the crowd about yeah. um 200 for 200, which is the Salah plus mat day. Yeah. We're gonna give oh, 200 yes. prayer mats, inshallah, out, 200 for 200. Yes. And that's gonna be next week. Um, inshallah. It's gonna be a spectacle, mashallah. It's gonna be beautiful. Loads of like, um, you know, uh, the entire team is going to be there. So yeah. if anyone, you know, um, is in London uh, next week, yeah, your Muslim, non-Muslim friends, yeah, Muslim friends, but reverts, even born Muslims, you guys don't know how to pray. Come and get your yeah. guy to pray, man. I literally nice. just literally now I just received the message mm. from my brother. Yeah, for next week. Okay. He's a born Muslim. Okay. You know, and yeah. he's asking for uh, yeah. one one session. Yeah, perfect. You know, um, perfect. Tell him to come, like yeah. on the day, like for brothers, we can even like show, like even like you know, we can uh, like I said before, I want to demonstrate. Hopefully, the weather will be nice. Yeah. Hopefully, the weather yeah. will be nice. But we've got gazelle, anyways. Yeah. So, so yeah, guys. Alhamdulillah. So what was the reminder you were reminding you sharing about Dawood What was it? Oh well, yeah, I was just talking about obviously uh, Shawal and. You know, oh, okay. like just how it took me a month yeah. to really get used to the idea of fasting. Well, okay. And I'm starting to like, not like fasting, but yeah. like I can like mm. see the benefits because I'm stronger when it comes yeah. to certain things. For example, Laura, my gaze, bro, yeah. I'm a soldier, bro. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. Wow. I'm just like able to like really? fend it off wow. easier because That's before fun. it's like, Oh, but <laughs> now I'm just like no, no I'm not doing it. So like my willpower wow. is strengthened, and I, I can see I can see why the prophet would ad advise. Because mm -hmm. before I'll be honest, I never used to see it really. I was like, okay, I'm sure. Yeah, when I fast, I feel weaker, so I don't want it. That's true. I don't want to mm -hmm. like. I'm not. You know, I don't yeah. think about that stuff. But I wasn't really aware. Like now, I'm very aware of like mm -hmm. this idea of like just being strong and like not focusing on mm. certain things mm. and think about them you know like i'm more like easier to like righteousness or wow. doing righteous deeds not i'm saying that the deeds i'm doing are righteous but i'm just yeah. saying just doing good things mm. come easier to me wow. or like it just comes easier so when i felt that towards the end of ramadan i was like you know what mm. let me continue to fast because if i stop now and yeah. go back to the old routine yeah it's gonna be very difficult for me to do six days yeah yeah, yeah. it is it's true it's true yeah it's true, so even now, your body now, yeah, I, I would strongly recommend you if you can start fasting yeah, for Monday. Yeah, yeah. Just do it's Monday, fine. Tuesday. Look, it's just that one mm. week, and you're yeah. done. Yeah, it's true. You've it's done true. it. It's, it's actually very true. It's part of like, yeah, when you when you carry on something, like even in training. Yeah. When you just carry on, if if I know I take a week off, I see the remnants of it the following week when it comes to training, it affects me. 
Wow. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100%, bro. Like one when week it comes is training, enough. Bro, one week of missing boxing or one week of missing a jogging session. Jogging, yeah, maybe, but I don't know. But like, it, it you can see the remnants. That's why I avoid, even when I go abroad on holiday, mm. I don't chill. Like, people think I just go and chill. I don't. You go to I, the gym. I have to, I have to go for it. I have to j uh, jog. I, I have to because I know if your body starts getting used to that, mm. like, for example, I missed boxing last week because my coach wasn't there. Mm. I went yesterday, bro, wallahi, I'm telling you, my arms didn't feel the same. My arms hit in the bag. Then I was thinking, that's, and I was like, oh my gosh, even the, this week he flopped on me, but I went mm. myself to train myself, yeah? Mm. I was like, hell no. Just mm. a week, mm. it's, it's, it has a, you get it, you have a momentum. Yeah. That's yeah. why sometimes when I'm going jogging, for example, mm -hmm. you know when you got like an, again, upset stomach where you need to go to the toilet. Yeah. yeah if you have yeah. something really hot, yeah? Mm. Sometimes in mid jog, I get that, bro. Just imagine mm. Mm. the discomfort where you're, in blood sweating yeah 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 you're yeah. in the middle of a jog yeah in, 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 and i was jogging outside and you got this urge to go to the toilet bro yeah. it's the most uncomfortable place you ever want to be yeah but i knew that if i flop halfway in that jog it's a mental registration in my head of you flopped subhanallah you you flopped subhanallah and i was mm -hmm. like i can't I, yeah. and that's why anytime i jog i always ask allah, I go, allah please make it easy for me like Amen. i'm about to flop Mm. I, I turn to Allah because I'm like, oh, Allah, please. That's beautiful. Aid me, aid me, yeah? Mm. Bro, like, I'll tell you, like, for example, this is why I believe it's so important to have that relationship with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Not that I'm saying I have it, but I try to have that relationship even like small stuff. People think you need to have Allah in like yeah. big things that you ask. Even small stuff, for example, when I was jogging, mm. um, so I was tight for time. I was very tight for time because I'm, I'm on this program. I'm trying to get shredded, yeah? Mm. Just, just, it's, just a, it's just a challenge for me. Yeah? Not that I need it. Okay, I'm not fat. But the thing is just a challenge for me. So I can remember I was like, I have to go pick up my wife because we need to fix her phone. Her phone is broken. But I can I, I can see that. I can see the forearms coming through, you know. <laughs> the forearms. <laughs> yeah, so so, so the thing is this. Bro. Yeah, yeah. My wife gets angry. Yeah. yeah. She's like, she's like, why am I not t shirt for? I'm sorry, I'm yeah. sorry. <laughs> so I was like, the only time I have free is like, and I tried to fit, check this out. So I'm like, if I go home, I know my wife, she says she's ready, but I know she's another extra half mm. an hour, you know how women mm. are, yeah. So I can't go to the gym. So what I did is I would I, I drove, parked my car in Edmonton, mm. and I jogged home. Oh, okay. So, so I jogged home. So mm. at least I'm like, okay. By the time I get there, she'll be ready. She's not mm. gonna make me wait. I'm not losing that time. Mm. I'll have a shower because I'll be sweaty by the time. Because I'm using that time driving home mm. to do the jog. Mm. She'll get ready. We'll get a cab, just a cab, a five pound cab to my car. Mm. Do you get it? So from there, I did like a five k jog, bro. Yeah. But before I got there, bro, something in my head because I do always do my adkar. I'm about mm. to open my and do my adkar now. Yeah. Mm. Adkar is very important. I believe like hundred well, percent. Yeah? Very true. Very Fundamental. True. It's just something said to me. Um, just do your adkar. Like, well, like early, early, early. Like early. I was planning to do it when I get home. So it's just going to be like 15 minutes before sunset. But you usually do the adkar before. I thought, okay, before I do my joke, I said, let me just do my adkar. I did my adkar. For some reason, before that, I had the, the reason why I wanted to do my adkar is because I had a thing in my head that I'm going to jog. My wife's phone is broken. I'm going to trip. For some reason, it came to my head, I'm going to trip. I'm either going to break my leg or because remember, I twisted my ankle. No, using that. My brother was there. Mm -hmm. uh, Abdul Karim was there. Yeah. Huh? Okay, we're going to come to a question, yeah? So in my head, for some reason, just a vision came to my head where yeah. I was like, I'm going to fall. Yeah. Then my wife's phone is like, I can't contact. I'm going to have to contact mm -hmm. my mom. Mm -hmm. And she's going to have to pick me up. This scenario just came in my head. Mm -hmm. Anyways, I said, okay, let me just do my head card. So I did my head card, yeah, bro. Check this out. Oksam Bella. Bro, I'm jogging. I'm jogging, 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 jogging. And as I'm going, I looked on the floor. I saw a broken brick, mm -hmm. pointy broken brick on my footpath. Mm -hmm. But it's like, I'm a, I, I saw it when I'm about to step on it. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> so, bro, check this out. Wallahi, I stepped on it. I twisted my ankle. Mm. Look, check this out. I twisted my ankle because yeah. I stepped on it, bro. Mm. It's not even, it's like, a, imagine you press on something like this. My foot went like that. And I was like, this is crazy. I was like, I was flipping the vision. It's like, it's like a, a self-prophecy, yeah? Wallahi, literally, bro, I twisted my ankle and I was like, and I went, ah, mm. literally, yeah? And I was like, man, if because I'm not even halfway to my jog, and I, and you know, I hate that, and it's never happened to me. Mm. So I went, ah, uh, buckled a little bit, and I was because for me to stop, I have to because I'm in this pace, and I carried on, and I was about to stop, but I was like, okay, okay I'm carrying on, and I just carried on, I started jogging, jogging, and I, and the, even though the pain was there, I managed to jog on. Mm. So <laughs> I jogged on. I genuinely believe it's the adkar that protected me. Yeah? I jog oh, on. I jog on. Aki wallahi. Wallahi, I'm telling you, I jogged on because mm -hmm. I twisted my ankle. Usually, you have to. Yeah, you twitch people know. Yeah, bro, I carried on. I just said, "Oh Allah, please help me." Yeah, mm -hmm. bro, mm -hmm. I jogged, jogged, jogged a bit further down, bro. I nearly tripped over. You know when you trip over when you're yeah. trying to stable yourself, but you might fall, bro. I stable. 
Ross Taylor mm. was over again. And I said, Well, he's the Athkar. I don't care mm. what anybody says to me. Yeah. Two times, it was the Athkar. I believe if I didn't do the Athkar, I believe I would have t- injured my feet properly mm. and I would have stopped there. So, Athkar is very important. Sometimes Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives you these little clues, I believe. Yeah. Yeah, subhanallah. Yeah. So, yeah. it's yeah. very important, guys, to have that relationship with Allah. The Sahaba had that. The Sahaba would do it. Istikhara, mm. when it comes to picking clothes, mm. we just know istikhara for marriage. Yeah, they used to do istikhara of oh Allah. Yani, allow me to pick the right one. So it's very important to do that. Inshallah. <laughs> Oh, Afkar, I'll tell you, okay, Afkar is basically your morning and evening supplication. The Prophet, peace be upon him, told us that it protects you from evil eye, evil eye magic, uh, physical harm, unless what Allah willed, yeah? So whatever Allah willed will happen, but generally it protects you from that. Besides your free calls that you do, besides your salah that you do that protects you, this is just an extra shield. You know when you're like going to war or whatever, it's just that extra armor, that extra armor. Mm-hmm. Like sometimes, you know when you like, some soldiers get hit, yeah? Mm-hmm. And it was like, right, that, if I didn't put that extra arm, it was going to go through. Mm. It's that little edge that I had. That's what it is. It's that edge that you need that will protect you from evil eyes, sihr, waswasa, uh, so many other things. Unless, even physical harm, unless what Allah wills. Mm. Meaning that what Allah willed, if it's your death, is death. If you're gonna, yeah. that, that's going to happen, yeah? But general stuff that you're going to get harmed with, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protects you from that. And I'm going to do my adhkar in a minute, inshallah. But in the meantime... Um, I think today it's not, we're not focused on fundraising. Yeah. But we'll give you a little reminder here and there, inshallah, because we've done absolutely phenomenal. St- like, I was just speaking to Pep. Yeah. He was he was flabbergasted. He was like, I cannot <laughs> believe it. Like, you guys, he goes, what you, he yeah. goes, what you guys raised in, yeah. in, in a year, you raised that in 15 days, the first yeah. 15 days. Like, yeah, he was flabbergasted. Yeah. And he's a non-Muslim, yeah. subhanAllah. And he was so happy for the charity like organization. Yeah, like yeah, exactly. So is it the donation link left? Uh, Which donation link? This one? Okay, no problem. Can we add that link to the chat? Huh? Come on, I know that. You're too, you're too sharp, bro. You're too legit to quit. So, Handel, how many people watching, bro? 102 people watching. So, guys, it's very important. Download your Afkar app. Yeah, okay. Afkar app is very important. Do it every single time. It's very important, yeah, brothers and sisters. Absolutely, absolutely. Uh, this is not sponsored, guys, by the way. Athkarab is not sponsored. It's absolutely free. You can download it. Uh, use discount code Alida, and I'm joking. It's absolutely free. Afkarab. Any Afkarab you go to, guys. This one that I recommend you guys. It's called uh, A D H K A R A D H, yeah, yeah, like A D H. Aggressive. Yeah. What is it called? Is it aggressive. <laughs> no. A D H. Attention. Something. Oh, is it? Okay, I don't. A D H K A R. I've cat up. Inshallah. Uh, it reminds me every time. Look, for example, it tells me that I have to do it. It's beautiful. Allah. Easy. Look. Okay, I read it here. <coughs> look. Read it here. Subhanallah. Look. Like for example, this one. Yeah. Oh Allah, you are my Lord. You read in Arabic. Mm-hmm. And it goes on. So this one is, Oh Allah, you are my Lord. There is uh, uh, none worthy of worship but you. You created me and I am your slave. I keep your covenant and my pledge to you so far as I am able. I seek refuge in you from the evil of what I have done. I admit to you, I admit to your blessings upon me and I admit to my misdeeds. Forgive me for there is none who can forgive but you. There's one very interesting one in the Athkar that we do, yeah? yeah? It's that, I find it so interesting. Yeah? In a minute, I'm going to give mm. it to you. I'm going to do my Athkar, yeah? yeah? It takes about two and a half, three minutes. You memorize the whole thing. I've been doing it for years, so you memorize it, yeah? You, you don't even need it sometimes to see on the phone. But there's one bit in the Athkar that it says, Oh Allah, do not leave me to myself for a split second. Wow. And I thought that's so profound. Wow. Because Allah says in the Quran, in, in Juz Amma, uh, that it says that Allah says, and we have incl- created you with inclination of good and evil, mm. yeah? So you need to understand, you're even asking Allah, do not leave me Mm-hmm. To myself for a split second. You know what that means? That means you yourself are a fitna to yourself. Okay. Yeah, that you don't even want to be left. And this is so profound. Yeah. Do you not leave me to my own self for a split second because mm-hmm. you have inclinations of evil. Mm-hmm. SubhanAllah. So this is very, very profound, guys. Inshallah. The donation link is there. Like I said before, guys, we've had an amazing, amazing Ramadan. Thanks to you guys, donation. You guys have been absolutely phenomenal. May Allah bless and preserve you guys. I mean, I mean. We are just going to give some reminders of fundraising. If you guys can give it Allah, we we'll really appreciate it. You know why we've sent the guided prayer mats? Off, inshallah, we're just trying to recover <laughs> those costs. Uh, alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, it will just help our operations to carry on for the next. We're not just doing this for year to year, mm. we have a vision for the next 10 years. Yeah, the vision is 10 years, 20 years, guys. So, when we're asking for these funds, etc., it is to est- uh, establish and stabilize, inshallah, for the future. Because me and Dawood, we are gonna we're gonna die, we're gonna go. Mm. We want this to be a sadaqa jari for us, for Abdul Kareem, for Jabi. We want this to carry on. That's why these funds that we're raising, subhanallah, you will see it's not this doesn't mean our operation uh, costs are 
two hundred thousand a year. It's most certainly not so. Yeah, mm. most certainly uh, not certainly uh, uh, most not certainly most certainly not uh, sisters mm. as well. So the the point is this: that we're trying to get those funds because as the organization grows, those funds will be uh, uh, stabilized. Inshallah. So there, there might be a rainy day, mm. etc. Mm. So bear that in mind, inshallah, guys. So we're three hundred and twenty-three pounds away from our next target, inshallah. Just to remind you guys, brothers and sisters, a uh, hundred pounds will teach, uh, inshallah. What was it um, six, 16? 16 people, I think. 16 people, right? Mm. Let me just double check, inshallah. 16 to 32. Yeah, 16 to 32, guys, inshallah. Yeah. So, uh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, around 16 people will get the guided prayer, inshallah. If we have, where's my brother? Where? Okay, Martin. Okay, Martin. Okay, so, guys, the donation link is there, inshallah. We are just uh, asking you guys to donate whatever you can. We're at 323 pounds short, inshallah. Uh, Brahm says, if you can donate whatever you can, we really appreciate it. It will help teach someone to learn Surah Fatiha and Salah. 16 people will get the guided prayer mat. Can we get the guided prayer mat just so we can show the people? Yeah. So, if there is any, yeah. So, so, so guys, yeah. Today. Yeah, exactly. So, if there is anyone out there that can give guys in the next, uh, we've got 34 minutes, inshallah. If we can have just five people to give a hundred pounds, guys, that will help teach 16. Maximum to 32 people. And on the new guided prayer mass, by the way, the order we sent off the print, mm. uh, what we did is we wrote at the bottom, I uh, last minute panel, I remembered. Um, so this is the guided prayer mat, guys. As you mm. can see, it teaches people how to pray Salah. In the latest one, yeah. at the bottom, we wrote here, mm -hmm. um, please, once you've learned how to pray Salah, please give this Pass to someone else. Wow. Yes. I remember wow. the last minute because we were thinking, because you know when we say mm. uh, teaches 16 to 32, 32 people, yeah. We're implementing that because yeah. by saying that, you know yeah. what, pass it on. Now, this might end up being more than that. Mm. Do you get know what I'm trying to say? So, guys, this is the guided prayer mat. You will help, inshallah, for us to print, inshallah, 16 of these that will help teach 16 people. Imagine 16 people learning salah thanks to your donation and learning surah fatiha. Brothers and sisters, me and Dawood have been, Dawood's been a Muslim for 17 years. I've been a Muslim for 11 years. Combined, do you guys want to, let, let's do a little quiz. How many times do you think, uh, you can use calculator, no problem. 17 years, 11 years, 28 years. 28 years, we recite Surah Fatiha 17 times a day. You do the math, okay? I'll even break it down for you, yeah? 28 times 365 times 17, yeah? How many how many times, and for those who don't want to use a calculator and do a rough guess, go ahead. Let's do a little quiz. I'm not going to tell you. How many times do you think me and Dawood recite Surah Fatiha just in our Fat Salah since we came to Islam? So 11 years Muslim, 17 years Muslim, 20 years in total. We do it. We recite it 17 times a day. You do the maths, inshallah, and let us know. In the meantime, guys, we're going to get some calls. Uh, do we have callers? Okay, we're going to get the, let's get the question as well, inshallah, and then we'll go to the caller. Alhamdulillah. So, uh, so far, guys. Okay, so qu quit in porn addiction. Mm. Is anything, do you have speaking? Let's see, I have one, but. Yeah, I would say, um, are, you, are you married? Is the person married? That's just the first question. If the person is married, Triggers, you know, triggers are very important from what I've seen, from what I've heard is that triggers are the most dangerous thing here is that if you don't want to do, uh, when, if you don't want to watch porn anymore, what are the things that trigger you to watch porn? Is it stress? Is it images online? Is it, um, when you, who you hang out with, you know, is it not lowering your gaze? You know, there's so many things that attribute to the the act of of watching porn and, and 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 truly truly pornography even the non-muslims have realized it's truly devastating form of media it's just very devastating it kills the soul the people who are involved well like that's a video right now that's gone viral on youtube why in the video goes why so many porn actresses kill themselves wow really yeah, they kill themselves. You should, you should do a reaction. Really? really? I send it to you. No yeah. way. Yes, my bro. Yes, Say what? Wallah. Wallahi, my bro. Yo, you got to show that to me. Let me show. Let me send it to you. Right oh, it's now. busy. Yeah, we need to reaction here right, right now. Yeah, yeah. Can you find a video? Wow. Well, oh, oh, even the men. So you're saying it's mainly women? Mainly women, but it's also men. Yeah, yeah. Why porn actress die, bro? Like. That's crazy. It's 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 a video, yeah. It, yeah, like look, why so many porn this guy? Send that to me, please. I'll yeah. do a reaction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah, um it's it's, it's, it's okay. Is it person personally it has nine hundred nine hundred twenty eight view 
views. Let's have loads, million views almost. 120,000 views. 900. 900,000. So, guys, so panel, I would personally say, well, like, I'll be honest with you, for different people, uh, different things work. But I would be honest with you guys, yeah? Like, well, like, with this kind of stuff, you need to understand. Like, I know, I know one brother, for example, he had, he had this issue. And he said going to the graveyards or burying someone um, caused him to stop. Yeah. So going to the graveyards, etc., burying somebody caused him to stop watching this. Subhanallah. Oh. So for some people, it works in different ways. And and brothers and sisters, well, I believe me, it's 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 the same. It's the same, Subhanallah, brothers and sisters. That um, like sometimes you have to go and see the reality. And that's that's what the Prophet peace be upon him said. Death is a destroyer of all pleasures, brothers and sisters. So I would say different things work for different people. But asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, asking him if you truly, truly want to abstain from a certain specific sin, brothers and sisters, if you truly, truly want to do that, inshallah, then I would highly suggest you guys ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to aid you. And believe me, if you really, so true, really hate so something, true, so true, Allah so true. will give you a way out. Allah says, if you fear me, fear me what? Means what? You hate it. You hate the action. You hate doing it. You hate... Uh, Getting involved in the sin, so subhanallah, brothers and sisters. So that means that look, if you hate it and you show Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you genuinely want to stop it, I mean, come on, it's like that. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Yes, we're here as a test, it's a test uh, in the dunya, but brothers and sisters, it's like your coach, it's like your mom or father, they want to see how bad you want to stop it or how bad you want something. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Sometimes you want something, they just your parents want to see how bad do you, do you want this? Let's see how, how much you want to work for it, and then they give it to you, and then they allow it. They have the capabilities of. Get a new but they just want to see how bad you want it. And once you prove to your mother or father, they see the dedication, you waking up in the morning and the and the and the actions you're taking forward to abstain from it. Do you think Allah will leave you alone in that? No, He would rather help you. He would rather help you when He sees. That's what Allah says in the Quran. We do not change the condition of man until He changes what's within Himself. We need to see the effort. We need to see the effort. Like Musa alayhi salam, with the permission of Allah, when he put his stuff on the sea and it opened. Why did he need to do that action? Why did Maryam alayhi salam need to shake a palm tree? How could a uh, woman who's pregnant yeah. shake a palm tree? Yeah. The point is what? You need to put the effort in. The effort has to be there and then you leave it to Allah. This is very important. That's what I would say, yeah. Do you have any callers? Okay, we've got one caller, but we need to make sure we see their face, please. Uh, in the meantime, guys, we are still 323 pounds away from our target. 323 pounds away from our target, guys. In the next 28 minutes, I'm just looking for five people to give 100 pounds. 100 pounds will help teach brothers and sisters um, 16 to 32 people to learn how to pray Salah, guys. They would 16 people will receive this guided prayer mat that will teach them Salah. And not only that, uh, teach them to memorize Surah Fatiha, guys. So the choice is yours, inshallah. Please, please come forward, inshallah, and give whatever you can. The oh. donation link is there. Is it also on the chat, bro, the donation link? Also, I would say just... Pinned? Okay, I'll, I'll play it one second. Also, I would just say, just before we go to the caller, uh, regarding the person who said he wants to stop um, watching porn, yeah. repentance. Repentance. Well, lie yes. I don't think people understand how important repentance is. Repentance is so, so important. Because the idea is this. If someone is persisting in a sin, or someone continues to com com commit the sin, if you equally consist uh, persistent in your repentance, yes. the repentance is going to beat this sin. Yes. And this is from Abu Bakr. There was a person in this hadith. I don't like telling people to. Uh, no, no, this, no, this is a different hadith, actually. This I like telling people. Yes. This hadith is about Abu Bakr. One person came to Abu Bakr and he said to me, Abu Bakr, what happened if I, if I sin? What, what am I supposed to do? He says, repent. He says, what if I sin again? He says, repent. He says, what if I sin again? He says, repent. He says, if I sin again? He says, Repent, repent, repent until you defeat shaitan. Because this is one thing that Christians don't understand and other people don't understand when it comes to repentance, including some Muslims. The thing with repentance is that sincere repentance is becomes very difficult to be sincere. Because remember, the person or the yeah. thing that you repent to is Allah. Allah knows what is in your heart. You can't hide it. So repentance is not something that is easy if you sincerely repent you say ya rabbi i'm sorry i'm so sorry i don't want to do this thing then that's what allah comes in and helps you yes this is why repentance is the, the 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 key the key to keep yourself with allah and within the the mercy of allah and the rahmah of allah because this is the problem sometimes people they sin and they sin again and they say oh why well, am i going to repent i know i'm going to do this again that's literally uh, uh, kufr almost. You know, this is why it's, it's so bad 
to preemptively say, oh, look, I'm going to sin again anyway. No. Mm. When you repent, the, the state of mind is, I will never ever sin again, even though you will sin again. Mm. But the state of mind is, I will never ever sin again. I will never ever do the thing. Mm. When you do the thing again, you do the exact same thing again. Yeah. And what happens to your psychology and your, your soul, your, your ruh, is that it, it, it becomes unbearable, subhanAllah. It becomes unbearable to continue to do that exact sin. And with time, wallahi, you, you will overcome this, inshallah. May Allah aid you and make, may Allah make it easy for you. We live in very troubling times. Uh, Abdul Karim, I've sent you the video. We can do like a brief uh, yeah. thing, thingy. We over can, inshallah. We can, bro. Yeah. We are 323 pounds away from our target, 323 guys. 323 pounds only, inshallah. Brother and sisters, if you guys are watching, we just need three people to give a hundred pounds. A hundred pounds would help teach 16 people to get the guided prayer mat and learn how to pray salah, guys. Imagine you are the reason why somebody has learned sort of fatiha. Somebody mm. knows how to pray salah thanks to your donation. It's just a hundred pounds. You can give whatever you like, guys, inshallah. You can give five pounds, ten pounds, three pounds. Absolutely fine. So please, please come forward and give whatever you guys can, inshallah. Uh, we are, we were talking about the issue of pornography. Somebody asked a question. SubhanAllah, uh, mm. and I would say that there are so many uh, uh, pornography act actors, yeah, actresses, uh, actresses, actresses, actors. Yeah. Uh, so is it mainly female or male? It's mainly female, yeah. Mainly females commit suicide. Yeah, unfortunately, wow, well, it's, it's it's an absolute humiliation. Yeah. They, they, you know, yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the way they are degraded. Yeah, uh, yeah. like well, I, I, yeah. I mean, subhanallah, and so not only it's, that, it's either suicide. It or... destroys their soul. Or it does, bro. It, it destroys does. your it, it destroys does. your soul. It does, bro. Especially a woman. You yeah. know, especially a woman, yeah. the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created a woman. Yeah. It's subhanallah, once that haya element is gone, you know, like the Prophet peace be upon him said, if you have no haya, do as you please. Yeah. You know, subhanallah, yeah. it 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 robs you. It, I believe pornography destroys your soul. Mm -hmm. It destroys your soul, brothers and sisters, mm -hmm. subhanallah. You know, and believe me, I believe all of the evils that we have on our earth is connected to this. Mm. It's connected to murderers, even like there's there's some uh, correlation. Yeah, Even like you know, yeah, mass, yes, a yes. lot, a lot of the uh, yes. actresses, serial killers, yeah, they, um, their partners kill them. Really? Yeah, stuff like that. There's like murder. Yeah, hundred percent. Sometimes it's drug abuse because yeah. obviously they can't bear, um, the, the act that they're doing. I mean, I, 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 there's like these podcasts where there's these girls, they're all have girls, and they're like literally like, I believe in God and I pray, I pray to God every day. I know what I'm doing is wrong. Um, it's I brought it's unbearable. It's the it, bro, you have to the youth is in it, yeah. I mean, you're making it beautiful to yourself. Yeah. It's bro, even shit, even shit, can't do it, yeah. You know, you people just know it's freaking wrong. And I saw this other video, we can yeah. try find it, yeah. It was of this like young girl, yeah. So she she's having an interview with her younger brother, yeah, right. And yeah, her, her younger brother's trying to explain to her because yeah. she's all of all of model, yeah. He's trying to explain to her, look. The things that you're doing, you don't understand that yeah. back home where we're from, because you're in Miami now, but where we're from, yeah. like, it's affecting my life. I go to school, people, like, look at me and be like, how can you be okay with this? Mm -hmm. Young guy, you know, and then you see the sister, she's been, like, very defensive, in it, yeah. Like, because she has to. And then he, 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 he's in tears, and he says, like, look, I won't be able to find a girlfriend, <laughs> stuff like that. I want to be able to go to university and apply because people will know about me. You're destroying my life. You know what? I can't do this anymore. He gets up, he starts crying. And she's like, yo, bro, like what's going on? It's like totally oblivious mm -hmm. because it's this, um, this idea of fast money. And these people, like a lot of these sisters, they don't understand that this fast money thing comes with a huge price to pay, a yeah. humongous price you're paying. Yeah. Look at this, this, that's one, I don't want even want to mention her name. Yeah. She's very famous. She used yeah. to do hijab. Yeah, 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 To this day. Yeah. She says, sometimes when I look at men, I feel like they're, yeah, they're undressing they're, they're, me. Yeah. You know, you know, if it's not a solution for a niqab. Bro, of course. Niqab. Yeah. Well, hundred percent, hundred percent. Someone yeah. like her, I yeah. would definitely recommend you. Hundred percent. Away from the public life because. Well, like, it will fix your. Yeah. The. Yeah. Dunya and your soul. She's been married It'll... three times. That the one that I'm talking about. Really? Divorce, 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 divorce. Of course, 100%. Divorce. Bro, how in the world? Yeah. Bro, these women, they say, oh, men are insecure. They say, they love you, man. the men are, you know, well, I just if, need if... to find a secure man that accepts secure you. Man. Well, like, the, the, the man that doesn't accept you is a secure man. It's an insecure one that will accept you. Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. It's true. Bro, it's true. an insecure man would be like, 
yeah, 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 I'm okay with it because yeah. he's, he's insecure. Yeah, he doesn't insecure, want to lose you. Exactly, insecure yeah. man will say, "Get the flipping out." Yeah, of man. course. Get that that's that. Man. That's the truth. That's the truth. Yeah, there. yeah, that's yeah. The yeah. That's, that's the because yeah. this idea of like insecure, insecure, yeah. bro. Listen, then I'll be a man. Then, then all of you girls are insecure because yeah. most of the women would never want to share their man. Yeah, exactly. So you're yeah, exactly. insecure then as well. Yeah, then. exactly. But this, this, this double standards hypocrisy that I see. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm amongst sisters or women. Should I say yeah? yeah? Double standards yeah. and hypocrisy. Like there was one video I was I was going to do a reaction video to. Yeah. Um, they just read it and just like yeah. I think it's a Muslim woman. I can't remember. She's like, yeah, uh, my my husband found out that I committed in a three months before our ma marriage. Okay, before, I before I got married. Yeah, yeah? something. Like that. Go to the comment section. How dare he look at your uh, past? How dare you go in? The okay, I understand. He should not yeah. go on the phone, etc. How did? No, no, no. I'm like, well, hold on a second. Rewind, rewind, yeah. bro. One second. Yeah. Let's suppose. Yeah. Let's suppose three months into the marriage, he says, "I want a second wife." Yeah. Leave yeah. him. Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. Shut, yeah. shut yeah. your mouth. So yeah. Yeah. when yeah. it's yeah. this is a man is bothered by your past. You're bothered by a man's future. Mm -hmm. No problem. We're both with different stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Of course, we would say it's better that he doesn't. Yeah. But you will have a go at him and be like, how is he even going? Why is he going yeah. through your phone? That yeah. was in your past session. What? Three yeah. months. Let me tell you something. Yeah. Me personally, me or myself, yeah. if I found that three months, darling, I'm, I'm divorcing you yeah. on the spot. Yeah. 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 Spot. Yeah. 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 That is yeah. me. Mm -hmm. That is me as a human being. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Is it yeah. better thing to do not to? Yes. Me as a human being, me as Ali. There might be bro, other, I, I, might, I, bro, I would argue even within your rights, bro. Bro, bro, get the get up. You Three months. Could, are so, you mad? Bro. Because that you could even equate a child to me, bro. Yeah, yeah. You know, of course, the, of course, of course, about. Of course. That's why I say zina. When a woman commits zina, it's worse. Not in the Sharia sense, yeah. because the Sharia sense it's the same, yeah. Yeah. But a woman can equate a child to you, yeah, bro. Yeah, 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 you could yeah, be looking yeah. after a child that's not speaking, yours. So, so that's the reason why. Speaking. Why do you think it's it's the children take the father's name? Yeah. Because we know who the mother is. You can't doubt the mother, but the father. Do you get it? Yeah. That's why they adopt the father's name. So so the thing is, I just see double standards hypocrisy uh, the, the <coughs> in this in this aspect. But anyways, go to, uh, on, on, Dude, uh, so we have two callers. But before before we have two callers, we have three hundred and twenty. We're three hundred twenty-three pounds away from our target, yeah. guys. Three hundred and twenty-three pounds away from our target. Uh, huh? Yeah, three hundred twenty-three pounds away from our target, guys. If you guys are watching this, hundred pounds will teach sixteen people to learn how to pray salah. Inshallah. I'm just looking for three people in the next 18 minutes, guys, to give a hundred pounds. Just a hundred pounds in the next uh, 18 minutes, guys. Inshallah. Let's get some callers. Yeah. Do we have any callers? Let's see. Yeah. So, guys, if you want to join us, join us. But in the meantime, <laughs> after Karim, I send you the link. Okay. Well, we won't react to it entirely. But um, is it possible to play it over there? Say that again. Do we have no callers? How many people watching? How many? People oh yeah, watching? there is, there is. How so, many people watching? One hundred fifteen people watching. So what happened? You can play it. Because uh, Ali, the video is behind you. Oh sorry. Yeah. I can't hear it. No, he hasn't played it yet. Okay, we're gonna work. Okay, well, let's give some. Tell people what we're doing. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, by the way, there's not some mad scenes in this. Yeah? No, 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 no. Are you sure? About, are you sure they're not? No. no, no I shouldn't. Are you sure? No, no, because obviously he's promoting goodness. No, I know, but he might because to them they're okay with showing like it's, it's, one second, but just be careful because let's just double check this. Double please, check, yeah. yeah. Let's just double, double check because you might have some woman who's just oh, popping up in We're gonna do a reaction video to this thing showing about uh why uh, porn, uh, porn, uh porno actors uh actresses who kill themselves, subhanAllah. Uh, we're gonna be talking about that inshallah. It is a sensitive topic. We're just gonna double watch inshallah to see there's nothing uh, crude uh, on there. Uh, in the meantime, guys, we're 323 pounds away from our target. It's an open QA. You can call in, you can ask questions, inshallah. Please come forward, guys, inshallah, and give whatever you can. We're 323 pounds away from our target. Help teach someone to learn salah. Help someone to get this guy to pray, mat, guys, inshallah. Last year, we sent out nearly 10,000 of these bomb sisters, and we taught 10,000 people directly and indirectly how to pray salah. Somebody getting this guy to pray, mat, guys, will teach them how to learn how to pray salah. This will teach them Surah Fatiha, brothers and sisters, yeah? Many, many people are learning Surah Fatiha, learning how to pray Salah. Thanks to your amazing donation you guys done, brothers and sisters. Please, please come forward, inshallah. And do not miss this opportunity, guys. We're 323 pounds away, exactly. We haven't had a single donation just, just yet. We're 16 minutes away. 16 minutes away, guys, inshallah. Please, 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 I'm urging you guys, come forward and give whatever you can. You guys have been absolutely splendid, amazing throughout Ramadan. You guys donated and believed in this project, guys. And we are just inshallah carrying on to get uh, those funds inshallah coming in. So we're 323 pounds away from our target. 323 pounds away from our target. Uh, let's go, guys, inshallah. Bismillah. <laughs> yeah, so there's like at the at the beginning, two minutes. 
yet but otherwise it's okay yeah no let's let's not let's not watch that okay cool let's not watch that inshallah okay anyway yeah but you can just talk about it anyway yeah but, we can talk yeah, about inshallah yeah so we asked someone asked a question about pornography addiction but yeah in the meantime do you have any callers Uh, you need to show your face or you will be kicked out. Uh, please show your face. Yeah, any callers, please uh, show your face. Show yeah. your faces, please, guys. Or you can ask your questions as well. Please let me but know. Yeah, brothers and sisters, obviously we're still here. Um, obviously, this is going to be a regular thing, inshallah, as well. Once we have a, a you know, bigger studio, inshallah, um, inshallah we're moving to. But like, um, yeah, so brothers and sisters, this is an ongoing thing. Please, I want you really, and you remember we're talking about the Salah Plus culture. The Salah plus culture is all about consistency because the prayer is not powerful if you do it once or twice. Yeah. The prayer is powerful when you do it your whole life. That's when the power, that's when you get the benefits of the prayer. Well, like there's some of the Salaf, they used to say about the night prayer, they only start to like it after 20 years. Oh, wow. The first 20 years, they hate it. They disliked oh, it. Oh, wow. Then the next 20 years, that's when they start liking it. SubhanAllah. Wow. So the point we're trying to make... Uh, and fasting and everything else and even sadaqah subhanallah brothers and sisters wow. sadaqah is the same thing subhanallah it's an ongoing thing salah plus is an ongoing project it's something that happens throughout right now on my phone i have messages of new people already interested in uh one-to-one -one prayer sessions mm. that he has one prayer yeah matt but he wants a prayer sessions on top wow wow so the prayers matt reach him somehow subhanallah oh wow yeah really? yeah so he wants to now do a session with us. So the point I'm trying to make is, brothers and sisters, as uh, Ramadan is finishing, the numbers and the requests are going up again. Yeah. So we will be very busy. Uh, but yeah, the exactly. vision, remember the vision, uh, Salah Plus is divided into four, right? Department number one, Salah Plus, mat distribution. In fact, next week, brothers and sisters, next week we're going to have a campaign it's 200 for 200, which means we're going to give away 200 Salah Plus mats in central London. We're going to invite all the people from London. You can come and we're going to have like gift bags yep. to give away. And that's one of our, you know, uh, mission statements. Uh, it's within our, you know, operational uh, mm. uh you know uh, goals for this year it's to connect with people um in person as well yep. and really open up the salah max hubs across uh the country so mm. um department number one salah plus distribution we have the salah plus uh campaign next week 200 for 200 then number two one-to-one -one prayer sessions uh workshops subhanallah Sheikh Mohammed is already very busy doing that. I was just before Ramadan was very busy doing that. I will resume doing that. One to one sessions, inshallah. We are expanding the team. We, are, we have more um, uh, instructors, uh, Salah instructors uh, assigned to individuals. Uh, hub or department number three is the app, which is connected to. Um, uh, uh department number four so we are you know we're looking to to you know design an app that yeah. is connected to the website and that's also connected to the salah hubs across the uh the country so the app itself subhanallah will have you will have the ability to look at the nearest salah hub in your vicinity. you'll be able to book salah sessions through them you'll be able to see how many salah mats are available within your area that you live in subhanallah mm. and then obviously number five number four which yeah. is the salah hub itself which also will be be accessed through the website subhanallah brothers and sisters we are looking to improve the website and uh, we had over two thousand unique visitors and for anyone who knows anything about e-commerce or just websites that is quite impressive especially because it's organic so it was organic 2000 visitors we didn't put out any ads or campaigns people came and have visited the website and have used the website mm. so we try to improve the website and then obviously last but not but least the salah hubs the salah hubs is going to be basically the idea where the salah plus mats will come near you we want to open up to 50 salah hubs 
across the UK and Europe, and then obviously eventually expand uh, internationally, which means it will help us tremendously with cuts and cost. It will also help us with getting the salamets to you guys much more quicker, because then you can go and visit those hubs where you have we will have the, the mats within the mosque or cultural centers or Dawa organizations. And you will also be able to like learn the how to pray. So we really, really think of this in a bigger scale. And, and, and one thing I think that I've learned as well with Salam is that we are very, very, very keen on being as effective as possible with as little as, like, as, as, little as we have. And this is how you see that there's barakah. If you can use one pound to do six things, subhanAllah, then there's, there's barakah in there. Exactly. And that's exactly. literally what we're trying to we're, do here. We're distributing the fund. Yeah. And not only that, tomorrow I have, not tomorrow, Monday I have a meeting with the app developers uh, nice. for the Salah Plus app, inshallah, nice. and the website. Nice. Straight away, because as you guys know, there's been attacks on our website yeah. <laughs> by the enemies of Islam. And they're trying to come in different ways. It's not working. They're coming and attacking here. Yeah. When they attack, people start donating more. Yeah. Uh, so they, uh, they try to come and play. Uh, they try to come and play pornography on the channel. So our channel gets shut down. Yeah. That doesn't work because uh, it's not working anymore because we uh, verify their faces. Mm. So they attack the website. It's not working. It's not working. You know, what? we're just coming stronger, uh, you know, much stronger and faster, yeah. inshallah. So guys, uh, we are here, inshallah, guys. Like I said before, it's, we've got 10 minutes left, inshallah, for our next target. We're 323 pounds away. I know there is three people out there who can give 100 pounds, guys. I know there are people who wanted to give in Ramadan. They didn't get a chance to. They didn't do as much. They're guilty. No problem. Still give, inshallah, these moms, brothers, sisters. It is also blessed and holy, brothers, sisters. Please give whatever you can. Like I said before, uh, 100 pounds, brothers, sisters. 100 pounds will teach 16 to maximum double 32 people, inshallah, to learn how to pray salah. They will get the guided prayer mat. Imagine it's a Sadhka Jariya, guys. This is a Sadhka Jariya. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, the son of Adam, all his deeds come to an end except three. Ongoing charity. This is ongoing charity. Beneficial knowledge. Teaching someone how to pray salah, the second pillar of Islam. This is beneficial knowledge, brothers and sisters. And number three, brothers and sisters, a righteous child making uh, dua for their parents. So do on behalf of your uh, parents, whoever it is, inshallah. We are looking for that first donation, guys. Even if it's 23 pounds, give whatever you can, inshallah. The donation link is there. Do you have any callers? Questions. Okay, so let's get rid of that uh, person who's not showing their face, please. Let's just kick them out. Also, I'm about to break my fast. So okay, I'll... you go, Dawood, though, uh, though, yeah. please uh, break yeah. your fast. Yeah. Um, like yeah, so... Jab, uh, the cream, did you get food? No. Why, what are you waiting for? Wait, I'm just going to test No, man, go. Stop with my brother and go get your food. Why did you go before? No, we yeah. miss come, bro. You're fasting. Go. Uh, yeah. Swap. Uh, so yeah, brothers and sisters, if you can, subhanAllah, just huh? keep donating. Yeah, um, your food. Keep, uh, um, you there, know, man. like, yeah. all right, let's ask a question, inshallah. Yeah, sure. Uh, so I asked Sheikh Mohammed this, uh, for mm. one of the first, he said you could do any any yeah. of these months, it's not the first, you know, yeah, yeah, so you can divide it, yeah, because uh, just for those who don't know, Shawal basically is a month, it's the name of the month as well, subhanAllah. So it just means within the month, you, you can uh, fast. I see there's other opinions, but I don't. You yeah. Know, yeah, I just, yeah. Yeah, inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah. <laughs> even, even, yeah, if you do yeah, like two yeah. days a week, whatever. Yeah. Alhamdulillah, guys. Yeah. Keep, keep it in. Well, it's, it's very beneficial. Very, it's, I think there's a, there, um, there is a link between uh, fasting and salah as well. Well, that's a, uh -huh. a very strong link yeah. uh, between the two. So uh, if you want to, like, you know, obviously remember the salah plus culture, which is we take care of our prayer you know we really we want to perfect our prayer we want to pray on time no sorry yeah we know you're saying you're a revert but we have to see your face uh at least back in the back, back yeah we need to it's back it's, it's backstage so the person who is waiting no who is it? he's gone this is a new person oh this is, new. This is someone else okay lewis uh we have to see your face uh even in the back end you're not going to be in public uh we have to see your identity we just we're just taking a picture, just just for our confirmation, because people come in and try to play pornography. So at least we know the face uh, to it, so we can market their face, inshallah. Mm. So uh, we have to, Lewis. Uh, if you're a revert, you just have to show your your face. It's uh, all confidential. Um, so. It's confidential. It's confidential. We're just going to take a picture, and just so we know who it's from, who the person is behind it. And yeah, that, that's that's it. You know, um, yeah. If you can do that, if not, then again, we we cannot verify who you are, so we cannot let you in. So. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. Please let us know if you can do that. So, guys, in the meantime, guys, we're 323 pounds away, alhamdulillah. Uh, brothers and sisters, let's go. Let's not miss this opportunity, uh, guys. 
give whatever you can, alhamdulillah. Do you have any donations? No, not a single donation has come forward so far. 23 pounds, is there anyone can give 23 pounds, guys, inshallah. Uh, come forward and give whatever you guys can, inshallah, brothers and sisters. We are here, we're trying to raise funds for our Salah Plus project. In the meantime, we're doing Q&A. If you can call in, call in and ask us questions wherever you are. If you have any questions, you're a new Muslim, you want to accept Islam, you have a question, you have a doubt, whatever it is, inshallah, we are open to you guys, brothers and sisters. Please, please. Yeah, I'm just going to go, yeah? Call here. Yeah, go, 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 go. Uh, uh, I have to claim with you as well. No, no problem at all. Uh, Alhamdulillah, somebody donated 23 pounds. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Allah Akbar. Amazing, amazing, amazing. It's nice. It gives me that energy back. Alhamdulillah, let's go. Brilliant. What's the question? If you give the zakat of income, is there any chance whatsoever of that zakat so he's saying, would it be accepted? Say that again. Okay, if you give zakat from Haram income, was it accepted? I cannot answer that question. I would love to, but we will find out, inshallah. Uh, we're going to go back to normal days of doing live appeals. That will be every Thursday and Saturday. Sheikh Mohammed will be here on the Thursdays. Uh, so, inshallah, um, we will ask him. We will ask him, inshallah. Uh, thanks for the donation of 30 US dollars by Anonymous Kind Soul. May Allah bless you, inshallah. And that donation took us to where we need to be. Uh, so Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, now we are just we just need three people to give a hundred pounds. Just three people in the next ten minutes. Let's give it ten minutes, inshallah. In the next ten minutes, guys, we are looking for three people to give a hundred pounds. Don't forget, a hundred pounds will help teach uh, subhanallah uh, sixteen to thirty-two people to learn salah, guys. Why? <laughs> because sixteen people will get this prayer mat, they will learn, and we encourage them to give it to someone else. So we're we're assuming. Oh, excuse me. Oh, oh, oh I'm so tired. I've been, I've been doing live every day in Ramadan. So, yeah. So, guys, alhamdulillah. So, uh, 16 to 32 people. Why? Because we know that any person that gets his prayer mat who learns how to pray salah, we know they will pass it on to somebody else. We know they'll pass it on to someone else. That's why we say 16 to 32 people, inshallah. We're just looking for three people to give 100 pounds, guys. Uh, and 100 pounds will teach 16 to 32 people not only salah, to learn Surah Fatih, inshallah. Do you have any callers? We want to go to some callers. Is there anyone that wants to ask questions? Please come forward. Yes, someone asked me a question. What's the question? Can you please tell me, is a boss cut allowed for any types of things allowed? Okay, so basically, I followed the opinion, I followed it, that basically, it is not haram to have fate. Yeah? And I'm talking about my specific haircut. I'm not talking about people who have like long hair, they grow the top, etc., uh, so yeah, I would personally say uh, I've looked into it personally. Um, I don't believe it's uh, haram. I've spoken to some people. Uh, yeah, some people say it's makruh dislike, but anyways, yeah, that's what I would say, inshallah. So guys, we are looking for three people to give a hundred pounds. Three people only. Come on, guys. I know there's someone out there. I know there's a champion out there. I know you're there. Come on, sister, or is it a brother? Look, let me show you something. What is this? Look. Do you know what this is? Why is it so long? Is this is this my bill? Is this me going shopping? What is this? Brothers and sisters, this is the receipt for the guided prayer mass that we sent out today, internationally and nationally. Look. All of these prayer masks. Look at that. Look. All have been sent out. Look. Receipts. Yeah, post office. Look, I sent them out today myself. All of them. Gone. Yeah? It's fine. Look, these little ones show each one. One, two, three, four. In each one, where this panel, there's maybe 30 or 40. Not even that, more than that, subhanAllah. In each receipt, there's probably 40. 40 of the guided prayer masks, guys, that is sent out. Why? Thanks to your donation. Let me tell you something. Your names were written on there. We even write the names of our donors. So, guys, inshallah, we are looking for free people to give a hundred pounds to reach our target. A hundred pounds will teach 16 to 32 people how to pray salah, guys. Please come forward and give whatever you can. Bismillah. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Bismillah. Bismillah. Come on, guys. If you have any callers, if there's anyone like to call in and ask a question, please feel free to. I am here to answer. Inshallah. Yeah. Let me send it. Let me send the share the link. Let's share the link. Go the. One second. I'm gonna share the link. Okay. What are the people saying in the thing? One second. What are the people saying? Huh? If you were saying anything, there we go. Question. Join us live, guys. Join us live. Yeah. Sure. Someone's asking 
Avkar routine. Avkar Avkar routine. My Avkar routine is basically. What do you recite? It's all in here. So what I recite is all in here. Look, it's all here, guys. Final look. It changes. There's few. There's like in total there's sixteen things I need to recite. So it changes. Like for example, look, Allahumma anta Rabbi la ilaha illa anta khalaqtani wa ana wa ana abtuka wa ana la ahtika wa watika mastatatu. أعوذ بك من شر ما سنت وأبو لك بنماتك عليا وأبو لك بذنب فقفي لفا إنه لا يكفر ذنوب إلا أنت. there's more. بسم الله الذي لا يدر لا لا يدر ما اسم شيء في الأرض ولا ولا في السماء ولا في السماء وهو السميع العليم. yeah there's different. اللهم إني أسألك أف ولا في في الدنيا ولا آخرة. اللهم إني أسألك أف ولا في في ديني ودنيا وأهلي ومالي. اللهم استر أوراتي وأمر رواتي. اللهم خفتني من بين يدي ومن خلف وان يميني. وعن شمالي ومن فوقي وعود بياذ هماتك نختنا من تحتي يا so there's there's many اللهم أفني في بدني اللهم أفني في سمي اللهم اللهم أفني بسري لا إله إلا أنت so there's there's so many guys it's all in the app inshallah when you download it uh, get up as you go and see it will uh, tell you it will give reminders uh, usually before fajr or just after fajr like as soon as you pray fajr or just before fajr uh, I do it that's the morning one evening one uh, before uh, sunset so yeah that's what it is, inshallah, to protect you. So, guys, we need three people to give hundred pounds, six people to give fifty pounds, twelve people to give twenty-five pounds, twenty-four people to give twelve pound fifty or twelve pound twenty-five. Let's go, let's go, inshallah, guys. Do you have any callers? We're looking for callers, inshallah. Anybody wants to call in, ask a question, feel free to come. But we have to see your face and identity, please. We have given the link for the streamyard. Uh, <laughs> feel free to join us, guys. It will be nice to talk to you guys, inshallah. So we are just looking for three people to give a five. Uh, I mean, a hundred pounds. Three people. One. Yeah. Say that again. What's wrong? With, what's wrong with the? What do you mean fast? Is it haram to break the fast? Uh, I don't know. You don't have to ask that to Sheikh Mohammed when he comes uh, next week. Not this Thursday. Probably the week after, inshallah. Uh, please uh, bear that in mind. Also, guys, Thursday we're doing an event in Leicester Square. Uh, inshallah, we're giving out the guided free prayer mats to non-Muslims. Also, if you've got revert friends or born Muslims, friends who don't know how to pray salah, non-Muslim friends, bring them along, inshallah. We're giving away 200 of the guided prayer mats, inshallah. Please, please bear that in mind. We're looking for free people to give £100, guys. We are trying to reach our target in the next 28 minutes. In the next 28 minutes, we are trying to reach our target. Free people to give £100. £100 will teach 16 to 32 people to learn how to pray salah, inshallah. To learn surah fatiha. This is a true Salah Khajari, guys, inshallah. Do we have any questions, any callers? Can a person who's committed zina marry a person uh, who's a virgin? They do. They, they can. They have a right to. And it doesn't nullify. That means that they can't. Uh, but yes, they, 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 they can. They can. I mean, you know, because the ayah doesn't mean that, you know, it's talking about those who accept Islam. Um, will you know? I mean, not except some, but you know, fix their ways. You know, they have a right to. They have a right to. It's not. It's not really. Um, not when the Quran does forbid a person who committed zina to not to not demand that they have a right to. Inshallah. So yeah, bear that in mind. Inshallah, guys. We are looking for inshallah three people to give a hundred pounds. A hundred pounds will teach sixteen to thirty-two people to learn how to pray, to learn surah fatiha, guys. Imagine that to learn how to pray, to establish salah, the second pillar of Islam. After La ilaha illallah, guys. Imagine that. <sighs> Imagine that, guys. SubhanAllah. Imagine that. Please, please, guys, come forward, inshallah. Do not miss this opportunity. Let's go. I'm looking for free people to give £100. Is there someone that's going to come, inshallah? Help teach someone how to pray salah, guys. Bismillah. If you guys have any questions, you can join, inshallah. How many people watching? 99. 99 people. Amazing, amazing. Let's go. Let's call brothers and sisters. Do not miss this opportunity. It's 8 o'clock. 8.03. Yeah, if you miss Ramadan, guys, you still have a chance to donate, inshallah. You still have a chance. We're looking for free people to give £100 only. Just free people. That's all we ask for. Nothing more, nothing less. And if you guys want to ask a question in the chats, what's the chat saying? Chat. What's the chat saying? It's a chat, chat in breeze. Yeah, chat. No, it's normal. Are they getting excited? 
Let's go, guys. If you are there, come forward, inshallah, guys, and make the most out of it, inshallah. We can also, if you have any questions about going back to sins after Ramadan, staying away from sins, let's go, guys. Bismillah. Do not miss this opportunity, guys. Three more people, inshallah. We've got 26 minutes to go. From sisters, let's open a eye in the Quran. Let's read some Quran as well. Let's read some Quran. Let's see what do we have. What do we have? Okay. Let's open a random chapter of the Quran. Surah Qalam. Okay. So. Okay. Because he is a man of our verse. When our verse is written. Okay. Let's read Surah Qalam. So. Says, I will be like Shaitan the Rajim. Bismillah Rahman Rahim. Noon. By the pen and what they write. With the grace of your Lord, you are not insane. And you will definitely have a reward that will never end. And you are surely on an excellent standard of character. So you will see and they will see. Which of you is demented? So it's talking about the Mushrikeen. Which of you guys is demented? They were accusing the Prophet peace of Peace. Oh! Oh, we had a phenomenal donation. Takbir! Allah! Allah! Akbar! We're back. We're back. Amazing donation just came through, subhanAllah. Let's see. Let's see who that who is that from. Let's see which champion. Which champion did this thing? Let's go. Bismillah. Phenomenal. 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 That was an amazing donation. Amazing donation. The slobber of Galleons are upset. So we had a donation of a hundred pounds and 125 US dollars. Both of them anonymous tuck beer. Allah. Allah Akbar. Amazing, amazing. Brothers and sisters, you guys are phenomenal. You guys are always coming through, subhanAllah. That is amazing, subhanAllah. They, you guys have bought us too. We're just 104 pounds away from our target, Afghan. 104 pounds. SubhanAllah, guys, those two donations, may Allah bless you. If you wrote your names down, we would have write it on the guided prayer mass that we sent out to these people that we're going to send out to, inshallah. Brothers and sisters, it will go towards this guided prayer mass. 16 people. Those two donations of 100 pounds each is going to help teach 32 individuals, up to 64 people to, inshallah, brothers and sisters, to learn salah. They're going to get this guy to pray, man. With this guy to pray, man, you know what they're going to do? They are going to learn salah. Once they learn salah and they learn surah fatiha, here, every time they recite surah fatiha, alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Bismillahi rahman rahim. Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Ar-Rahman rahim Maliki yawmid deen. Iyaka na'budu wa iyaka nasta'een. إِهْدِنَا الصِّرَاطَ الْمُسْتَقِيمِ صِرَاطَ الَّذِينَ أَنْأَمْتَ عَلَيْهِمْ قَيْرِ الْمَخْتُوبِ عَلَيْهِمْ وَلَا الطَّالِينَ Ameen. The one who taught me, brothers and sisters. I have been a Muslim 11 years. I have recited Surah Fatiha just in my Fard Salah 68,000 times. Imagine the reward of the person who taught me, guys. That's why these people are donating. They love this project. People love this project. Why? Because brothers and sisters, let me tell you something. Because they know, they understand the weight, the heaviness of this. We're 104 pounds away from our next target. 104 pounds away from our next target, guys. I know we can do this, inshallah. You know what, there, Afghan? Let's do this. In the next 52 minutes, let's try to get 604 pounds. 604 pounds. Okay, let's write that, but also write the packages there as well. The hundred, yeah? Yes. Alhamdulillah, guys. <laughs> let's go. We're 604 pounds away from our target. All we <laughs> require in the next 52 minutes is <coughs> six people to give 100 pounds. Or three, two people to give 300 pounds. Or three people to give 200 pounds. Or one person to give 600 pounds. Brothers and sisters, it is the choice is yours. So Allah says in the Quran, Surely your Lord knows best who has strayed from his way and he is well aware of those who are on the right path. So do not obey those who reject the true faith they wish that you become flexible in your faith so that they should become flexible in their hostile attitude. And do not obey any comp contempt contemptible one who swears much. A slanderer who goes about with calum calumnies, calumnies. One who prevents good and who is a transgressor, sinful. Harsh and after all that, notorious. Do not obey such a person who merrily because he is a man of wealth and sons. When our verses are recited to them, to him, he says, These are the tales of the ancients. We will soon brand him on the snout. 
we have tested them as we had tested the owners of the garden when they had sworn an oath that they would pluck its fruit fruits on the next morning. SubhanAllah, look at this. Look at the, the certainty they had. Like, oh yeah, we're going to definitely pluck the you know the fruits, etc. SubhanAllah, look how Allah tests them. This is very important, yeah? Then their world around it, a world of cal calamity from your Lord while they were asleep. Thus, on the next morning, it was like a harvested field. So they called out each other as the morning broke, saying, set out early if you are going to pluck the fruit. So they set out while they were whispering to each other. What were they saying to each other? Look at this. Surah Qalam. Saying, let no poor man enter it enter it upon you today. So they were trying to get it all for themselves and not for the poor people. And look how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala disgraced them because they did not say, inshallah. Yes? <coughs> look. And in the early hours... <sighs> Sorry guys, one second. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yes. And in the early hours, they rushed quickly while they were assuming to themselves powerful to pluck the fruits and prevent the poor. But when they saw in the place of the ruined garden, they said, we have missed the way. They said, oh, this, can, this like, we've, we've come the wrong way. This cannot be our field. When they saw it in ruins, finally, look at this. And we have missed the way. Then once they realize that the garden is the same, but it has been destroyed, they said, no, but we were deprived of the fruits. Said he who was the best among them, did I not say to you, why do you not pronounce the tasbih, Allah's purity? They said, we pronounce the purity of our Lord. No doubt we were wrongdoers. So at least, subhanAllah, they realized that they were the transgressors, subhanAllah. And at the beginning, they started reproaching one another. And at last they said, woe to us. In fact, we were all outrageous. We have, we hope that our Lord will give us in exchange something better than this. Truly we turn to our Lord. In this way the punishment comes. And of course the punishment of the hereafter is even greater if they but realize. SubhanAllah. So what they went through was a punishment in the dunya. But rather the punishment in the hereafter is more severe, guys. Much more severe. We are 606, 604 pounds Away from our target, guys. I know you guys can come through and help us to reach the thirty-five thousand pound mark, guys. All we need is six people to give a hundred pounds. A hundred pounds will teach sixteen people to get this guy to prayer mat. Once they get this guy to prayer mat, they will learn how to pray salah, guys. Be a part of this amazing project, guys. Be a part of it. Amazing project. Subhanallah. Let's go. Let's go. Inshallah. Yeah. Six people to give a hundred pounds, or one person to give six hundred pounds, or two people to give three hundred. Do you have any callers? Kevin, but he's not sure. Oh, okay. What would you suggest as the first steps for learning more about Islam? What's the, the question? Yeah. What's the question? She wants to learn things um, about Islam. So what's the first step she could take? She wants to learn what? About Islam. Islam, I would say read the Quran, read the book, uh, The Sealed Nectar. That will help teach you, inshallah, uh, the biography of the Prophet, peace be upon him. And if you want to learn how to pray Salah, you can order this for absolutely free on our website, salahplus.com. Go and get your guided prayer mat for absolutely free, inshallah, guys. We are now our next target. Oh, we've had some donations coming through. Oh, wow, amazing, amazing, wow. Those donations are flying in. We are 555 pounds away, mate. Alhamdulillah, we just had a beautiful donation of 64 US dollars. May Allah strengthen our iman. Ameen. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Amazing. We're now 500. Huh? One second, let's just check that again. Kevin, can we see your face, please? Can you wave to us? Can you show us your face, please? And can you wave to us? I need you to do something specific, please. Kevin, can we see your face? I want you to wave to us like this. Kevin, just to verify if it's you. Yeah. Kevin, can you wave to us, please? We need you to wave to us. I need you to do this. Look, one, two, three. If you do that, we can verify it's you. You do this. Look, one, two, three, Kevin. If you do that, we know that that's a, a video of you and not somebody else. Come on, guys. We're too smart for this. We're too smart. Let's see. Kevin, if you're there, yep. You, I need you to do this. One, two, three. One, two, three. Inshallah, that's so what we can verify it's you. Kevin, can you do that, please? Or otherwise, we're going to have to kick you out. We don't want to kick you out, Kevin. We don't want to kick you out. So do look one, two, and three. If you can hear me, Kevin, one, two, three. If you can do that, if you can, if you see him do that, yeah. This one, yeah, two, three. 
yeah, he's, he's looking, inshallah, let's do that. Um, yeah, you get up from your chair, doesn't uh, verify anything for us. Uh, anybody can do that for that matter. So yes, please uh, do that. Otherwise, we're not going to let you in, sadly. So you keep an eye, yeah? Then do that. So we had a phenomenal donation of uh, uh, 64 US dollars, guys. The donations are coming in swiftly and surely, inshallah. We're 555 pounds away from our target, inshallah. We have got 46 minutes, guys. 46 minutes to get that, inshallah. I know we can do this, guys. It's been absolutely phenomenal. We have raised so much funds, inshallah, brothers and sisters, and we're going to take this to the next level. We're taking it to the next level, guys. Help teach someone how to pray salah. Right now, guys, do not miss this opportunity. Imagine you are the reason somebody learns Surah Fatiha. You are the reason somebody is going into sajda, worshipping Allah. The rewards are immense, inshallah. So do you have any questions, any callers? No callers, yeah? Okay, so, uh, Kevin, you're going to be kicked out in, in uh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Kevin, do this. 1, 2, 3. Kevin, do this. Look. 1, 2, 3. We can see there, Kevin. 1, 2, 3, please. Yes, 1, 2, 3. You're going to do it? Okay, I'm going to count down for you and you're going to be kicked out. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. As you can see, guys, they, they think we are we are idiots. You get kicked out like that, guys. This is what happens. You get smashed. Smash if I'm not smashing if I'm not smashing if you will slubber the gullion. You are a slubber the gullion. That's what you are. You're finished. You're finished. You're finished. Alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, we are 555 away from our target. We're just looking for five people to come and give a hundred pounds. So let's start carrying reading the Quran. Surely for the God fearing, yes, in in the nil muttaqina in the Rabbihim Jannatin Naim. Surely for the God fearing, there are, there are gardens of bliss. Otherwise, shall we make the obedient like the sinners? Subhanallah. Yeah? Yes. Otherwise, shall we make the obedient like the sinners? What has happened to you? How do you judge? Do you have a book in which you read? That for you, that for you there is what you choose? Or do you have oaths sworn by us remaining effective up to the day of judgment that you will get what you decide? Ask them, which of them stands surely for that? Or do, they or do they have associate gods who have guaranteed safety for them? Then let them bring their associate gods if they are true. On the day when the shin will be exposed and they will be called upon to prostrate themselves, they will not be able to. Wow, this is, this is so profound. With their eyes downcast, they will be enveloped by ignominy. They used to be called upon the prostrate that they were when they were healthy, but they did not. SubhanAllah. So leave me alone with those who reject this discourse. We will draw them on little by little towards the hell from a way they do not know. Wow. And I give them respite. Indeed, my plan is firm. Is it that you ask them for a fee due to which <laughs> they are burdened with debt? Or do they have the knowledge of the unseen and they write it down? So remain patient. This is so profound, guys. This is so profound. Look, let's read the tafsir. One second. Okay, that day they will be called to prostrate. How many people watching? 85 people watching. Yeah, that day they are going to be called to prostrate, but they're not going to be able to. Let's see what this says. Okay, let's go. This is a literal translation of the Quranic phrase used here. The exegetes have explained it in two different ways. Some of them are the, of the view that, according to Arabic usage, exposure of the shin is that an in idiomatic expression of a severe state of distress. When a person is confronted with such distress, he normally lays his shins. Bear. Therefore, exposure of the shin has been taken as indicative of such a state, given this interpretation. So now, okay, I don't know about that, but it says they will be called upon to prostrate themselves. They will not be able to prostrate. Why? With their eyes downcast, they will be enveloped by ignominy. I don't know what that means. They used to be called upon to prostrate when they were healthy, but they did not. SubhanAllah. Those who did not prostrate Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this dunya is not going to be able to do it in the hereafter. The Prophet peace be upon him told us the one who fears Allah in the dunya will not fear Allah on Yom Qiyamah. And the one who uh, doesn't, uh, who fears Allah in Yom, uh, on the dunya will not fear him in the hereafter. And the one that does not fear Allah in this dunya will fear him in the hereafter, guys. So let's go, inshallah. We are 55 pounds away from our next target. To that, inshallah, we're 555 pounds away, guys. 555 pounds away. We've got a question. Do you have any callers? 
if there's anyone wants to ask a question, guys, we've put the link there. We'll put the link there, inshallah. Should we put it again? I don't know. What do you think? Yeah, go on. Please tell if the prayer of Muslim man and woman different. I'm confused if women should raise their elbow to do or not. So much confusion caused by scholars of self. What do you mean, re raise their elbows? It's not it's not that deep, Yanni. As far as I know, it's, it's, it's very similar. It's very, very similar. It's nothing much really different, I'll be honest with you, the Salah. But yeah, it's it's, 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 it's the same. I would say it's the same, where the elbow is, etc. Obviously, you should not be like a dog. Like, you know, it goes to everyone. So yeah, but if there's any callers, guys, you can call in and ask questions, inshallah. You can call in, ask questions, inshallah. Bismillah, guys. Let's go. Do you know how to play videos, Efkan? Yeah. Let's Let's go to one of the videos. But in the meantime, if there's anybody who wants to ask a question, guys, we have got 40 minutes to raise 555 pounds. We just need five people to give. To give. To give. To give. Five, brothers and sisters, five people to give 100 pounds. 100 pounds will teach 16 to 32 people how to pray Salah. Brothers and sisters, we are printing this guided prayer math. You can help teach thousands to learn how to pray Salah, guys. 100 pounds. 50 pounds will teach eight people to learn Salah Fatih. To learn Salah. 100 pounds will teach 16. 200 pounds will teach 32. Choice is yours. Choice is yours, guys. Donate whatever you can. Five pounds, 10 pounds, three pounds. No problem at all. Let's get that 55 pounds, inshallah, to get us to the 500 pound mark. I know we can do this. We've got 40 minutes to go. If you want to ask a question, please, please call in, guys. We would love to speak to you guys. We'd love to speak to you guys, inshallah. Let me see. I ordered, I ordered some dessert. Let me see if it is here. The dessert... No, it's five minutes away. It's five minutes away. Bismillah. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Unity. Unity. Unity in the community, brothers and sisters. Let's go. Do we have any callers? No. Alhamdulillah. Somebody donated five pounds. Takbir. Allah. Allah Akbar. We are 550 pounds away, guys. Brilliant. Let's see who that donation was from. Let's see who it was from. Who was it from? Was it from you? Was it from you? Is it true? It was from the heavyweight champion of the world. It was from Anonymous Kind Soul. Five pounds. Amazing, guys. Huh? No, 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 don't, don't touch it. You ruin it. They leave it. Don't worry. All right, guys, we're 550 pounds away from our target. 550 pounds away from our target, guys. 50 pounds will teach eight people. Eight people. Let's go. If there's anyone that wants to ask a question, please feel free. Feel free to call in, inshallah. You can ask your question. 50 pounds, guys. Bismillah. Let's go. Let's go, inshallah. Let's go, guys. We're 550 pounds away from our target. I know we can do this. I know we can do this, guys. Bismillah. 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 Shall I carry on reading? Let's carry on reading Surah Qalam. Surah Qalam. So remain patient with your Lord's judgment and be not like the man of the field, fish. He cried out while he was in anguish. Had not our favor from his Lord came to his help, he would have been cast into the wilderness in a reproachable state. Some of them say this quote talking about Yunus alayhi salam. Then his Lord chose him and made him one of the righteous. And indeed the disbelievers seem to trip you up with their glances when they hear the reminder and, and say he is, sorry, and say he is a madman indeed. And it is nothing else but a reminder for all the worlds. Sorry? No, no, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't see the response. Did you do a response? I have no idea. Where did you do the response? <coughs> I didn't read. I didn't see it, guys. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. I didn't see the comment. Where is it? Is it on a post? Is it on Instagram? Where is it? I don't know. I have, is it a video? I have no idea. I have no idea, guys. Again, we're 550 pounds away from our target, guys. Please, please come forward and give whatever you guys can, inshallah. 550 pounds, inshallah. Is there any one of you guys would like to ask a question? 
you would like to tune in, inshallah, please let me know, guys. Please let me know, guys. What's the question? That when the day of judgment happens, Allah will call hellfire and the hellfire will start roaring and everyone will have their heads down and will it be um, yeah, there is a similar, something like that. Uh, there is something like that where the hellfire will be asking for more people to enter it, you know, and Allah will, um, I think, from what I know, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will. Step on it or some of the way befits his majesty, from what I know. Um, you know, to put it in its place. So, so yeah, the hellfire will be will be roaring. Yep, it will be. So, guys, anyways, in the meantime, guys, we are 50 pounds away from our target. We have got inshallah 35 minutes to reach the 550 pound mark, inshallah, brothers and sisters. We can reach that together. If you give five pounds, ten pounds, one pound, three pounds, fifty pounds, a hundred pounds, guys, whatever you give, inshallah, it will be inshallah sadhajari for you guys. Donate whatever you can. We're just looking for five people to give a hundred pounds. Just five people, inshallah, to give a hundred pounds, guys. You can be a part of this amazing project, guys. Help, inshallah. This is the Salah Jaria for you guys, as you can see. Let's go. Let's go, guys. <coughs> oh, I've got a cold today. Got a cold. Got a cold, mate. Huh? Well, you're a jahil if you think, uh, yeah, and we've, we've, we've discussed this many times, um, you know, if you're going to repeat like a parrot that it's a free mixing, you're, you're, you're an ignoramus. Go, go learn what free mixing is. Yeah, we, we've discussed it many times. Look, like, like I said before, you're, you're not, your, words, your words don't mean nothing to me. Do you get it? Like, I know, alhamdulillah, I've got a fatwa from a senior, serious scholar. Senior scholar. So to me, your word means zero. As you get it? I don't follow your opinions. I don't follow your version of Islam or what you think is free mixing, go learn the definition of free mixing, go learn what free mixing is, okay, because uh, according to your standards, uh, even the Sahaba, they free mix, yeah, if you think, you know, men and women cannot talk to each other, that's, that's haram, you're, you're tapped in the head, you've got you got issues in your head, yeah, and if you think men and women cannot in any way, shape or form talk, please get out of here, man, yeah, and that means that, for example, in speaking Sukhana, we committed haram, yeah, speaking of Kufar woman, yeah, dressed up inappropriately, that's free mixing, yeah, okay. When you come to speak, it's got his free mixing. When you go to the shop, it's free mixing. When you go to the restaurant, it's free mixing. When you go uni and work, it's free mixing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All the best for you. Please, man. Get the hell out of here. So, like I said, if we've got the fatwa. And like I said, I, uh, we are people of knowledge. So, I don't follow the opinion of people, individuals who deem something to be haram because it looks haram. Interesting. Anyways. So, guys, 550 pounds from our target. Yes. Yeah, alhamdulillah. That, yeah. We've, we've got someone. Please get out of here. Like I said before. Yeah, leave them. Okay, guys. 550 pounds from our target. 550 pounds. 50 pounds will teach eight people to get this guy to pray about brothers and sisters and learn how to pray salah. Eight people, inshallah. Bismillah. Please come forward, guys, and give whatever you can. For the sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, give whatever you guys can, inshallah, guys. We are literally 50 pounds away from the 500 pounds mark. And we've got 33 minutes. Inshallah, we're looking for five people to give 100 pounds, guys. This is the Salah Khajariya. Teach people how to pray salah. How many people watching? 72 people watching, inshallah, guys. If you have any questions, you want to tune in, inshallah. Uh, if you have any questions, guys, please feel free, inshallah, uh, to call. Who's this? Omar Khan. Omar Khan, can you see? Can you hear us? Omar Khan, let me know if you can hear me. I need to see your face. Show us your face, please, Omar Khan. Can you put your hands up and do one, two, three, four, five, like this? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. That's not going to help you. T turn it on and off is not going to help you. That's not going. That's not going to make me be like, oh, it's, it's it's definitely legit. Omar Khan, you do this on camera. Look, one, two, three, four, five. Come on, come on. We don't buy those uh, things. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five. Can you do that, please? <laughs> That's not going to help you. Itching your eyes is not uh, that. Inshallah. Let's go. I think my uh, dessert is now set. Omar Khan, you have failed. You have failed us miserably. You have failed us. It's my finger down. Can you go get it? Omar Khan, you've got five seconds again. Five, four, three, two, one. You're finished. You're finished. So as you can see, guys, people are trying to fool us. Yes.
head out. One second. There we go. Hello. Okay, guys. Omar Khan, you are the weakest link. Goodbye. Kick from studio. He's been kicked out. He's been kicked out, guys. Anyone wants to call in, inshallah, please call in. You can ask questions. If there's anything you would like to ask, feel free, inshallah. We can talk about Ramadan. Do you have any donations, guys? Nope. No donations so far, guys. We are 31 minutes away from our target. 31 minutes, guys. Come on. We are 550 pounds short from our target, inshallah, guys. This will go towards the printing of this guided prayer mat that will teach people how to pray salah. Brothers and sisters, inshallah, please mind that, bear that in mind. Give whatever you can. 550 pounds is what we are short of. Uh, please donate to whatever you guys can, inshallah. Americans, Australians, Canadians, Europeans, British. Let's go, inshallah, brothers and sisters. We are also reading the Quran together. This is Surah Haqqa. With the name of Allah, the all merciful, the very merciful. The imminent happening. Yes? What is the imminent happening? And what can let you know what the imminent happening is? Thamud and Ad had denied the happening of the shocking event, the day of judgment. As for Thamud, they were destroyed by that dreadful cry. It's so profound. They were destroyed by a cry. Wow. It's fine. Do you know sometimes you guys are in a very, very loud place? It's like, you know, it's you, you, it, like, it's like, you know what I'm trying to say? Really, it's, imagine something, a cry can kill you, which exceeded all limits. Subhanallah. And as for art, they were destroyed by a violent windstorm that he imposed on them for seven nights and eight consecutive days. Wow. Wow. One second. One second. And eight... Con this is profound. This is profound. That he imposed on them for seven nights and eight consecutive days of storm. So you could see them thrown on the ground as if they were trunks of hollow palm trees. Wow. Look how Allah SWT destroys them. Now, do you see any remnants of them? And Pharaoh and those before him and the overthrown towns came up with evil. And they, were dis and they disobeyed the messenger of their Lord, so he seized them with an extremely severe seizure. When the water overflowed in the deluge of Noah, we let you, we let you, O mankind, board the floating ship, so that so that we make it a reminder for you, and so that a preser preserving ear that hears their story may may preserve it. Then, once the trumpet will be blown for the first time, and the earth and the mountains will be lifted and crushed into pieces with a single blow. Then on that day the happening will happen and the sky will burst apart while it will have become frail on that day and the angels will be on its borders and on the day the throne of your Lord will be carried above them by eight angels. On that day you will be brought forward in a way that no secret of yours will remain secret. Now as for him who is given his book in his right hand may Allah make some of those he will say to his colleagues come here and read my book. SubhanAllah look how sure those people are going to be those who receive on the right hand. They're going to tell the angels, come here, read my book. I was ready for this day. Come. The certainty they have. I was sure that I will encounter my reckoning. Wow. So he will be in a well-pleasing life, in a lofty garden, the fruits of which will be close at hand. It will be said to such people, eat and drink with pleasure as a reward for what you did in advance during past days. As for him, who's, he will be given his book in his left hand. He will say, oh, would that I had not been given my book. And I had never known what my account is. Oh, would that it death had been the end of the matter. Wow. My wealth has not been of any use to me. SubhanAllah, guys. Look at that. My wealth has not been in any use. Your money, your wealth was no use, man. No use. SubhanAllah. That is, that is unbelievable. SubhanAllah, guys. In a minute, guys, I'm going to go and pray Maghrib. I'm just waiting. Inshallah, we're going to go to a little video break. One second. Let me just see what time. What time is it? Uh, yes, exactly. All right. So in a minute, Subhanallah, guys, look at that. Subhanallah, those who received the book on their right. Anyway, guys, look. This shows you their wealth has not helped them. My power has gone from me for good. Then it will be said to the angels, seize him, then put a collar around his neck, and then let him burn in the blazing fire. Thereafter, fasten him with a chain, the measure of which is seventy hands. Indeed, he did not believe in Allah the Almighty. 
and did not persuade others to feed the needy. So he has no friend here today. Wow. Wow, that is final. Imagine that, guys. Final. Imagine that. So, guys, like I said before, we are 550 pounds away from our target. We are looking for five people to give 100 pounds. Five people, 100 pounds will help help us to teach thousands of people, brothers and sisters, to learn how to pray salah. Yes, brothers and sisters, 100 pounds will teach 16 people to learn salah, guys. We'll get this guy to pray, Matt. They will learn how to pray salah. They will, inshallah, learn salah fatiha, guys. Imagine you are a new Muslim and you don't know how to pray salah. And there is no one out there to help you guys. Give whatever you can. Look, I'm looking for the first donation of 50 pounds. Let's at least get that 50 pounds, inshallah. Let's at least get that 50 pounds. Come on. Get us to the 500 pound mark. Get us to the 500 pound mark, inshallah. I'm going to pray Maghrib very, very soon. Uh, when uh, he's finished, I can ask him to uh, how he can go to the video. So, guys, we are 50 pounds away from our target. 50 pounds. Let's go. Come on. We are trying to get the 550 pounds, guys. We're trying to hit our 35,000 pound target. 35 pounds my targets were four 550 pounds away. 100 pounds will teach 16. One second, who's that? E H M J. Can you hear us? Okay, can I just get you to just show your hand? Just one, two. Can you do one, two, three, four, five like this so we know it's a real person? All right, perfect. Yeah, can you add him, please? We would like to speak to him. Perfect. Hi there, how you doing, uh, brother? Mashallah. Uh, I'm at work, so I don't know if the connection is going to be good. Assalamu alaikum, brothers. Rahmatullahi wa alaikum salam. Wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brother. How you doing, Mashallah? Where are you calling from? New York? No, I'm calling from Virginia. Virginia. Come on, Virginia it is. Alhamdulillah. How you doing, brother? Yeah, I'm good, bro. I'm I'm so glad to talk to you, man. Mashallah. Um, I watch for you. Uh, I watch all the time, man. You really helped me get through Ramadan. This was my first Ramadan. Uh, I'm a new Mashallah. Muslim, so I got tons of questions. Um, man, we're I'm here for you all day, all it. night. We're here for you all day, all night, brother. And by the way, you called in. We had a donation of 63 US dollars. Alhamdulillah. We are. We just hit the kind of 500 pound mark. Alhamdulillah. Yes, brother. Yes, brother. So, um, I, like right now, I'm at work right now. So. I just had a quick question. Like, if I miss a prayer, what can I do? And can I make can I make a prayer without doing sujood? Can you make the prayer without doing sujood? What, what do you mean by that? Like, like, like prostrate. Like, so I drive a lot, right? So if I can't prostrate and I'm like locked in the car, like, could I still pray at the time? What okay, is, so is is I, I think I said yeah. The so wrong is there a word. possibility yeah. for you to is there a possibility for you to stop and pray? Yes, yes. Okay, because it is a pillar that you have to stand, and it's a pillar unless you have a medical condition that you can't do this. But the main thing is, if you are able to, you should stop and um, pray how it needs to be prayed. Now, there is a discussion that, for example, due to your work or whatever it is, that it is impossible for you to pray, let's say, Dhuhr and Asr. The, the, the scholars say you can join it together and pray at that specific time that you're praying. But usually it should be prayed at its own time. So is there a reason that's stopping you from stopping each time to pray? Is there a reason? Okay, I think the connection should we'll just wait for him, inshallah. So alhamdulillah, guys, we're 501 pounds away from yes. Uh, sorry, did you hear me? I'm sorry, brother. Um I, I my connection cut out real quick. Um that's fine. What was your question again? You said I was saying basically, is there is there anything stopping you from stopping your vehicle while driving to stop and pray? Is there what's the obstacles? Other than other than my job, like it's real time, like I gotta do a lot of stuff but i mean this i i see it's like no it, there should be no excuse so the the workload is really the workload is what what is okay uh, so so um is it is it are you doing like is it uh, dropping off stuff regularly like uh, is it like a it's um it's maintenance it's like uh it's pest control so it's like pest control maintenance on people's houses um so it's, a, it's just okay. a lot of driving back and forth. Um, okay, so but is, is it is it is it hard? Is it is the issue you praying in public? Is that the issue? Like the fact that you're gonna yes. you can't find the most. Okay, I I pray out a lot. 
when I used to do Uber, I used to be an Uber driver. I would pull up somewhere and um, I would I would pray. So if the issue is the you know how people will look at you, is that the issue? Like maybe how you're perceived praying in the middle of the road? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm like it's not many here in Virginia. It's not a lot of it's like three masters that I know about. Yeah, I think it's personally, little, bro, it's like, like a, yeah, I, I totally understand you. What I would say is this, bro. Sometimes you know what it is. Like I know where you're coming from. I sometimes got that vibes as well. But to me, you know what it was, bro. It was like you know what Allah comes first, and these people who are looking comes at first, me, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm weird, or they think I'm doing something weird. I just believe on the day of judgment, bro. Like you know. No one's going to care about no one. I mean, you get it. So I try to focus myself to say, I only care about what Allah thinks of me. Yes, the people might look and be like, okay, what's this guy doing? It, it, it can feel embarrassing. Don't get it twisted. It can feel embarrassing. I've been in situations sometimes like that, but you know what? I just say to myself, you know what? Allah comes first and I only care about what he thinks of me. I don't care if they laugh at me or think I'm doing something weird. Um, and Allah will honor you. Allah will honor you. I will, I will personally say, bro, it's five minutes. Um, try to pray on time Even if it's on the road um, I mean even if you are uh, It might be hard Maybe you're going to your client's place Is, is it your own company? No 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 own? no. It's, it's no exception It's no I, I see what you Like now that I'm actually saying it out loud uh, I think that like You know MashaAllah It's like Clicking in my head Like no there's There is no excuse There is no excuse actually There is no excuse Exactly, exactly, exactly. There is Like I'm trying to make an excuse but if God is giving me energy to complete my day, like I, I should at least make, I can make the time. Like I, I need to make the time. Exactly. Just like imagine for yourself, okay. imagine in your head, there is somebody who's putting a billion pounds in your account every day. Would you ever, if he says to you, I need you to pray and imagine you're in the middle of the road yeah. and across the road, there's like a, there's an, there, there's a concert and there are thousands of people outside. Would you ever think twice about getting out and praying? You will pray instantly because you'd be like, you know what? This person sends arguments like a billion pounds to my account every day, yeah? So we need to think of Allah as Allah is the one who's promising me something far greater. He's the one that sustains me. So if I would not do that to a person who gives me a billion pounds, I should surely not do it to somebody who's promising me eternal bliss. So, and I know where you're coming from in that aspect. Trust me, it's from shaitan. He's giving you waswas and making you feel like insecure about it. But you can beat him, inshallah, and just say, you know what, bro? I'm going to do this, inshallah. This is for Allah. This is for my Lord who sustains me. My heart beats. The breath that I take. The food that he's given me. You know, you're a handsome young man. I, said, I can see you, you know. Uh, and you also, know. and also, bro, you know what it is, yeah? So beautiful is that look at who, who's in line with you. Look who you're joining in praying on the streets. You know, I've, I was talking about this the other day. There's a guy, uh, a scholar by the name of Umar bin Zaid. Yeah, yeah. There's a guy by the name of Umar bin Zaid, and he was a slave taken from West Africa, and he used to pray on the streets. In fact, he was a runaway slave. The only way they caught him was in prayer. They caught him because he was praying on the streets. Look how wow. powerful. Umar ibn Zaid, my bro. Umar, Umar ibn, ibn Zaid. Zaid, okay. okay. Yes, Google him. Incredible scholar. I've heard when his he name before, prison. yes. Exactly. When he was in prison... He would write like treaties in Arabic on the wall. Like he was an enigma. People were like, where's this guy coming from? Like this is so, so like I always say this and I always think about that. And I'm like, I am in line with someone like that. I'm in line, more, more importantly, with someone like the Prophet Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, who used to pray on the streets and people used to not only ridicule him, they would, they would throw stuff at him, right? So that's, yes, the, yes, that's uh... what he's following, you know? And... I hear you, and I, and, I, and I also hear the strength in your voice and the determination. You're determined, and I know you will get this, bro. You, you, you'll be able to overcome this, man. I, I can... Thank you, bro. Thank you. Do you have, have I you had have, a have Jehovah you... Witness. Uh, I had a Jehovah Witness come attack me uh, earlier today, so <laughs> I, I, I needed the strength. I had to use all my strength. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but but yeah, did, man. How, um, did, how, how did he attack you? No, no. Uh, it was a woman, actually. She just... I was, I'm not, like I said, I'm at work. She walked up to my yeah. work truck and just started, you know, with the pamphlets and things. But I, I literally gave her, I told her the Shahada. I was like, you know, she was like, why yeah. do you, you know, what, what religion are you? I told her I'm Muslim. And then she said, why? And I literally said the Shahada because I believe in one God and believe 
Muhammad, yeah. Prophet Muhammad is the last messenger and prophet of, of, yeah. of God. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So beautiful, beautiful, um, beautiful. Yeah, man. Uh, I definitely will um, talk to you fellas again. Uh, I love the show. Keep doing what y'all are doing. The project is Thank amazing. Uh, alhamdulillah, bro. Question, um, bro. I got tons of questions, but um, I do need to. Oh, I do need to. <laughs> let me see. Let me I'm see. Here. Um, so what are y'all, what is y'all's view on crypto? Like is crypto haram or? It, you know what, with crypto and things like that, from what I've heard when Sheikh Mohammed talks about it, he says it's, it's depending, like you have to, cause there's different cryptocurrencies. So you have to kind of explain to him what is backed up by and things like that. Backed you know? by, yeah. 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 So it, it depends. It depends which, which one. I haven't seen right. much videos on it. Um, like not too much talk Islamic. about it, is it? Yeah, because it's new yeah. or yeah. There's one brother who's like he's super duper like into like uh, finances. I'm gonna try get his name because um, Hijab knows me. He has apparently he has a YouTube channel as well, and he's from the UK and he's very like well equipped when it comes to like finance and like you know things like crypto. So I'm gonna message Hijab Mohammed Hijab now and then if i get his uh name i'll put it in the chat yeah for you to check out oh mashallah I think he, alhamdulillah yeah i think he discusses a lot of that stuff okay yeah okay um yeah uh I, like i said I, I got millions of questions but they are slipping my mind right now because i have yeah, been I wanting Whatever. to speak to you yeah yeah i've been Whatever wanting to like to. chime in yeah that's cool that's cool and you you said you're from Virginia, right? Yeah, yeah. What's your name again, brother? It's uh, Dawood. Dawood. Ah, Dawood. Okay, okay. Yeah. So, like, um, as Abdul Karim behind is asking, like, what's the difference between like South Virginia and like the other parts? Yeah, uh, is Virginia that big? How how is it like? I've I, never I heard of Virginia. like you. He, yeah okay so yeah i'm i'm more like what you would say southern virginia i've never heard it to, referred to as that but okay northern virginia is a huge uh, there's a big muslim population alhamdulillah it's a big mixing bowl everything because i'm 45 minutes from dc 30 minutes from mm -hmm. dc the nation's mm -hmm. capital you know so everybody politicians government uh military they all live right here in this central area that's about 45 minutes away so they can commute go to work and you know yeah. stuff like that so it's a i'd say it's a real militaristic it's a real um uh how should i say like a real uh masculine vibe i guess real masculine yeah. even the women yeah. are a little more masculine yeah. around this area i would say um mm -hmm. just because you're you know fighting to get through everybody out here so a lot mm -hmm. of people out here in the I'm more in the northern Virginia area, I would say. I'm more in northern Virginia, but south southern Virginia, there's not nothing. It's country. Um, I know about Virginia because of like Pharrell and like Eclipse. They always talk about Virginia, so that's what I know about. What are you talking about? <laughs> Don't be bringing them up, man. The musicians, man. Come on, man. Yeah, gotta keep it halal. I, do... I don't know. Maybe course, inshallah, course. Pharrell, Pharrell become Muslim one day. Inshallah, I yeah, think I Pharrell, him. he's yeah, close. Like he's close, man. Yeah, he talks a lot about spirituality. Um, yeah. Do you have a prayer mat? I, I have one. Yes, yes. Okay, beautiful, beautiful, nice, nice, nice. I do yeah. need a guided yeah. prayer mat, though. I don't have y'all's guided prayer mat. I was, I'm just oh, yeah, was on the website for. actually. That's what oh, you yeah, meant. So, yeah, that's what I meant. Sorry. So if you if you need one, let us know. We send it through, isn't it? Yes, please, please, brother, please. Um, yeah. yeah so, so just, just go, go to the, the website, website, or yeah, go to the website, and then place your order, and then you will send it through like within a week or so. It will be with you within two weeks. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Yes. And also, um, for the YouTube channel, someone in the chat, shout out to the person who gave out, um, in the chat. So basically, ah, nice. the YouTube channel on finance is what's it called? IFG. IFG. So, like, IFG, apparently, IFG. that's where you find all the. It's in a private chat as well, so check out. So it's all 
finance okay. related islamic finance related videos um i think that's the brother that they're referring to but um yeah my bro what's your name again sorry okay. mj so it's just MJ. mj um mj nice yeah my uh lady they uh the actually person that gave me my shahada um she yeah. told me go ahead look start looking for names um mm -hmm. you know muslim names it, she said i don't have yeah. to but you know i've, I've been yeah. looking for one nice mj i like it i like it it's nice man yeah. Yeah. so yeah bro we hit we hit all the time inshallah every thursday saturday you see us you can call in you can send us an email as well if you want to have like a one-to-one -one session you get to me if you send us an email i will reply back so we here, my bro man anything you know oh, thank you anything. brother man um i'm definitely probably going to look for some other prayer sessions because i'm pretty sure i missed uh the mo new muslim classes that i was trying to get into um yeah. I, I just need to memorize uh so yeah well, another quick question before i go do uh um is there like a uh preferred dialect to learn arabic in like or is there like is it just um, arabic like do i just need to, to start yeah, learning yeah, I mean, basically? like it depends who, who who who's teaching you but like the quranic okay. arabic there are particular ways on how to recite it um, how to re that's and, weed, and, right uh, yeah tajweed and usually it okay. will be warsh you know most times or something like that because okay. it's like quite popular uh, so you learn that, but then the more you progress, the more you learn about it, and the more you you yeah. get into the dialects and things like that. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yeah, bro. Make sure you order your guided prayer at salahplus.com, and you can all, um, book a salah session with Dawood or Sheikh Mohammed. Uh, please make sure you do that, bro. Yeah. Inshallah. Inshallah. Yes, brother. Y'all have a good one, man. And it's, and it's, and it's, it's free, by the way. It's, it's free. It's, not, it's it's free. Okay. I'm well, I'm I'm gonna send a donation then. I'm sending a donation then. I appreciate it, man. May Allah bless you, inshallah. You know what that means? That you will help teach someone else to pray, inshallah. May Allah bless you. Really appreciate it. Your donations will go towards helping other people to pray. Uh to learn how to pray. That's amazing, man. Imagine he himself is learning and he's also he's learning and then yeah. Inshallah. Yeah, go send him. Yeah. I gotta you return the favor. I gotta return it. You remind, you remind me, you you don't have to, but the fact that you want to, you remind me of the Sahaba. You know, they would yeah. They will look for Jannah in everywhere. Right. Not SubhanAllah, you are doing that. May Allah bless you, bro. Inshallah, we are uh, looking forward to that. Inshallah, and please, please make sure you order your guided prayer mat for free and book a salah instructor yeah. for free that will teach you how to pray salah. Thank you, brother. Take care, bro. Make sure you call in regularly. Yeah, we're going to be here every Thursday and Saturday. Sheikh Mohammed will be here. You can ask him more Islamic questions, inshallah. Yeah, I think he's gone. Okay, guys, so you saw that for yourself. That's a real-life example, a living example of what this project's doing, guys. Absolutely, yeah? absolutely. Well, 501 pounds away, inshallah. Yeah. That would you enjoy yourself. Make sure you have those donuts, yeah. inshallah, because I'm going to have my little waffle there. Yeah. So, inshallah, brothers and sisters, we're 501 pounds away. We've got eight minutes to reach that target for 500 pounds, guys, yeah? 500 pounds, brothers and sisters, <coughs> will help teach so many people to learn how to pray salah, guys. It will teach 83 up to 166 people. Just think about that. 83 to 166 people to learn how to pray Salah, learn Surah Fatiha. This brother we just spoke to a new Muslim. Mm. He is going to sign up to the program, order his guided prayer mats, get a Salah session in with Dawood or Sheikh Mohammed, and learn how to pray Salah thanks to your donation. Not only that, he wants to himself donate. donate. And look at look at the passion. Look at the yeah. concern. Yeah, He's like, yo, I'm working yeah. and I feel bad and yes. I know I have to. Well, Allah gives me the strength to go get through the day. How can I not? This is precisely what we're trying to say, brothers and sisters. There's millions of hundreds of thousands of people like that, like brother MJ, um, who are willing to do the utmost best they can to learn how to pray. And I think subhanAllah, before you told him it's for free, I think he was he was expecting it to pay for it. Yeah. Uh, he, he probably was like, oh, okay, how much is this gonna cost me? Mm -hmm. But over and over and over again, we tell people, no, this is for free. There's no price that you can put on teaching someone how to pray. This is the connection between you and Allah. Like, of course, we're not going to charge anything. In fact, Ali, um, you were talking to my neighbor a couple of days yeah, ago. Yeah. My neighbor, and he's also willing to do some interviews, inshallah, inshallah. down the line. Is uh, My neighbor, his entire family accepted Islam. Meaning, his wife, all of his children, wow. 
right? And himself all took the Shahada. Wow. I brought them these prayer mats, three of them. Yeah. I gave it to them. And the first thing he said to me was like, okay, how much does this cost you? Yeah. I said, nothing. He's like, yeah. what? Really? I was like, yeah, nothing. Yeah. Just take it. Yeah. I'm part of a charity. That's what we do. We want people to pray. You know, how how dare, how dare I charge you to, to learn how to pray? That's yeah. crazy. Okay. And that is usually a response. And you know what? He's asked me, hey, yo, send me the link to the donations. Wow. You know what? I want to like donate. It's like, and this is something, subhanAllah, I've noticed over and over and over again. Mm. People who benefit from this yep. are willing to donate straight away because of the pricelessness, because they know it's a bargain. They're like, yo, my hundred pounds that I'm giving right now, yeah. I know for a fact that it will never equate to the prayer, ever. Yep. It's a bargain. Yep. And I remember doing um, Ramadan when we were raising funds. Yeah. There was one person, he says, I'm someone who benefited from this 100 pounds. Wow. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I'm someone who benefited from these prayer mats, 100 pounds. Yeah. Right. And it's because precisely because they benefit from this. And there's no price you can put on this brothers yeah. and sisters to be 500 pounds away. Don't look at these 500 pounds and think of them in terms of like, okay, with 500 pounds, I can go on a holiday. Or with 500 pounds, I could buy these shoes. Or with 500 pounds, I could pay the bills even. You have to look at this from the perspective of like, Yo, there's no price, subhanAllah, there's no price I can put on this. Yeah. And the fact that there was people during the campaigns, yeah. we were, I, was, I, I said, I did it three, two times or three times. We're like, uh, we're 16 pounds away from 30,000 pounds, 16 pounds, which means anyone who donates 16 pounds right now, you're taking the entire campaign to a whole new level. Yeah. And then boom, yeah. someone will pay 16 pounds because yeah. they understood that all it took was 16 pounds yes. to make this thing that is already working yes. even bigger. And this yes. is how investment works, right? You invest in things yes. that already are generating a lot of like yes. dividends, you know? That's yes. where you, you preferably you do it early, you know, in order to yes. get as much back. And this is what Salam is. A lot of people don't understand. Salam has been going on for like five years or six years now, mm -hmm. but Salah Plus is fairly new. Mm -hmm. Salah Plus has been going on for the last three years. So it's a very early, very early stages. So yeah. anyone that donates now, anyone that supports it from the ground up, yeah. like, of course, your rewards will be different from like when you join something that is already big. That's just how it goes, isn't it? Yeah. Like, subhanAllah. So yeah, brothers, everyone, everyone wants to be a part of that. Yeah, of course. Then but, but the early, the, the Mahajirun. Yeah, the Muhajirun. That there, there's like, there is a merit in the first one. If you're the first one in your family, to do something there's value to it mm. you know the same thing with Allah if you're because the thing is the first people when they do it it's the hardest yeah because they, they're like oh can we trust it yeah can we trust it there's no precedence yeah and wallahi one thing that I love so much about Salah Plus is its transparency I can be here with I am like clean conscious I I don't have to hide anything. Yeah. I don't have to memorize some complicated story yeah. to tell you so that so it can catch me up. Like it's yeah. so simple. It's everything is here. Everything is clear. Everything is so clear. And I believe the simplicity and the transparency yeah. is why there's so much black. Perhaps yeah. there's so much blessings yeah. coming towards this because yeah. we don't have to hide anything. Exactly. Nothing is hidden. Exactly, guys. Can we go to some videos, please? Can we go to Sister Eyes' video, if it's possible? Um, and let people see where your donations are going, guys. So this yeah. is where your donations are going. If you guys want to watch this now, brothers and sisters, do that, please, because I'm I'm enjoying this dessert. It's just an excuse to uh, eat this in peace. <laughs> in the meantime, I want you guys to see. Inshallah, brothers and sisters, we're going to be back very soon. But we're 500 pounds away from our target. 500 pounds from our target, and then we're going to be open to more questions. You can ask questions, inshallah. Don't forget, guys. Five people to give 100 pounds. 100 pounds will teach 16 up to 32 people. Can we go to Sister Eyes video? Yeah, just towards the end, inshallah. And then after that, you can play another video. <laughs> <laughs> In a row, and I'm thinking, right, I can't do 1A, let alone 3. <laughs> so um, I normally learn best with listening and then following along. So I reached out to um, a sister that I met um, at an event recently, um, just asking her 
about um, just to go because no one ever went through the fail with me. So I've sort of been on a solo journey um, and, and sort of relied on Namaz to, to, for learning the prayer. Um, so I reached out to a sister who, I said, as I said, I met and she um, referred me to um, Salam. So what did you think of today? How do you feel now that you've you know, been walked through this? Amazing. Actually, you know, I have struggled um, with Salat. Just, you know, the wudu, I found it's, it's a very simple, well, it's, it's a simple task. But um, I realized just from speaking to yourself and the brothers that I actually overcomplicate it. So um, as well as the prayer, there's a lot of things that I've been sort of just from from the app, you know, extra duas that we're in. That actually, it's not that they don't need to be in there, but I need the basics. So praying, um, I have a, a much better understanding of praying, and actually, it's a lot simpler than I thought because I've kind of been doing it the harder way. Um, and so I'm going to sort of stick to the basics, perfect those, and inshallah, um, add some duas. May Allah make it easy for you Thank to you, absorb these words and implement their meanings, you know, into yeah. your life as well, inshallah. Jazakallah yeah. khair for, for contacting us and, you know, using this service. And now you have this prayer mat, inshallah, to take with you and, yeah. and take it wherever you need. Yeah. Thank you. And you've really, as well, with um, with my dyslexia, um, simplified things, which um, is really helpful. So this prayer mat was donated by Omar Mohammed Ibrahim for you. So you get to take this home. Um, you can Thank have a look you at it. so much. That's very kind. Thank you so much uh, for donating this. This is going to be a game changer for me. My name's Charlie. I live in London. I'm 16 years old. Uh, I'm at college now. I'm studying geography, politics, history. I like going to the gym a lot. Uh, reading, I like reading as well. And uh, I like just playing around on my Saz. I'm part Turkey Cypriot and part British. Uh, my mum's side is Turkey Cypriot. So I've always sort of known about Islam from like a young age. Like I think most people do, especially living in London. But uh, I think when I first actually started taking interest was uh, early teens, I was quite enthusiastically atheist. My parents or anything, they didn't really talk to me about religion. And on my own accord, just watching YouTube videos and stuff, I, I started off as being very enthusiastically atheist and I didn't really like the idea of religion. Uh, but then recently, within the past couple of years, is when uh, I was interested in Islam. Uh, as well as Christianity, but uh, I was getting out of that phase. I'd start watching Muslim YouTubers and stuff like that. Me and my friend in secondary school would talk about Islam and we'd get into a little bit, bit of debate, just a bit of fun. But uh, after that is when I started really sort of looking into it, like way more than I even needed to. Uh, things about the mother, all that kinds of stuff, stuff that, you know, uh, isn't really necessary for a beginner. I still didn't know if I wanted to convert for a while. It's when I started talking again to my friend about Islam. Uh, he was talking about, you know, you never know what can happen tomorrow. And someone else, my friend on Instagram, was also telling me this. Because I was saying, I think next year I might try to fast for Ramadan. You know, it'd be nice to try it out. And then my friend on Instagram said to me, but it's not confirmed. And I was like, what do you mean? He was like, you never know what could happen tomorrow. And that really started to make me think. And I was like, wow, like... You know, it's not a joke that if something happens tomorrow, I've never got that chance. First of all, I'm very thankful for the donation. It's going to help me a lot with learning how to pray. And in terms of the experience, it was really peaceful. It was really helpful. And it was nice to do that for the first time. This is, I mean, it's a really helpful resource. Like me, if you know, not knowing how to recite Surah Fatiha and things like that, not knowing the movements, having it right there on the mat, being able to look at it and follow as you go, I think it's really helpful, it's really useful, especially for converts, uh, reverts, new Muslims. Thank you. Thank you to the Salam team for coming out here, teaching me. It really means a lot. It was a great experience. So um, I appreciate that. Alaikum Salam. And we will send you one of these guided prayer masks as well. Or you can borrow your husband's. Or borrow yes, your husband's. Yes, no, no, I want my own, please. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually not a Muslim, um, but my husband is a revert. So my first question about Tarawih yep. and 
if a person has trouble praying, um, Tadawi standing up, um, and I know that he, um, there's an option for to sit down while doing it. The standing is better, but the mandatory prayer that has to be prayed standing, unless if the person has uh, an illness that prevents him from standing, that he can sit down. How long have you been a Muslim? Oh, I'm I'm actually not a Muslim. Um, but my husband is a revert. So what my suggestion is, if you become Muslim yourself, keep this between you and your husband until when the time comes when you feel confident to mention this to your, to your family, that's fine. You can go to our website, salahplus.com, and you can order. If you want, Ali, sister... I know can... it already because my husband has it and he actually told me uh, a couple of days ago, he said, I can got, pray. Has he got one of this? Oh, has he got yes. one of this? Yes, and he can pray without um, reading the prayers now. See, you know, subhanAllah, this is, this, is, this is profound. This is profound. Look at this. This is a sister who's a Catholic. Her husband is a Muslim, who's a revert, a revert yeah. who ordered the guided prayer mat and now can yeah. pray without using it. So, I testify. I testify. That there is. That there is. No one. No one. Worthy to be worshipped. Worthy to be worshipped. Except Allah. Except Allah. And I testify. And I testify. That Muhammad. That Muhammad is the messenger. Is the messenger of Allah. Of Allah. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Illa. Illa. Ilaha. Ilaha. Illa. Illa. Allah. Allah. Wa. Wa. Ashhadu. Ashhadu. Anna. Anna. Muhammadan. Muhammadan. Rasulu. Rasulu. Allah. Allah. Takbir. Alhamdulillah. One second. We just realized. Is this Aaron the one you've been teaching how to pray salah? Uh, yes, he's Aaron. Oh my gosh, one second, guys. This is profound. This is Aaron. The word is the word is his instructor. The word has been teaching him how to pray salah. So, this is his wife. Yeah, <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, we talk about salah instructors, and people don't really understand. The word Sheikh Mohammed and the others, there's instructors. Yeah, we didn't even know this. Yeah, the word has been teaching a brother, and he talks so highly of them. Aaron, this, Aaron, that. And subhanallah, where do, we don't even know it's his I wife guess. who's accepting Islam. Subhanallah. Even though I was helping my daughter to learn to pray, she did better with the mat. My story started at the, well, it was, it was before the start of the year, to be honest. It's been ongoing for, I'd say, on and off about two years. The first time I went to a mosque and prayed yeah. was just after college ended, actually. Okay. After I learned about the culture, the people, I, it, was, it was on and off. I never had like strong feelings to come towards is uh, uh islam straight away yeah and that changed when i was speaking to my friend Haydar about it when he was having doubts himself i learned i learned a lot from him when he was struggling and then when he eventually reverted i guess i kind of felt it as well because mm. on the spot i was like i, I kind of want to revert as well, it was, well it, i felt at the moment and obviously mm. i was nervous to start yeah you know i didn't know what to expect i've been mm. growing up in a a very traditional British household sure. where Islam isn't exactly uh, celebrated a lot over mm. here. And um, I, had, I had no idea what to expect apart from what I've learned in the last two years, which isn't a lot, but it's enough clearly to uh, to be here right now and learn with you guys. So that's, that's pretty much my story. Mashallah. Okay, so yeah. um, By uh, Byron, you have something uh, on your lap. What is of that? Of course, the prayer mat that <laughs> the prayer mat that I was gifted from my friend Haydar. Okay, so Byron, alhamdulillah, brothers and sisters, learn how to pray and his friend Haydar for the Salah Plus program, inshallah, brothers and sisters. We are trying to fundraise for that. Assalamu alaikum, brothers and sisters. This is Michael. Assalamu alaikum, guys. Michael came to Islam four years ago at... Oh my god, what is that? Is that us? No, no, yeah. What is that? Is that water? Alright guys, we are back inshallah, alhamdulillah, as you can see. Brothers and sisters, we were having some nice donuts. Alhamdulillah, we were having some desserts. But you saw that you saw brothers and sisters, you saw all the beneficiaries. That would you are a fitness maker. Just save me one please. Yeah. Save me one please. My train will see this on camera and finish. Guys, if you are watching this, come forward inshallah. Do not miss this opportunity. We are 501 pounds away from our target. We are opening the courts, inshallah. If anybody wants to call, you know what's funny? <laughs> you know, how many people watching? How many people watching? 56. You know what's funny, Abdul Kareem? Because now we check people in the back, innit? 
yeah, so, come in and leave it. No, you know what they do? They they, they come hmm. and they, they're like, oh, let's see your face. They'll show someone. And then, I, you know, I go, I go to them, yeah, can you do this? One, two, three, four, five, yeah? <laughs> they just they just run away. Because they show somebody else, in it? Hmm. And if somebody's there just getting up and he's doing this, like, yeah. in his head. Yeah. I go, no, no, I need you yeah, to do yeah, one. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I go to him, I need you to do this. One, two, three, four, five. None of them do it. We only let the ones that do it. It's yeah, fine. no more trolls, man. Exactly. Guys, you are finished. Okay, brothers and sisters, we're here, alhamdulillah. We are 501 pounds away from our target. In the meantime, we are talking. We're doing some Q&As, open questions. Uh, brothers and sisters, we are open to all kinds of questions you guys want to ask us. Do you have any callers? Any questions? No callers. Let's post the link again, inshallah. If there's anybody that wants to call, that wants to ask questions, please feel free, guys, inshallah. Uh, please, brothers and sisters. Come forward, inshallah. We're 500... And one pound away from our target, guys. We are printing these guided prayer mats to help teach people how to pray salah, guys. A hundred pound donation can teach 16 to people uh, to receive this guided prayer mat. And inshallah, up to 32 people can learn surah fatiha, learn salah from sisters. 50 pounds will help teach eight to 16 people to learn surah fatiha, to learn how to pray salah. From sisters, we're just looking for five people to give a hundred pounds. If mm -hmm. there is one person who can give 500 pounds, that will teach 80 free. To 166 people to learn salah, guys. Please, please come forward, inshallah. Absolutely, and brothers give whatever you Absolutely. Can. And uh, this is an opportunity, subhanallah. We just had like Ramadan, and I feel like, subhanallah, this was a good Ramadan. There was a lot, loads of people engaged, and you know, and there was loads of blessings, subhanallah, just generally speaking. Um, and uh, one thing that I, you know, I, I would look, I, I would like to say to people, is, and I said this before, please view this project as something that's an ongoing project, subhanallah, something that you know will continue to be here long after every single one of us isn't here anymore. And I'm referring to all people watching, myself, Ali, the people behind it. We will be gone at one point, subhanallah. So please, brothers and sisters, view this as, I mean, I may, um. Up to crime less of that, yeah, please. Uh, so uh, it throws me off sometimes, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, subhanallah, as Abdul Karim was saying, you know, Abdul Karim just said, May Allah accept it, accept it from us because, in the end of the day, subhanallah, you can give whatever. And subhanallah, you know, when you were reading this, the ayat that I was praying, bro, actually, it made my prayer. I was like, Oh, subhanallah, yeah. let me just let my, let my <laughs> let me fix my prayer here really quickly because of the okay. idea of like. Where, where they would say our wealth didn't help us. Yeah, it's fine. Our wealth did not help us. Wow. Yes. Imagine that. It's fine. In this world, wealth is every like to most people, wealth is everything. Mm. Wealth and health. But over there, they're saying, look, all of the riches and all of the mm. funds we had, it, it doesn't work here. The mm. currency doesn't translate. Yeah, yeah. You know, exactly. Fine. Subhanallah, bro. May Allah protect us. May Allah protect us from such a day. I mean, you know, and be uh, amongst those who are certain and have yaqeen when they pick up their book. Exactly, bro. Sister, subhanallah. And that day, like, we was reading <coughs> and Surah Qalam as well, bro. Sister, it's like that. The man who gets his book in his right hand, he's so sure. He will tell the angels, come and read my book. Look at the certainty. Come mm. and read my book for I knew this day was going to mm. come. Mm. Look, imagine the certainty you're going to have. Look, imagine the person's certainty he had about dying in the hereafter let alone actually living that he's like oh my gosh this is exactly yeah. what was promised and this is exactly what i'm living that's why he's calling the angels what about the other one the one who received his book on the left hand he will say oh that i wish i never existed i wish that death was the end of it all that's what he's going to say mm. allah is telling you about the future allah is telling you what those people are saying so it's a reminder for you yes allah's talking to you from the future He's going to say, I wish that death was the end of it all. You know, the person who says that I knew, like the person that's sure. Of yes. Him, like, do you think there's someone that goes through life knowing? Was he sure with like this um, in trust in Allah? Yeah. Or, or was it that he was so sure about? He was sure that the day was going to come. So like he could have, he could, he could like, for example, mm -hmm. we can live in fear. We can live like mm -hmm. it's... Um, in the sense where, for example, where am I going to go? Yeah. Am I going to die on belief? Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you still have those fears. Don't get it twisted. But in the back of your mind, we have the belief on, which is what? We believe in Allah, His books, His messengers. Mm -hmm. Those are things that we know. Yeah. yeah. Our concern is, are we going to make it through? Yeah. And when you make it through, 
what you believed already is in front of you because it's like I already believe this. Now it's more and more certain. Do you get it? Yeah. It's like Ibrahim alayhi salam when he said, mm. Oh Allah, can you show me how you mm. do you get it? not that he doesn't believe in it, mm. but rather he was just like, you know, I'm just intrigued. Yeah. You get it? So believing mm. now in Islam and the hereafter. It's not going to be the same when you see it, bro. When you see it, it's a whole different level because it's like, bro, like, you know, because yeah. everyone has that 1% of, yeah, mm, yeah, yeah, do yeah, yeah. Like, mm, you get it? Yeah, yeah. That day, there is no, that Allah says that day, your eyes are going, so, going to be sharp. Yeah. You, you, you yeah. know, imagine if if we are dedicated to Islam and that's why Jannah is promised to the believers. Why? Because they believed in Allah without seeing him. Yeah. You just see the angels. Did you, see, did, you didn't yeah. see the stuff. So yeah. imagine how that day is going to be when all of these things are in front of you. Do you get it? That's so, powerful. subhanAllah, brothers and sisters, we're 501 pounds away from our target. Uh, I'm looking for five people to give 100 pounds. I know there are five people out there who can give 100 pounds or 10 people to give 50 pounds, guys. 50 pounds would help teach eight to 16 people to learn how to pray salah. It's a sadaqah jari. If you missed the opportunity to give in sadaqah in Ramadan, it's never yeah. too late, brothers and sisters. You can give it in this month as well, inshallah. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will multiply those rewards for you as well. Please come forward and give whatever you can. We put, did you put the stream right link? Yes. Okay, the stream link is there, guys. Please come forward, inshallah. Who? Ah, oh, brother Eric. Is Eric back? Are you sure it's right, Eric? Don't make sure. Yeah. Hello, salam alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, Aki. How are you? Yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How are you doing, Eric? Mashallah. It's so nice to see you again. Did you stream since Ramadan, or is this the first time? No, this is the first time. We we took a break, man. It was too too oh, hectic. I was in stream every day. I had to reset my factory settings. I need to recharge. <laughs> I understand, I understand, you did uh, great By the way, brothers, I wanted to share a quick thing You know how it's funny, like uh, the Basically, Ramadan ended I mm -hmm. Is it weird? Or did you have the same thing? Like, I could sense immediately Immediately during Eid uh, That Shaitan is out Subhanallah. Yeah, Immediately yeah. <laughs> yeah. Immediately, yeah. I'm like, hey, yo Like, that's just crazy, like, yeah. seriously yeah. Yeah. Ever since, yeah. ever since that day It's so much more testing Like, so much more difficult, yeah. everything yeah, crazy, yeah, yeah, crazy, yeah. Wallahi. Yeah, I'm gonna have to testify with that still. <laughs> well, wallahi, there was uh, they have here in the UK, they have this thing called like it's like uh, you know, some cultures um, do this, it's like a mo um, the moon sighting festival. Yeah, yeah, so it's they're Muslims, but they're celebrating not Eid, but they're celebrating pre Eid, yeah, okay. and uh, in Southall, there was a massive fight, like police Seriously? officers and like. Imagine you just fasted 30 days. No way, serious. And then the next day you go and you start vandalizing the streets, bro. What were they doing? They're fighting the police, bro. Why? Because the I don't know what exactly happened, but there was fights between police officers and people chucking stones. What, Muslims? And, yeah. <laughs> well, it's yeah. this is why Shawal yeah, is so important because there's a hadith that says that for the one who fasts in Shawal, it is a confirmation for their fasting during Ramadan, you know. Wow. So, like you were saying, Eric, or lie, I, I, I was, I was, I was scared because I was like, wow, for once, I'm really aware of the progress that I'm making during Ramadan with this fasting. Like, I'm so scared to lose it. And yesterday, usually, I stay up, and I, I stay up. That's I've noticed. I've, I've, I've identified. Mm -hmm. Staying up late leads to other things. Yeah. For me, it leads to other like yeah. I wake up late or I wake up yeah, like grumpy yeah. or I was like, you know, I was in my, I was on the sofa. I was like, nah, I'm not going back to that cycle. Yeah, yeah. Went yeah. to sleep straight away. Straight away. You see straight. Perfect. Yeah, 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 yeah. It has an effect on your prayer, yeah, and then when your prayer is not properly, it yeah. affects other. Yeah. So like, I'm I'm very um, what's it called? Conscious. Conscious, and I'm preparing myself. Because I know Shaitan is going to come very hard, you know, mm. on us. Because he sees the amount of people that come into the deen. Yeah, yeah. There's so many people coming to the yeah, deen, yeah, yeah. you know. Uh, and by the way, Eric, this is a conversation, you know. You can, you can join. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, wallahi, wallahi, like you're saying, I, yeah. I have the same thing. It's just, yeah. you know what I'm thinking? And I'll be completely honest with you. I'm actually thinking of fasting again. But not just like, yeah. okay, every other day or maybe every three, five weeks. Or I don't know. I just want to mm. seriously fast again because I feel mm. like when I'm fasting, I'm protecting myself in a way, you know? You know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah. like a yeah, like a big shield around me. Yeah. Yeah, probably. And probably, uh, probably I'm going to do that. And especially now it's going to be a challenge. Like here in Netherlands, I don't know how you have it in London, but here in Netherlands, the, the Maghrib time is around nine already. So 
it's yeah. uh, it's really tough. It's really tough. But no, Allah, yeah. I, I I completely hear what you're saying, and I'm really uh, glad to to hear you again and see you, brothers. However, I'm yeah. going to have to disconnect for a while because I just yeah. need to do some other things around here, and I also need to pray in a bit. Uh, but mm -hmm. I will join later, inshallah. And brothers, inshallah, yeah, everyone brothers, donate. Yeah. Brothers and sisters, donate, donate. Let's go, donate. It's not stopping. Oh. And even though it's <laughs> at the end of Ramadan, it's not stopping. Come on. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> May Allah bless you, inshallah. Well, look after yourself. Guys, you heard that from Eric, subhanAllah. May Allah bless him. Hey, real estate, sir. Can they what? No, no, no. It has to be the face. You're not going to be on the live. You're, you show your face. The, okay, see you, brothers. Assalamu alaikum. Alexa, Eric. Yes, okay. Uh, yeah, we need to see your face. Your face is not going to be on live. We just need to see from the back end. We need to see. Sorry? <laughs> Uh, yeah, okay, show us, show us your, your niqabi, please. We have to see from back end because otherwise, that's not niqabi. Oh, there's someone else, yeah, Kurdim. Yeah, okay, you need to show us your face. Uh, Esad, can you just show us your hand? Just one, two, three, four, five. Can you do one, two, three, four, five? Yeah. Okay, perfect, thank you, and also, Kur. Kurdim, yeah, can you show your hand? Do one, two, three, four, five. You're not being shown on stream. No one can see you. Okay, no one can see you. Is it's, it's is that it's backstage? It's backstage. Only we see you. Nobody else can see you. Brother Esad, give us one second. We're gonna go to Kurdim first. Kurdim, uh, you have to <coughs> you have to show your face. We need to show your face. Let's go to Esad in the first. In the meantime, inshallah. Guys, also don't forget we still need 500 pounds inshallah next hour. Tell us, uh, hello, salam alaikum, Rabbi Esad. Oh, he went. I don't know what happened there. Kordib, we need to see your face, please. Otherwise, we can't let you in. Is that the Nakabi? I don't think so. It doesn't look like, it look like Nakabi. Hello? Okay. <coughs> Mashallah. All right, guys, we are four, 501 pounds away from our target. Mashallah. So guys, I know we can get that first donation, even if it's one pound. Even if it's one pound. Let's go, inshallah. Yeah, let's we are go. looking for five people to give 100 pounds, guys. It would help teach. Uh, it would help us to print thousands of these prayer mats. Guys, inshallah, uh, 100 pounds will teach 16 to 32 people to learn salah, guys. To learn surah fatih, as you can see on here, guys. They will get this guy to prayer mat. Imagine you are the reason 16 people learn how to pray salah. Learn Surah Fatiha, guys. Please donate whatever you guys can, inshallah. And also, brothers and sisters, just remind... Brothers and sisters, brothers and sisters, just remind yourself that, subhanAllah, this project is getting more popular, more as a meaning, more and more people are finding out about this. So the, uh, the prayer mats that we're printing out is the second run. This is how early you're coming in. It's the second run. We haven't done any runs after the, before this. There was only one run we did of 10,000 prayer mats. Out of those 10,000 prayer mats, subhanAllah, we've sent out 8,000 plus. And now we are ordering 20,000 prayer mats. And subhanAllah, you know, Aaron was saying to me, yeah. he even thinks that's, it's not a lot. No, it's not. Yeah. It's not a lot. Yeah. He thinks well, that soon, we, soon we've got some new plans. He says we will, it will go very quickly. <laughs> yeah. Because the way things are going and the way we're progressing, it seems that this this is one of those projects that just explodes like from one day to the other and we like and this is why we are preparing ourselves for 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 for, for all, all these high demands that are about to come we slowly uh starting to prepare ourselves and this is why uh resources are so important subhanallah because i will say to the people i've been saying to this in ramadan to them yeah. we're really a local organization that operates on an international level Exactly. Like the scale and the way and the people that we it's very local, it's very small. But the 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 the, the people that we reach is international. You saw brother MJ earlier on. He's from Virginia. He he was in his car, he's driving in his car in Virginia, you know. SubhanAllah. I've never been to like North America. I've been to Canada, but I've never been to North America. But I'm there with him, you know. I'm I'm empathizing with him, I'm relating to him, you know. He's telling me about his life and he's telling me what he does. Huh? So uh, this is the nature of the beast. This is the nature of Salam. This is of Salah Plus. It's something that is it's grown extremely wide. 
Also, uh, just remembered, uh, Brother Aaron, is Brother Aaron there? Viking, the Muslim Viking, if he's in there, please let us know. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, so, Kurdin, we can't see your face. I don't know if you're a man, I don't know if you're a woman. You're wearing a face mask, we can't see it. You can't see your face, we need to see your face. Please show your face or we're going to have to kick you out. We don't want to kick you out, please show your face. We cannot see your face, you need to show your face, please. Try engage with um yeah, them we, in, uh, in the private chat. Yeah, we can't we can't see you. Yeah. We can't see you. Sorry. But yeah, um, that's fine. If you're a girl, you just show your face. Your face is not uh, aura. We need to see it because otherwise we need to verify. Sorry. All right, guys, we are five hundred and one pounds away. Guys, come on, five hundred one pounds away. Oh no, we're not. Somebody just donated. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Somebody donated <laughs> sixty pounds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Well, all right. Well, no, if you guys have you guys, did you guys see it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's fine. Okay. Yeah, okay. Okay, okay add it. Okay, you can cover your face now. One second. Cover your face. You can you can turn it off now if you want. We're gonna go live. Yes, sister Kurdim. <laughs> well, I'm sister. Sorry, because you know what it is? We get people, they yeah, they yeah. play they play disgusting stuff and yeah, it affects the channel. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yeah, I just want to say thank you so much for the prayer mic. It's really helping me. So thank oh, you. Mashallah, are, mashallah, are you are you a are you a new Muslim or no? I've always been a Muslim. I just needed help praying and stuff like that. So Allah it's been Akbar. real help. Allah wow. Mashallah. Where are you? Where are you, where did you order it from, sister? Sorry. Where did you order it from? I ordered it from Salah Plus. No, no, no. Like uh, which country? Oh, I'm from the UK. Oh, I'm sure you're from the UK. Mashallah. Okay, mashallah. Yeah, so mashallah. originally Kurdish. Oh, same like me. Are you Turkish yeah. Kurdish or are you Iraqi Kurdish? Uh, I'm not Iraqi. I don't like say Iraqi Kurdish. Just Kurdish from Bashur, Iraqi side. I guess. You speak Arabic, not Turkish. No Kurdish. You speak Kurd, Kormanji. Sorani, Sorani. Sorani. Oh yeah, you speak Sorani. Yes, different. Okay, okay, okay mashallah. So, so, what's yeah, the difference between Sorani and Kormanji? It's different. The language dialect. is quite different. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, it is quite different. One is closer to Persian, and one is closer to. I have no idea. They're both close. Really it's just like different pronunciation. Yeah. Yeah. Me, Kormanji knows any. Yes. So, sister, uh, yeah. Okay. So, you ordered the guy to pray, Matt. When did you order it? Like, what city? No, no. When did you order it? Like, is it oh, recent? Is what, it something new? It, it was something very recent, like a, like a month ago. So, okay. So, tell us, this is very interesting. So, as a born Muslim, what was you struggling with that the guy to pray, Matt, uh, helped you or you, you found the need for it? Well, basically, sometimes when I'm trying to like pray and stuff like that, it was very difficult for me to remember everything and just having it in front of you, especially, you know, like it includes like those, you know, like the ha words, you know, like ha. Yeah. Mm -hmm. includes, like, how to, it like, you know, it like includes it inside of the word. So it's like, it's still, like a very big help for people that don't like, especially when you don't know Arabic, you know, when it's like Arabic, Latin, or yeah. something like that, when it's written yeah. in English, but it's Arabic, it, it's like wow. the very very big help so Marshall, this is this is this is, this yeah, is amazing Marshall, this is very very so now you've got the idea also you can book a salah instructor yeah and one of our sisters can go through it with you as well if you want yeah um uh, i just have like a question sure yeah so basically it's just something that every time i finish my prayer <coughs> and um i just i'm worried that it's not accepted it's basically you know when you put your finger up to say yeah yeah when when you meant to put your thing up is it like you know when you say um uh, yeah so some say, some say yeah like uh, this doesn't invalidate your salah this is a it's a sunan so it's yeah. it's something that if you do you get rewarded if you don't do it it's not a sin uh for example you have wajibat wajibat is something if you don't do you are sinful but it doesn't invalidate invalid the salah so for example in sajda subhana rabbi al-ala you yeah. have to say that if you don't say you're sinful, but it doesn't invalidate your salah. There's arkan of salah, which are things that you must do. If you don't, for example, I must stand mm -hmm. for my prayer. Yeah. If I sit down when I'm able to stand, my salah is battered. Mm -hmm. Or for yeah. example, if you stand, there was one person that we saw once. He went from Ruku to Sajda. Mm -hmm. He didn't get back up. Invalidates your salah. Mm -hmm. uh, these are the pillars of Islam. So uh, I mean, pillars of salah. So mm -hmm. there's twelve. Some say there's fourteen of them. Yeah. So mm -hmm. these that you don't do invalidate salah. However, stuff like, for example, saying Subhanallah Rabbi Al-Ala once is wajibat. Saying it three times is, is a sunnah. 
So it's it's not this doesn't invalidate your salah. This is from oh. shaitan. You doing this, not doing this, you don't do it at all. It doesn't invalidate your salah. The way you sit, it doesn't. You know, obviously the way you sit, it's um, a class of the sunnah. Obviously, I'm not saying like you know yoga position, but yeah. So I would say uh, I do it when I say, for example, I put my finger up when I say the shahada and I put it by, by, back down. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, it does. It it, it it doesn't matter at all. Thank you very very much. And also, just like one quick thing, you know how. I want to be in Qabi, like, very, very much. Inshallah. However, in school, they don't allow it. Do you agree with that? Okay, firstly, uh, if you don't mind me asking, how old are you? 14. Okay, uh, can I ask, what's the reason you want to be in Qabi? Well, basically, the more I'm, I'm looking into, like, why women wear hijab, why do you have to cover up, the more I'm, like, very, like, agreeing with it. Because you see all of these boys, like, not like this generation, no one's really... Like they don't see worth in women anymore, and I, whenever I look at sisters that don't wear the hijab or they show too much, it just makes me like even more want to cover up myself. Mashallah, that's good. May Allah bless you for your intentions and how you feel. Mm -hmm. May Allah bless you. Inshallah, this is your natural fitra as a woman, you know, as haya. So I would say personally, you need to. Be how is your family? Like, are they religious? Oh yeah, they're very religious. Yeah. Mashallah. Okay, mashallah. Like, if they're supportive, that's good. Yeah. Just bear in mind a few things. Number one. Um, you might be, uh, I don't know what part of the UK you live in. So, um, okay, if there's a Muslim community, you're safe, 100% yeah. go ahead. Uh, however, I just just be careful um, that, you know, if, if you're in a predominantly an area where you can get attacked, bear that in mind. Yeah, uh, yeah bear that in mind. Uh, also, for example, um, if your parents are not happy, don't do it at their displeasure. Um, yeah. Especially depends if the opinion you follow that it's not fard. Uh, your parents' rights override that. Um, mm -hmm. Other than that, I mean, I would say go ahead, but um, <clears throat> don't overburden yourself uh, if there comes a time where you... Because what happens is some sisters wear the niqab, and yeah. then sometimes they become overburdened with it, and then when they take it off, they feel like as if they're taking the hijab off. Yeah. And they sister, feel like, oh, I'm, I'm committing something, or I'm not... Cause, it, yeah, because yeah, that would be the next question, sister. Sorry, Ali. Um, yeah. is, are you are you in hijabi right now? Yes, I'm a hijab, alhamdulillah. Okay, mashallah, because that would be very important because sometimes yeah. I've seen, Nali was just alluding to this, sometimes sisters, they're not like hijab, nothing. The first thing they do is niqab. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And that's very uh, difficult to maintain because it, it is difficult, in, even in this country, subhanAllah, to be a niqabi. Yeah. But with the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and his uh, tawfiq, you, you'll be able to do it. Yeah. In terms of school, I would say... Obviously, the school, like, that could cause a problem, you know, yeah. in school. Yeah, sorry, yeah, the school, yeah, yeah, yeah exactly, the school, yeah, um, that could cause a problem. Yeah. So I would say, bear that in mind, yeah, it, it might be that you don't wear it in school, and wear yeah. it after, then you might think, oh, but it defeats the purpose, but yeah. still, again, at the end of the day, Allah knows if you're doing it to draw close to him, yeah, yeah, yeah. just wait up, inshallah, but do istikhara, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide. Yeah. Guidance. Thank you guys so much again for everything. I'll make sure to donate, guys. Make sure to donate. Inshallah. May Allah bless you, sister. We're going to be here every yeah. Thursday, Saturdays. If you have any questions, you can feel free to join in. Uh, do you mind yeah. if we use this clip just to show people that there are born yeah, Muslims to use the guided prayer? Of yeah, is it okay? Of course. Okay, yeah. No problem. Let's just take a note of that, inshallah, send it to Zakaria. Uh, just to show the people that Subhanallah, there are born Muslims who benefit from it. Okay, sister. Allah. May Allah take bless care, you, May Allah bless you. Yourself. Thank you. Bye. Yeah. Yeah, bye bye. Okay, guys, alhamdulillah, some donations have come in to find out, guys. We yeah. are 441 pounds away. Well, like, uh, 441 well, like, pounds young, away. very young sister, mashallah. Yeah. You know, she's on her path on her journey yeah. towards the last one. Yeah. She realized that in what generation she's in. Mm. Well, like, it broke my heart when she said that, you know, like yeah. the fact that uh, there's the boys of this generation yeah. don't see worth in, in women. Yeah, okay, 100%. And sadly, yeah, men are men, but you know, so. They need to be taught better, which they are not. And then their sisters who are females who are, they're the gatekeepers of this. And yeah. when they lose it, everybody goes down. Yeah. So guys, we're 441 pounds away. 441 pounds away, inshallah. Please, please, guys, come forward and give whatever you can. How many people watching, guys? 79. 79, plenty on the plenty. 441. 441. Donate and run. Let's go. Brothers and sisters, inshallah, if you're watching this, we have some callers. Who's Danny? Danny, we need to see your face. Danny. Okay, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Danny, can we see you do one, two, three, four, five, please? Is that the guy with the, I feed you the cat? Danny, one, like this. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, Danny's too legit to quit. Okay, let's go to Danny. Yes, Danny. 
How you doing? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. How you doing? How you doing? Um, I just had a couple of questions about Islam. You know, I was uh, very interested in the religion. I just wanted to find out some more. Sure. Yep. What? Uh, where, where are you calling from? From uh, the U.S. Okay. Yeah, sure. What's, what, what would you like to ask? Basically is uh, how can a Muslim in the afterlife go to heaven? You know, what what, what do you guys believe in when it comes to heaven? Uh, we, we believe that um, as long as you believe in one God and that there's nothing like him, he does not beget, he's not begotten, that Jesus is not God, that God is not an idol, he doesn't come in different forms. Um, yeah, I would personally say like uh, what we believe in Islam is that the one who testifies that there is nothing worthy of worship except God. He follows the commandments of Islam. Like there is a hadith of uh, a, a Bedouin man who came to the Prophet, peace be upon him, and he asked him, he said, what must I do to be a Muslim? He said, you must testify the Shahada. He said, what else must I do? He said, you must pray five times a day. And the man said, I will pray five times a day, nothing more, nothing less. Um, and then he was told that he has to pay charity, which is 2.5%. Um, he said, I will pay exactly that. I won't pay a penny more or a penny less. He was told that he has to fast in Ramadan. <coughs> he said, I will fast exactly in Ramadan and nothing more, nothing less. And he was told to go uh, pilgrimage to Mecca uh, for Hajj if he has the means to. And the man said, I'll do exactly that. I already got one. I can buy from him. Uh, he said, I'll, uh, I'll already, uh, I'll do that and nothing more. And he, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, if this man is truthful in what he says, he yeah. went into paradise. So, so that's yeah. the basic fundamental things that you need to do and believe in. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what I wanted to ask. So about Jesus, yeah, you guys yeah. Uh, don't believe that he's God, but do you guys believe in the crucifixion? Uh, we do not believe he was crucified. We believe they tried to crucify him, but God Almighty saved him. Mm. Uh, we don't know how he saved them in what mm. way uh, yeah. we believe he saved, saved his prophet against those who were plotting the the jews at the time who were plotting yeah. to kill him and he saved his prophet we, we believe that he was a mighty prophet he did miracles his mom uh his mother was a righteous woman we have a whole chapter in the quran of about his mom uh we have jesus mentioned by name he is no muslim can be a muslim if you don't believe in jesus and his miraculous birth and the miracles he did with the permission of god Hmm. That's our belief. We don't believe he's God. We don't believe he's an angel or something for that matter. Okay, okay. And uh, one last question is, uh, so as a Muslim, how do you um, say, so when you, when, you, when, you, when you commit sin as a Muslim, yeah. how, do you just ask for forgiveness and you're okay? Or is there things that you have to do to make up for that sin? Yeah, so basically it depends what the sin is. Uh, so if you've committed a wrong sin against God, uh, then you repent. So there's free depends. So you can you can say astaghfirullah, ask God for forgiveness. Uh, but if it's a major sin, there is there is a kind of a protocol that obviously you hate the sin, you try not to go back to the sin, and you stop the sin. Hmm. Yeah, these are free conditions that you do. You ask God directly. You don't go through Prophet Muhammad or Jesus or Moses. You ask God directly. Uh, there's a fourth condition: is if you wrong someone else, if you wrong someone else and slap someone in the face, you have to either that guy. He chooses to slap you back in the face like an eye for an eye, or that Allah says it is better that He forgives if He forgives you. So you have to ask for His forgiveness. If you owe Him money, you have to pay His money. Hmm. So if you have wronged Him, you have to you get it. The, the condition, the fourth condition is regarding an individual's right, which right. Islam heavily, you know, uh, emphasizes. Uh, it's that, and it's just your repentance between you and God, not between okay. you, you and a priest right. or sorry an imam. And also, but and uh, also, if I Sorry, if I just may ask, uh, if I may just add quickly before you get on with the next question. No, no. It's you know, not. you said something very interesting. You said, um, do you just ask for forgiveness? Now, this is like, unfortunately, a misunderstanding, a misconception that a lot of people have about forgiveness in Islam. You, you don't just ask because just asking alone would not be sufficient. You have to ask in humility humbly you ask right. allah in humility meaning you put yourself low you put yourself down and then you ask and that requires a lot of faculties that are within the soul mm -hmm. so it's an activity of the soul you have to engage your soul in order to seek and to beg for mm -hmm. forgiveness and that yeah. is not something as simple as oh god i'm sorry it's really being reflective of I mean, what yeah, is you, that you, you have done. to be truly sorry when you yes yes understand. yes and it's yeah, yeah. it's it's difficult sometimes yeah yeah i mean yeah. Uh, back to the question of uh wronging somebody else what if mm -hmm. you as a person you're truly sorry for what you've done and then you go to the person that you've wronged and you ask for forgiveness 
and uh, that person doesn't forgive you. You know what I mean? But you yourself, you're very sorry, and you know you are seeking forgiveness. You know what I mean? What, what happened yeah. in that type of situation? So in that in that in that instance, you've done your bit. The matter is between you and God now. <clears throat> uh, so what we would say is, on the day of judgment, there is a place where two believers would meet before they enter paradise, and if one is upset over the other, he will be recompensed. Where Allah will tell the other person that you wronged, if I give you this and this in paradise, would mm. you forgive? And he will say, yeah, I will forgive. So that's where the matters will be resolved. Mm -hmm. uh, but again, you never know. Uh, at the same time, sometimes even in Islam, to go and ask for forgiveness might cause more problems. So mm -hmm. for instance, if you go and say, you know what, actually, you know, that time I stole your money, it was me. It's better you don't tell them. It's better that you return that money and say, you know what, actually, I bought you a gift. You know, I believe, you know, you've done so much for me. Here's, I don't know, 200 pounds. And that's the money you stole from them, maybe. Did you get it? Mm -hmm. You return it mm -hmm. back in that way. Uh, mm. Argument saying if that doesn't work, then you give in my, that money in charity on their behalf, mm. and they will get the rewards of that in the hereafter. So there's ways of uh, Islam has put protocols in place to protect things from escalating. And him saying, you know, oh my gosh, so all this time you stole my money and grudges. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? So yeah. it's better not to be said. So there's different ways of, uh, of dealing with that. Right, 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 right. Okay. Uh, one last question. If I don't want to take up too much of your time, yes. uh, in the Quran, you guys believe that. Jesus will come back eventually, yeah. Yes, he will He will have a second coming and he will break the cross and kill the swine and testify that he never uh, claimed to be divine. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Well, that's all uh, I had to ask. Thank you for coming. That's fine. What's, so what's stopping you from accepting Islam, brother? Uh, nothing yet. I just wanted to do more research on it and, you know, sure. study it. Yeah. That's fine. You yeah. can call us every Thursday and Saturday. Usually we're here. Uh, Saturday, I'm going to confirm, but we're here definitely Thursdays. Uh, yes. Call us anytime you like, and we can try to answer your questions. Got you. Thank you, guys. I appreciate. it I'm a huge fan, man. I watch your videos all the time. Thank you. Thank appreciate you it, my really bro. Appreciate Thank it, man. you, man. Thank you for calling. Right. I really appreciate Allah bless you. Guide you. All right. I mean, I mean, take it, Danny. Look after yourself, bro. You know what? Like, sorry, you wanted to say something. No, no. no. Like, I'm gonna. I just want to say, guys, we're 441 pounds yeah. away. Yeah. Uh, we just need. Uh, so finally, we've got 20 minutes, guys. Yeah. We, do, we just need away. four people to give 100 pounds. Yeah. Four people to give 100 pounds. Teaching all 16 to 32 people. 16 to 32 people. Yeah. 100 pounds is going to teach 16 to 32 people, bro. Exactly. They're going to get this guy to pray, guys. And you, we've had callers. You've yeah. heard. Yeah. We don't make this up, bro. Yeah. You got people yeah. calling. And literally mm -hmm. saying yes, <laughs> born Muslim sister, yeah. fourteen year old, yeah. saying I yeah. learned how to pray. Yeah. This is this, you mm -hmm. think it's a joke, guys? Look, mm -hmm. this is this is sister calling in UK yeah. Manchester. Mm -hmm. uh, her question was about Nikaba. She said, "Yeah, I wanted to guide a prayer mat, yeah. and yeah, it's hard to uh, learn, but now uh, I can put it in front of me and learn." Yeah. So you facilitated, you know, we were talking She's about this learning, stuff, brothers and we're very specific. Yeah, yeah, we could easily use the phrase theology and be like, We're teaching new Muslims because that's yeah. what people donate to. Yeah, we very specifically say born Muslim and new Muslims, yeah. you know yeah. why? Yeah, because yeah. yeah. we don't want to be uh, miss, miss because if we say new Muslims, we don't have 20,000 new Muslims, we might do, yeah. we're not going to reach those. You get it? There's there's born Muslims that order this, yeah. So we're very, very specific at the detriment that our donations might not come through, but handle the donation tripled. Mm. Do you get what I'm trying to say? Yeah. And we're honest in our. In, in, in what we say, guys, yeah? Mm -hmm. Born Muslims and new Muslims learn how to pray Salah, guys. Subhanallah, yeah? Mm -hmm. So imagine this, brothers and sisters. So please come forward, yeah? And I've been lamenting and pleading you, with you guys that, wallahi, there is a whole, tr like, group of Muslims that come from Muslim household. And I know for some people, it might be so far-fetched. How come? And they're Muslims. Of course, they know how to. No, there are people who are Muslims who don't know how to pray. Subhanallah. Plenty of them. And what is happening now, subhanAllah, is that I think for the first time, there are alternatives. I'm not saying that we're the only solution. I'm not saying that Salah Plus is the only solution, but it's an alternative, mashallah, where the person, is in a sincere way, is waqi. Yeah. You know, think about this. This is just them, the prayer method, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. It's very sincere in that sense. They don't have to, yani, um, you know, have the fear of being embarrassed or anything like that. All of that is removed okay. with this uh, with these prayer mats. Also, for those who are asking or wondering, the prayer mats are discreet, meaning when we send them to you guys, no one can tell what is in there. Okay, yeah. they're like in a square white packaging yeah. most of the times. Now, nowadays, obviously, we've, we've been writing the duas of those who've been donating, subhanallah, yeah. writing the names of the people to make dua for them. Mm. But generally speaking, you won't be able to know what is within those um, these prayer packs, packs that we send. Um, but yeah, I just, subhanAllah, like just, um, you know, I, was, I came across this incredible parable because I've been recently, I've been really looking into salvation 
from uh, obviously from the Islamic perspective, salvation from like the Buddhist perspective, yeah. and more so the Christian perspective, Old Testament. <coughs> bro, I found some incredible verses in Psalms that, bro, this whole thing of like uh, Jesus being a sacrifice, you know, yeah. it's it, it goes against this Old Testament. Yeah, it's Solomon yeah. and David constantly yeah. acknowledging that sacrifice will never be enough. Yeah, like they basically what they're saying is like, God, we know that this sacrifice, we can't even be sincere with it, but your mercy is what we we bank on. Yeah, and then there's this powerful parable. Yeah. yeah. But that's, what, that's what they always believe in. They they believe it's, yeah. it's the grace of God that eventually yes. Yes. it's great uh, yeah. that thing. Like we believe in that. Yeah, they're, they're on the assumption that we believe it's our works only. Yeah, 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 and, yeah, 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 yeah. But 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 they what they, but what the, the Christians have done yeah. with the New Testament is now they've taken this uh, old concept of atonement yeah. Yeah. and they've transformed it into salvation. Yeah. Look, there's a difference, and that's why I was asked Christians. I was like, there's a difference between expiation. Yes. And salvation. Yes. Bro, salvation is basically your eternity. Yeah. How can salvation be depending on a sacrifice? Yeah. That's works. You know yeah. when they say to us, or oh, you guys depend on works. Well, you yeah. depend on works too. You have to do the book of James. It says yeah. uh, faith with no works is dead. Absolutely. Yeah. So it's um it's expiation. The children of Israel, the reason why they used to sacrifice is when they used to make a sin. Yes. But it means when you do the sin, yeah. And you the sacrifice, does that not mean because you've done a sacrifice, all the sins you're going to do after are not going to be... No, you will still sin. Yeah. So I came across this parable, Yeah. you know, and it's, yeah. it's powerful. It's a powerful parable. So it's called the parable of the Pharisee and the publican. And publicans, okay. they were like tax collectors. Okay. And they used to be hated. People used to hate tax collectors because <laughs> they used to work with the, the Romans. Really? Yeah, yeah. So they were like the... Scum of the earth, sort of like <laughs> yeah. a lot of the Pharisees. So the, there was one Pharisee, he was yeah. in a temple, he was praying, he was fasting, he was doing everything. Yeah. It's very similar to the story of the guy, the man who ah, prayed yeah, his high yeah, life, yeah, yeah. who was like, yeah. life. Yeah. yeah. So he was praying and he became arrogant, yeah. he was very arrogant. And he looked at the tax collectors and he was like, and This is a parable Jesus gave him. Yeah. He looks at it, oh, these guys, man, <laughs> scum on the earth, look at what they're doing to their own people, type mm. of thing, yeah. And then there was a tax collector, uh, a publican. All he did was he felt so sorry for what he did, and he attained mercy, the mercy of God. Well, wow. just because of the power, because he felt sorry. Wow. And look, Jesus is teaching this parable, mm. and this is why when I was reading John, I've realized these people it's the interpretation because you know, when you're so hell bent with an idea, yeah. the thing is they're so hell bent with um Trinity. They have to squeeze every single verse they yeah. can find yeah. into the that it fits with Trinity. Yeah. So they forget all the other teachings of Jesus. Yeah. Why is yeah. Jesus telling us this story of the parable <laughs> yeah, yeah. of the because why? Because when he came to Jerusalem, <coughs> yeah. the Pharisees, what they were doing was they were <coughs> fixated on the law. They yeah. were like, it's the law, it's the law, it's yeah, the, yeah. the way you do things. Yeah, the, 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 Jesus said, No, you guys have missed first of all, you use you're using abusing the law against the the weaker people, yeah. and secondly, you've forgotten that the soul is what is important. Mm. What does Allah say? He says, Allah is only going to accept what? A pure, a clean soul on the day of judgment. That's mm. all he's going to accept. Meaning, a soul that has refined itself, it's mm. it's um, checked itself of yeah. all the diseases. Yeah. Yeah. So like people, you need to understand, so when you ask a question like, oh, because you know the brother, Danny, mashallah, he asked the question, he's like, well, is this just you are just asking for forgiveness? Bro, yeah. asking for forgiveness, sincerely, yeah. is amongst the hardest things to do mm. if you do it on a continuous basis because, like, how many times are you going to do a thing and be very sincerely apologetic yeah. about yeah. it? Yeah. Imagine people who sin all the time, it's become normal to them. Mm. That's a bad state to be in. Yeah. Imagine you sin, you sin, you sin so much, you're like, Oh, yeah, whatever. Like, yeah. It's not even become a great thing anymore. Yeah, you know, yeah, the Sahabas, they used to look at yeah. small sins like yeah. they were like mountains. mountains. Yeah. To get to that stage, yeah. it's, it's it requires work. Yeah. It's not something that you do from, from day dot. But like, I feel like 
really as well, like people, like Muslims need to really talk about this, that bro, we're not just asking for forgiveness here, man. This is something major that we're doing. Yeah. And like the greatest of greatest of people have done in the past before, you know, King David, uh, King Solomon, and Jesus Christ teaching us here that mercy, seeking for mercy, because we do not believe that our deeds will get us to Jannah. It's not that it's 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 Allah if He shows mercy, yeah, and you have to attain that mercy, exactly. and that's so difficult. Exactly, exactly, brothers and sisters. That's what makes Islam different. We are not a religion of you know vampire. We need blood sacrifice, yeah. etc. Yeah. You know, this, 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 this. Yes, it's like a vampire thing. Like no, we need yeah. blood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah come yeah, and say, yeah, yeah, we yeah, need yeah. blood sacrifice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Blood God blood requires blood. a payment. Why? 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 What kind of? The, yeah, and they, and they talk about uh, the, the God of Islam is not merciful. Yeah. You can't get more muscle to not kill an innocent person or yeah. to go against your nature and kill yourself or kill your son yeah. uh, or require blood sacrifice. In Islam, we don't need blood sacrifice. Nobody needs to die. You just ask for forgiveness, brothers and sisters, yeah? Uh, sincerely. So, guys, we're 441 pounds away. Uh, I genuinely believe in the next seven minutes we can do that, guys. We need one person to give 41 pounds and four people to give 100 pounds, guys. 100 pounds will teach 16 people Surah Fatiha. Learn Salah, guys. Imagine you are the reason why 16 people will be walking this earth Knowing Salah, knowing Surah Fatiha, and amongst those 16 people, imagine if they were to just teach one other person, or if they were to give their guided prayer mat to another person after they learn how to pray Salah. That will be 32 individuals walking planet Earth, walking, breathing, talking, guys, learning Salah, knowing Salah, knowing Surah Fatiha, teaching others, teaching their family members, teaching their kids, teaching their spouses, brothers and sisters. And you will get the reward. We're looking for four people to give a uh, hundred pounds, one person to give 41 pounds, guys. Okay, or just four people to give 110 pounds. That is all we are asking for, guys. We're 441 pounds away from our target. Please donate whatever you can, guys. 50 pounds can teach eight people, eight to 60 people to learn salah, guys. Please, please come forward and donate wherever you can. We are waiting here, brothers and sisters. We are waiting for those donations, please. Come forward, inshallah, and give whatever you can, guys. Whatever you can give, inshallah. Please come forward. Do we have any callers? Yeah. Okay, let's get some callers. Let's give the streaming link again. Yeah. Let's give it again, inshallah. Do you have any questions in the uh, chat? Yeah, but I found this. I wanted to read this. It's yeah, very please, interesting. Please, guys, yeah? Inshallah, yeah? And, guys, and, and, and all the Muslims as well, like, if you can, just write this down when you talk, next time you talk to a Christian, yeah? Because remember, like Jesus Christ or Isa alayhi salam, he says in the Bible himself, he says, I do not come, I did not come to what? To change the law. And do you actually know the context of that? You know why he says that? Why? Because Jesus, so Jesus is like facing these Pharisees, isn't it? And they're like the masters, of, they know the law, like in and out, in a Pharisee sect, they, see, they know the law. And in their eyes, Jesus, it seems like Isa alayhi salam or Jesus Christ is doing like things deliberately wrong. Yeah. He's like, for example, he's things he's um curing people on Sabbath, you yeah. know. Um, he, he comes to the temple and he flicks the, the tables, yeah. you know, he's doing things contrary to yeah. what they were used to. So they're like, yo, what are you doing? Why are you this is not what Moses and Abraham taught us? Yeah. What are you doing? And then he <laughs> says, Look, I didn't come to change the law, yeah, I came to fulfill it. Wow. And what what is it that he was fulfilling? Mm. Let's this is why he's fulfilling. Let me read it to you, yeah, right? So so sacrifice actually, who is so hell bent? You know, subhanAllah, this is so scary, bro. If you think about history, yeah, you know the people who were most hell bent on sacrifice, pagans. It's pagans. Yeah. You know them Aztec people, like in yeah, yeah. Middle America, yeah, like uh, sacrificing children yeah, yeah, yeah. and like they're hell bent, like the blood has to flow. It's such a paganistic, uh, yeah, kind of. yeah, influence. That you constantly there has to be some blood that has to be sacrificed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So look, sacrifices are, are ritualistic. Yeah. When a man sins, he gives a sacrifice and assumes this takes care of his sin problem. Mm -hmm. In fact, sacrifices are bribes given every so often to placate the demanding deity. Just like this demonic deity, give me more, give me more, mm -hmm. right? This is why sometimes these people, these pagans, if the sun doesn't come out or if the crops wasn't good that season, yeah. oh, we have to sacrifice more children. Yeah, that's how they used to do yeah. it. Oh, we lost the war. Ah, get three more children in there, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, like this thinking, like this yeah, is where it comes yeah. from. So, without the burden of repentance for sins, so they don't repent, but they just sacrifice. Yeah, therefore, declares to Israel, bring no more futile sacrifices. This is in Isaiah, right? Don't don't bring sacrifices if you don't even repent. Yeah. I don't need it. Yeah, 
Sacrifices come from a perversion of those who claim the gods need to be appeased with violent and bloody death. That's what you would say. No. It is the way of an <laughs> idol worshipper. <laughs> <laughs> Therefore, according to the kingdom dynamics, it cannot be of God. What does one true God require instead? David provides the answer. The sacrifices of God are a broken spirit, a broken and a contrite heart. These, O oh God, you will not despise. Solomon concurs. This is what Solomon says, yeah? To do righteousness and to justice is more acceptable to the Lord than sacrifice. Wow. And this is literally, look, the, the verse in the Quran when it says righteousness, what is righteousness? Yeah. And it explains what righteousness is. Mm. It's specific beliefs, yeah? And it's the beliefs then lead you to do certain things. Mm. Free the slaves, um, um, feed the poor, yeah. um, take care of the, the travelers, yeah. right? But the reason why you do it is because you have the belief of what? You have the belief on the day of judgment. And you know these hadiths. It says uh, the people who believe in the day of judgment do, do, do this. Yes, yeah. and those who believe in love. Yeah. The, those who believe in the yeah. day of judgment do what? They do this. Yeah, 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 those yeah, who believe in the day of judgment feed yeah, the poor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this is in the Quran, yeah. meaning yeah. the belief that you have, yeah. like you were saying about certainty yes. in Surah Al-Kalam, right? The certainty that someone has because of it, it drives his life. So we don't believe that the actions is what saves us. It's but we we are basically <clears throat> aligning ourselves with the will of God. Yeah. That's what is so interesting here. Is that your your the free will that a human being has, you are assigning yourself to the will of God because you believe certain things. And because you believe certain things, yeah. those things that start to influence your actions. Yeah. SubhanAllah. Yeah. And this is, bro, this is, what. where is this? This is all in the Old Testament. Mm. This is why we Muslims say that we're closer to Jesus than anyone could be. Yeah. We are fulfilling the law. We, yeah, we, are, exactly. we, uh, we have our own law, we are our Sharia, but we are in line of the prophets, subhanAllah. Mm. So, wow. yeah, this is, bro, to me, this is profound. Well, I, yeah. This is very, very profound. Um, for people and even for us Muslims to learn that, uh, you know, um, for those who, who were asking about, you know, uh, well, how am I going to behave now after Ramadan? I think there's great lessons in here. Yeah. Is that first and foremost, you need to understand, subhanAllah, Allah SWT has created us in a way where we will sin. In fact, we know this very famous hadith. It says that the best of sinners are those who repent. Yes. Meaning everyone by default is a sinner. Yeah. You know, but the best are those who go back to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Yeah. Because this is the dynamics that you want to have with Allah. Why does Allah mention this hadith when he says that Allah is more happier if someone returns to him than the person who's lost the camel and fights his camel? Yeah. Why is Allah more happier? Why is Allah more content? And why? Why is Allah yeah. telling us these yeah. things? It's because Allah knows this journey that we're going through in life is a difficult one. Well, like, yeah. Ups and downs. The other day I was talking to a friend of mine. Mm. They start pr practicing Islam before me. Wow. But he was saying to me, bro, three years ago, I was just cocaine, cocaine, cocaine. No way. I went through madness. He was mm. like, I, I fell, I fell, bro, I fell off. Yeah. But he says to me, but you know, bro, well, I... In life, it's ups and downs. Mm. And you just have to make sure that every single time you're down, you have to have in your mind, well, I'm going to get out of this. Mm -hmm. If you have, if you lose hope, yeah. this is the people who just go. That's why Allah says in the Quran, only the disbelievers um, despair the mercy of Allah. SubhanAllah. I always thought to myself, how, why is there a connection between despair and disbelief? SubhanAllah. And can you just believe in that's it? profound. Wow, that's profound. Wow. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's that, that that kind of made context to me what you just explained. Why that verse was Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he was like, bro, I always knew like even when I was doing I need to get out of this and I will get out of this. Yeah, I yeah. so hope that keeps you through like yeah. the thing to study on the, the rats. Was the rats yeah. like in water? Yeah, the water, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, exactly, yeah, yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. There you go, guys. Final like, Guys, there is still hope for every single one of you guys. One of the ways yeah. we get hope from this is Sadaqah, inshallah. We're four hundred and forty one pounds away. Absolutely. Come on, guys, we just need four people to give a hundred pounds. Uh, I'm not pushing the donation that much today, but come on, guys. I know we can do, inshallah, £441. We're just looking for just eight people to give £50 or uh, four people to give £100, guys. Four people to give £100, inshallah, to hit the £35,000 mark, inshallah. Guys, believe me, we can do this together. If somebody gives £10, £5, £1, £100, £50, £70, we will reach that target like that instantly, inshallah. Mm. You will see the power 
of us coming together, guys, we will <coughs> reach this instantly. We're just four hundred and forty-one pounds away. We're looking for just four people to give a hundred pounds and one person to give forty-one pounds, guys. Even if you can give ten pounds, whatever you guys can give, inshallah, we're four hundred and forty-one pounds away, guys. Please come forward and donate to whatever you guys can, inshallah. Let's get that first forty-one pounds. Who's going to give that forty-one pounds? Where's the Canadians, the Australians, the Americans? The Europeans, the British, let's go, guys. Bismillah, Malaysians. Yeah, bro. Like, go, any callers? Let's know. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like sometimes, um, Subhanallah, there's like, because you know, in terms of like, I was watching your video the other day, <laughs> yesterday night. I was watching it. It was uh, you're talking to what's that guy? The dreadlocks. They giving oh, him a name. Uh, Sheikh Booty. No, you're talking about Big Nasty. No, Sheikh Booty. Sheikh Booty. The guy from Speaker's Corner, the guy, long hair, he has a cross on his head. Is that his name, Sheikh Booty? Yeah, they call him Sheikh Booty. Oh, he's an absolute <laughs> joke. Why do we just have a donation? Come there? What's <laughs> he's an absolute joke, bro. Well, I, well, I, I was laughing so a, hard, bro. bro. I know come across such a clown in my So head. the question was, you asked him, do you have a donation, yeah? You had a donation of, alhamdulillah, 20 pounds. Mashallah, mashallah. Takbir. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Brother Watts, may Allah bless him, he also gave 50 pounds a couple of minutes ago yeah i'm glad that we're just 421 pounds yes what's what's he saying so basically the video was you were talking to him yeah and we have a call as well no, a question yeah yeah let, let me tell you the story first so uh you're talking to him and you're like okay so it's it's got limited you know because they say oh yeah god came in flesh he came in the flesh <sighs> yeah but that's like but god can't come in flesh you're limiting god you're limiting god okay i'm limiting god so you're talking to him okay okay you, you're already <laughs> setting up like you're already setting up the the counter punch yeah and he goes like yeah yeah you're limiting god like this is the problem with the god of of, of islam like he's a limiting god he's not all powerful our god is all powerful oh is he all powerful okay yeah. cool good okay so can god lie <laughs> <laughs> he goes like no he can't but you're limiting God then. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, no, it's just not within him. He speaks the truth. Yeah, exactly. exactly. <laughs> and then, but you're limiting him. You're saying he can't lie. Yeah. He's like, no, it, this is relational. I was like, what are you talking <laughs> about? It's relational. And then he, he keeps talking and he like, he gets angry. What did you say to him then after? Because he left and then yeah. he came back. He came back. He, he couldn't. He, no, he, was, he was like, yeah, you can't deal with me. I said, yeah, you're too yeah, strong. Yeah, you're too strong. And he walked said, away yeah, and then he came back. He was like, yeah. and then he goes like, Okay, should we have a normal conversation? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, now, yeah, now, thank you. <laughs> no, thank you very much. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny. <laughs> What's your It's funny. Every time I come, I don't speak to him anymore. I like, I like yeah. the chat though. It's nice. It's nice. But yeah, it's well, I, this. Is, I feel like there's new ways on how to talk, um, talk to like a lot of the Christians <laughs> yeah, yeah. and just make them understand that. Subhanallah, yeah. you guys are the battle that you're upon. Well, lie, it's it's, it's that's dangerous, that's man. A job, man. It's, it's very it's dangerous. A, it was one Unitarian church father. I can't remember. He's, he Unitarian. I can't remember who it was. He was yeah. like. He said, uh, I, thought, I can't remember what it was. But he was like, oh, How much longer the Muhammad is going to laugh at us because of this Trinity? Really? Yeah, he was like, How much longer the Muhammad is going to laugh, mock us at because of this belief? So it's always been a thing then? Yeah, it's a, he's a Unitarian. He's saying, This is nonsense. You, you're basically the Muslims uh, are taking the mick out of us. It's, it's that, that, alhamdulillah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. We're humiliated. Guys, we're 421 pounds away. We're getting there. Look, we've got that first 20 pounds. If we come together, guys, one pound here, five pounds there, 50 pounds there, 20 pounds there, 100 pounds there, we will reach this target in brothers and uh. sisters in minutes. Yeah, in minutes, inshallah, look, we're 421 pounds away. 100 pounds will help teach 16 to 32 people to learn salah, guys. We will give 16 people this guy to pray about, brothers and sisters, in a package. We will send them out, brothers and sisters, for free. Please, please come forward and give whatever you can, guys. In the next 28 minutes, we want to reach the five, 35,000 pound mark. We're only 421 pounds away. I know there are people out there, eight people to give 50 pounds, just eight people. 50 pounds will teach eight people. So learn how to pray salah, guys. Bismillah. Let's go. Let's not miss this opportunity, guys. I know you guys can help us do this. Bismillah. Come on. Any questions? What are the questions? Well, it's just, um, the was asking, yeah, it's a cutter, it's, it's cutter question. It's, it's the same. We've answered this before yeah. uh, many times. So, by the way, if there's anybody who wants to call in, you can, guys. The stream yard link. Did you guys post the stream yard link? Yeah. Come on, guys. Let's go, inshallah. Let's go. Bismillah. Guys, let's go, inshallah. Let's reach that target, inshallah. Let's reach that target. Is Pepe here? 
Can you see if Fefi's here, Fran? Yeah, see, ask him. Sean. Not charge, just see, say, say we might stay till 11 instead of 12. See. Yeah, that's good because I can catch a bus then. Yeah, go on. Yeah. Mm. Allah created us to worship him. Yeah. What do you mean, why did Allah create us to worship him? Yeah. Because he's deserving of worship. Uh, also, what was that? Did you answer the first question about Qadr? The first question, we will answer it. It's a long one. Yeah. I want to focus on this. Yeah. So, yeah. Guys, we're 421 pounds from our target. 421 pounds from our target, guys. We've got one hour to go. We're going to end the show. One hour to go. Yeah. Okay, guys. <laughs> 421 pounds. I know we can do this. I know four people can, eight people can give 50 pounds. 50 pounds will teach eight people to get this guy to pray mat, which will teach them, brothers and sisters, Surah Fatiha. They will get this guy to pray mat. They will learn how to pray Salah, guys. Bismillah. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Come on. If there's anybody who wants to ask a question, let's get the StreamYard link there. You can call in and ask a question, guys. Call in and ask a question. Bismillah. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. 21 pounds. Who's going to give 21 pounds? And just looking for four people to give 100 pounds. One person to give 21 pounds and four people to give 100 pounds. Can we do this? Can we do it? How many people watching? 59. 59. 55. Let's go. So do you know how to play videos now? Yeah. Big man team. Come on. 21 pounds, guys. 21 pounds. Yeah. Guys, we are 21 pounds away. I know you guys are exhausted. You guys have given that, but let's go, guys. We can do this. Come on. Last push, guys. Last push, inshallah. 21 pounds. One person to give 20 pounds, 21 pounds. Four people to give 100 pounds, guys. Help teach someone how to pray salah. It's a sadaqah jariya. It is a sadaqah jariya, guys. Let's go. Help teach someone surah fatiha. Help them learn salah, guys. This prayer mat, brother, sister, is a sadaqah jariya mat, as you can see. Thin, simple material, but let me tell you something. It will do a lot of good beats for you, inshallah. Yeah. But you know that question about like... Um, Qadr. No, uh, what Allah created us. is a yeah. very powerful question. You know, there's, you know, in the Quran, there's a couple of these ayat. It talks about, and Allah did not create the heavens and the earth in vain. Yeah, in vain or, yeah. or, or to play. play yeah. Like, there's, for every... You have to think about this way. Every single thing that Allah has created, there's like a greater wisdom yes. behind it. A wisdom that we may not be preview to but there are certain instances for example where the angels they asked Allah they said ya Rab, why ya Rabbi why are you creating this creature that's going to go on earth and destroy everything and you know because yeah, they it. right yeah. they viewed it from one perspective yeah but then Allah tells them and it creates Adam and he, and he asked the angels okay so since you know better name the things of these things yeah <laughs> They weren't able to do it. Mm. And then Adam, Adam Alayhi Salam comes and he names the things. And then that from that, they understood. There are certain things that are above our pay rate. Uh, rate. Yeah. Uh, we, there's no point in asking these questions yeah. or uh, get involved in these questions, you know. Yeah, yeah. But Allah has created us. There's a greater purpose for it. And the purpose from our perspective, because regardless whether... You want to not the person that's asked the question, but for those mm -hmm. atheists, whether you want to believe in Allah or not, you still have to live your life. Mm -hmm. And when you live your life, subhanAllah, those questions will pop up. What am I here for? And mm -hmm. Allah tells us very clearly in the Quran that He's created us so that we can worship Him. Yeah. And by worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your own being yeah. elevates. Yeah. And if you move away yeah. from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you become lower than the beast. Exactly. So, guys, we have two options. Um this stuff we need to take them. Yeah, um, take them where office. Office, yeah. So, so should I can, we start now? I can carry on the live if you guys want. Yeah. Um, so it's up to you. Either you carry on the live, I carry them with the team. No, I, or you, I carry on. You do it. It's up to you. You, you, I'm, carry, I'm okay on. you, you carry on. You carry on. Yeah. Yeah. You carry on. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll so I'm gonna push for this, inshallah. Um, the callers, I'll probably get it from here. Yeah. Um, if you guys just want help, what you can do is this just to make your life easy. What you guys do is make it up easy. Just open the lift, put everything there, and then when you go down, you know to do the up, up and down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get it? It'd be easier. Uh, so to, to my car, Fkan, you know, Fkan, you know the back seat. Yes. Yeah, but 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 
uh, do this. Yes, sorry guys. Uh, just doing, just let's 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 go into a quick video, inshallah, to show you guys where where your donations are going. Let's be a quick video of Sister Aya, inshallah. <laughs> this is where your donations go, guys. We're four hundred and twenty-one pounds away from our target. Four hundred and twenty-one pounds away from the target, guys. Please, please donate whatever you can. We're going to be back after this little short video to show you what our sisters team will do. Inspire a lot of teaching, Sister Aya, how to pray salah, guys. So please, please come forward, inshallah, and give whatever you can, guys. We're four hundred and twenty-one pounds away. I know we can reach that. We just need four people to give 100 pounds. Here's a video of Sister Aya. We're going to be back very, very shortly. Listening and then following along. So I reached out to um, a sister that I met um, at an event recently, um, just asking her about... Um, just to go, because no one ever went through the prayer with me. So I've sort of been on a solo journey um, and, and sort of relied on namaz to, to, for learning the prayer. Um, so I reached out to a sister who, as I, as I said, I met, and she um, referred me to um, Salam. So what did you think of today? How do you feel now that you've you know, been walked through this? Amazing. Actually, you know, I have struggled um with salah just you know the wudu i found it's it's a very simple well it's, it's a simple task but um i realized just from speaking to yourself and the brothers that i actually overcomplicate it so um as well as the prayer there's a lot of things that i've been sort of just from from the app you know extra duas that we're in that actually it's not that they don't need to be in there but i need the basics so praying, um, I have a, a much better understanding of praying and actually it's a lot simpler than I thought because I've kind of been doing it the harder way. Um, and so I'm going to sort of stick to the basics, perfect those and inshallah, um, add some duas. May Allah make it easy for you Thank to you, absorb these words and implement their meanings you know, into yeah. your life as well, inshallah. Jazakallah khair for, for contacting us and you know using this service and... Now you have this prayer mat, inshallah, to take with you and, yeah. and take it wherever you need. Yeah, thank you. And you've really, as well, with um, with my dyslexia, um, simplified things, which um, is really helpful. So this prayer mat was donated by Omar Mohammed Ibrahim for you. So you get to take this home. Um, you can thank have a look at it. Thank you so much. That's very kind. Thank you so much uh, for donating this. This is going to be a game changer for me. Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters, this is Michael. Assalamu alaikum guys. Michael came to Islam four years ago at our dawah table. It was the best decision of my life. He did not know how to pray salah and he struggled a lot. It was very difficult and I struggled a lot. But he didn't want his daughter to go through the same struggles when she became a Muslim. Our Salah Plus project was launched years after Michael's conversion. Even though he did not get the opportunity to be taught how to pray Salah, he gifted his daughter the guided prayer mat, which taught her to learn how to pray Salah for the first time ever. Brothers and sisters, we only need a hundred people to give a hundred pounds. A hundred pounds can help teach 10 to 30 people learn how to pray Salah and memorize Surah Al-Fatiha for the first time ever. Not only that, these reverts will be teaching their families, their wives, their daughters and their sons to learn how to pray Salah all because of your donation the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said when you die all your deeds come to an end except three ongoing charity beneficial knowledge and a righteous child who prays for you not only is your donation an ongoing charity but also an ongoing beneficial knowledge click the link in the description below and donate now Abduhu, Abduhu, Warasulu, Warasulu. <laughs> You're a Muslim, bro. You're a Muslim now. Oh, oh is that it? Welcome to the family. I'm hey, Muslim. Hey, 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 I'm Muslim. <laughs> oh man, that's amazing. This is so exciting, bro. I'm so gassed. <laughs> oh wow. It's so exciting. <laughs> this is the best it. day yeah. of my life. <laughs> well, there's been other days, but you're <laughs> here. Well, this is. This is so amazing, bro. I'm so happy for you. So happy. You're like a newborn baby. 
<laughs> Good on you, bro. Thank you. Good on you. You know, well done. <laughs> You're fantastic. Right. Well, what do I do now? Where do we go from here? Uh, oh, shit. We... <clears throat> Don't we all get happy when somebody embraces Islam? How many of us have the time to dedicate to teaching them Salah for the first time ever? They are left in the dark without any guidance. You are the reason for people like Michael, like Katrina, like Trisha, like, like me. me, start to pray five times a day. That's Fajr, Zuhr, Asr, Maghrib, Isha, all due to your donations. Brothers and sisters, we only need a hundred people to give a hundred pounds. A hundred pounds can help teach 10 to 30 people learn how to pray Salah and memorize Surat Al-Fatiha for the first time ever. Not only that, these reverts will be teaching their families, their wives, their daughters and their sons to learn how to pray Salah all because of your donations. The Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, When you die, all your deeds come to an end, except three. Ongoing charity, beneficial knowledge, and a righteous child who prays for you. Not only is your donation an ongoing charity, but also an ongoing beneficial knowledge. Click the link in the description below and donate now. What the? Where is that? Is that a jacuzzi? Oi! What are you doing? Wake up! What? What? What do you want? Is it Fajr? No, it's not Fajr. Then what's going on? Why are you waking me up? Wake me up? I'm not Fajr. No matter where you fell asleep, you still have to wake up for Fajr. If praying Sunnah Salah before Fajr is better than this world and everything in it, then what is the reward for the one who not only taught them how to pray Salah, but also the first chapter in the Quran? So, how much are we away from? I'm um, hundred. Okay. Forty-one. Forty-one. Yeah, twenty-one. Yeah, twenty-one. Speak down so they know. Yeah. Okay. Well, alaikum. Am I live? Yes. Yeah. So, salam alaikum, brothers and sisters. I hope you guys are doing fine. We're four hundred and twenty-one pounds away. Four hundred and twenty-one pounds from our next goal. The brothers are just praying right now. If I could, I would show you. It's quite interesting to kind of show you guys when we pray as well, mashallah. But um, you've seen the videos. Each video obviously was designed with the purpose of motivating and showing people what it is that we're doing with the funds and what we've been doing with Salah Plus um, and what we're planning to do in the future, inshallah. Um, right now, as we speak, Ali Dawa and everyone else is praying, mashallah. They're all praying. I'm here just sort of waiting because we're moving literally out of, we're moving the majority of the stuff out of the studio. Actually, um, let me just show you guys. I'll show you guys. I'll show you. And watch this. So yeah, so basically that corner over there is uh where the righteous corner was, the righteous factory, we've moved 95% 95, 95 of the stuff we've moved out. We're going to move in a car now. We're obviously leaving the studio now. We're renting this place um, over Ramadan. 
and um, that would have been impossible again if we never had the resources because we had the resources to do so we were able to you know be just more flexible and be here every single day during Ramadan so brothers and sisters this is one of the benefits amongst many um, with uh, the, 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 the donations uh, but more so uh, with this one here that we're raising is just purely for the prayer mats with all the 20,000 prayer mats 20,000 prayer mats which cost us about 126,000 pounds it's cost us to uh, produce them um, and they're obviously all special um, customized as well so they all have uh, the Quran uh, in transliteration they have the, the movement of the prayer um, ironically the brothers are actually praying on it right now uh, and with this one the new edition um, it, on the bottom it will have uh, like an encouragement it would say something along the lines of like once you've learned how to pray with this prayer mat pass it on you know and um, this was actually inspired by the fact that people were already doing it naturally. We had a couple of the brothers, they were telling us that once they were done with their primates, they would either give, pass it on to their children, pass it on to their friends or their spouses, you know. And that's what we're literally doing with these primates, subhanAllah, is that we want to encourage people to, once they're done with it, pass it on. And that, of course, subhanAllah, makes it more viral in that sense. Uh, and it's part of the Salah Plus culture is, subhanAllah, to encourage more people to pray, to get people more into their prayer, get people, like, you know, accustomed to the prayer, get people to perfect their prayer, subhanAllah. Imagine, subhanAllah, you're part of that movement that makes prayer great again, you know, not to quote some dubious characters here. But yeah, imagine you're a part all these people that make prayer great again, subhanAllah. So brothers and sisters, right now, we're 421 pounds away. If there's four people can give 100 pounds, four people that can give 100 pounds, 100 pounds will teach 16 to 32. And where am I getting this 32 from? Sisters, it comes from the idea of multiplication. These deeds, these, uh, this project inherently, yes, encourages people to multiply, subhanAllah. So Ali's going to come back. I'm going to continue to do some moving. But I'll see you very soon, inshallah. Let's go, guys, inshallah. Rum, sister. Oh, what's going on? What's going on, inshallah? Don't forget, guys, you need to pray. Don't forget the prayer, inshallah. Rum, sisters. Very, very important. Let's see where we're at. Let's see. Have the people believed in this project? Let's see how the donations been coming in. Let's go, guys. Oh, no, they haven't. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know, but I know you guys need this project. Because you guys did absolutely phenomenal in Ramadan. So, brothers and sisters, look, we are just 421 pounds away, guys. Now, 421 pounds, guys, yeah? So, please, please come forward. We just need one person to give 21 pounds. And, brothers and sisters, we just need... Uh, oh, I'm looking at my watch there. Yes. Can you throw it, please? Sorry. Guys, we need one person to give 21 pounds and four people to give 100 pounds, inshallah. Please come forward, guys. Thank you, Baruch Guys, 400 pounds. Come on. We need four people to give 100 pounds. 100 pounds will teach. Uh, where's that prayer mat gone? Oh. Let me get that prayer mat to show these people. Show them and them. Brothers and sisters, please come forward, inshallah. We are 421 pounds away. 421 pounds away. This is the prayer mat, guys. As you can see, it will help us uh, uh, print 16 of these. 100 pounds will help us to teach. Uh, well, uh, print 16 of these guys that will help 16 and people, imagine these 16 people learn Surah Fatiha, learn how to pray Salah, brothers and sisters, and subhanAllah, brothers and sisters. Um, yes, they will learn, inshallah, guys, uh, how to pray Salah, Surah Fatiha, brothers and sisters, yeah? So we're just 421 pounds away. We can reach that, guys. Come forward and give whatever you can. 20 pounds here, 10 pounds there, 50 pounds there, 100 pounds there. We can reach this in minutes. We've got 38 minutes till the show ends. 38 minutes, guys, yeah? And I know we can reach this target. Give one pound, give 20 pounds, guys. Whatever you give, inshallah, it will help. I know Ramadan has been exhausting. Everyone has given the whatever they can. May Allah bless and preserve you guys, accept it from you guys. Come on, guys, let's hit that 35,000 pound mark because we are we have sent the guided mass off the print, inshallah, brothers and sisters. <laughs> it cost us 126,000 pounds, guys. Alhamdulillah, it's worth every penny because we know those 20,000 people that are going to learn how to pray salah, 
Brothers and sisters, you guys are going to be racking those goodies. It's going to be coming, inshallah. Let's go. So, guys, we're, like I said before, £21 away from 600 Let's get that £21 at least. Can we get that first £21? And then we can work our way towards the next £100, guys, inshallah. Let's go. £21 is all we're looking for. £21, inshallah. And just four people to give £100. If one person give £400, oh boy, oh boy, that would be absolutely phenomenal. How many people would that teach? Oh, my gosh, that would teach uh, 64 people. 64 people, guys. Imagine that. 64 to 128 people will learn Salah. Bismillah, guys. Come on. Let's get that. How many people watching? 60 people. Brilliant. 60 people, brothers and sisters. I know we can do this, inshallah. Please come and donate whatever you can, guys. Yes? Please. 21 pounds. We need four people to give 100 pounds, inshallah. This is a form of Salah Khajari, guys. I know we can do this. I know we can do this. Bismillah. Come on, guys. Come forward. Come forward and give whatever you can. Whatever you can give, inshallah, brothers and sisters, come forward. Come on, bismillah, let's go. Let's go, guys. I know we can do this. I know we can do it. I know there are people out there who has the means. I know you guys have the means. Let's go, guys. Bismillah. Let's go, guys. Bismillah. Let's go. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar, guys. Come on. Come on, guys. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're nearly there, guys. SubhanAllah. Come on. 29 pounds, and I'm looking for four people to give 100 pounds. Just four people. Eight people give 50 pounds, guys. 50 pounds will help eight people to get this. They will learn Salah. They will learn Surah Fatih, brothers and sisters. Yes, please come forward, inshallah. If there's anybody who wants to ask a question, we'll share the stream. I'll link again. You can come and join the stream, inshallah. We're going to share it again now, inshallah, guys. You can ask questions. There you go, guys. Please, let's go. Come on. Is the first donation here? The first donation? No. First donation, guys. Come on. I know we can do this. Where's that 21 pounds? Come on. I know there's one person who's going to give 100. Got a feeling somebody's typing 100 pounds. 100 pounds will teach 16 to 32 people to get this guy to pray map. Imagine 16 people learning Surah Fatiha because of you. Every time they recite Surah Fatiha for the rest of their life, guys. I have been a Muslim for 11 years. I have recited it 68,000 times just in my Fard Salah alone. Just in my Fard Salah alone, guys. Bismillah. Come on, let's go. Let's go, guys. Bismillah. Come on. Let's go. I know we can do it, guys. I know there's someone out there. I'm looking just for four special, unique, chosen people by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Your wealth is never going to, brothers and sisters, get... You're never going to lose from your wealth. Brothers and sisters, charity is never, ever going to make you poor. I promise that. Never. I want to find one person who said they gave in charity and they became poor. Please, bring it on. Let's go. Oh, oh, did we have a donation? Oh, no, we didn't. I thought we did. Oh, oh, God, oh, God. So, panel, let's go. Let's go, guys. Bismillah. Come on. That first £20 donation, £21. I know we can reach the £35,000 mark. I know we can do it, guys. We have got literally 34 minutes. 34 minutes, guys. <coughs> 34 minutes ago. 34 minutes ago, guys. I know we can do this. I know we can do this. Bismillah. Let's go. Guys, by the way, if you can take this as well. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, this one's what happened. Yeah, I'll give it to, I'll give it to the wood. Yeah, I did. I'll give it to the wood. I would, yeah, I gave the kids the Can you guys take this as well, please, if it's possible? Yeah. Let's go, guys. Bismillah. Bismillah. Allah Akbar. Also, what about the ice bath? Take the ice bath as well. No. 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 Let's go, guys. Bismillah. Allah Akbar. Who's that, bro? Someone say. Say that. What's he saying? What company? Drone. To a drone company? Yeah, because that's better for the Ummah. It's better for the Ummah to be donating to the drone company. Baba, are you, what are you high on? I, I hope you're high on your Iman. Because that's the only excuse I can give you. Come on, guys. Bismillah. Come on. 21 pounds. 21 pounds. Is there no one to donate? 21 pounds, guys. 21 pounds. Come on. Six, 12, eight, eight. Guys, <laughs> 21 pounds will help. Ask the prince free of this guided prayer mat. Imagine teaching someone how to pray salah. Imagine this, guys. Imagine the rewards. Imagine the sadhah jariah, guys. Every time they pray and teach their family members to pray, guys, you will get the reward. 21 pounds. 21 pounds, guys. Bismillah. 21 pounds. I know we can do this. I know someone out there is going to do it. I know somebody out there is going to help us reach the 35,000 pound mark. Let's go. Let's go, guys. We are 32 minutes away. 32 minutes. 32 minutes. I know we can do this. Come on. 
Can we get that £21 at least? Let's get that £21. Alhamdulillah. One donation came through. £10. Allah Akbar! See, guys, the energy it gives me. Just see. Let me see who's it from. Let me see who it's from. Big man, Tim. Let's see who done that. Let's see which Righteousaurus. Which Righteousaurus did that? Let's see. Okay, okay. Okay, so it was Anonymous Kind Soul. £10. Alhamdulillah. Amazing. Amazing. You have brought light. Brilliant, brilliant, alhamdulillah, brilliant. So we are now just £411 from our target. £411, guys. I know we can do this. I know we can do this. Bismillah. Bismillah. £11. It's going to be nice. If somebody gives £11, guys, we have... Come on. £11. Somebody can give £11. I know somebody can do £11. £11 can teach two guided prayer mats. You can print two guided prayer mats. Teaching someone how to pray salah. You know, guys, you know you love this project. You know you guys love donating towards it, brothers and sisters. We are opening Salah Hubs, inshallah. Perfect. That's that's good. You viewing this is also a donation, inshallah. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Somebody just donated. Those donations are coming in our 361 pounds away, Abdul Karim. Abdul Karim, I told you, do not mess with the Ummah. You didn't listen to me. I told you, the Ummah is on fire. The Ummah is on fire. Somebody just donated... 50 pounds, Takbir! 50 pounds. Oh, another 50 euros. 60 euros. Oh, Allah Akbar, the people are on fire. The people are saying, listen, we are about to punch the shaitan in his teeth. Break his teeth, the little youth. Let's go, Allah Akbar. Another Allah, Ali Kardesh, Seni Seviyoruz. Business Seni Seviyoruz. Ben the Seni Seviyoruz. Let's go. 59 euros, 60 pounds. See what happens, guys, when we come together. Look, talking about 400, forget 400. We are now on just 313 pounds. Do you see the power? Five pounds, 10 pounds, 50 pounds, 20 pounds, 59 euros. Khalas. Do you see it, brothers and sisters? Look, look, I'm telling you, you must are not ready. 313 pounds. 313 pounds, guys. SubhanAllah. 50 pounds will teach, will print eight of these, inshallah. Imagine we give this to eight people. They learn Salah, they learn Surah Fatih, and then they give it to someone else. If each of them give it to someone else, that comes to 30, uh, 16 people. It goes from 18 to 16 people learn how to pray Salah. So guys, please come together, inshallah, and give whatever you can. Allah have another donation over there isn't. So 313 pounds. Free, one, free. Build a Sadaqah tree. Free, one, free. Who no, doesn't have the keys? Well, you guys are a joke. He had it. I gave it to him, but he put it there. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Bismillah. Allah Akbar. 313 pounds. Come on, guys. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. 313 pounds. So far. But it, no. I think so. Asked me. That's not ours. Come on, guys. Bismillah. We just need <laughs> six people to give 50 pounds. Can I, can I have one person to give 13 pounds? One person to give 13. Yeah, big man thing. Watch out. 13 pounds, 13 pounds. 30 pounds, 30 pounds, 30 pounds, 30 pounds, 30 pounds. 100 pounds will teach 16 to 32 people to learn Salah. To learn Surah Fatiha, guys. Come on. You don't want to miss this. Look at this material. Simple material. It's not silk. It's not, it's not Aladdin's prayer mat. It doesn't fly around. It doesn't turn into a reclining chair. It's not, it doesn't show you the Qibla. It doesn't talk to you. None of them things. But it's just a simple material that is a Sadaqah Jari mat. A Sadaqah Jari mat, guys. Do not miss this. Do not miss this, guys. Come on. I know we can do it. Come on. Who's going to give 13 pounds? Who's going to give 13 pounds? We are so close, guys. If somebody gives 113 pounds, we just need 200, people, 200 pounds and we're done. 200 pounds, guys. We have got 28 minutes. 28 minutes. 20, 28 minutes. Oh! 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 oh, oh. oh. Abdul Kareem. The man. The man. They were on fire. Somebody just donated... 56 pounds. Allah Akbar is very specific. 56 pounds. Takbir. Allah Akbar. We're now 257 pounds away. I know two people can do that. Or I know five people can do that. If five people give 50 pounds, brilliant. Do you see the power of the Ummah? Do you see the power? Look where we've reached. By 10 pounds, 20 pounds, 59 euro, 50 pounds, 64 pounds, 56 pounds. Khalas. Look, we reached. Khalas, there you go. Do you see? Do you see? I'm not chatting breeze. 200 
the 57 pounds away and i can see people and i can feel they're about to donate more we are going to reach that 35 000 pound mark inshallah this let's go be a part of this project guys let me tell you something inshallah <coughs> with the permission of allah this project is going to reach new heights new places guys i'm telling you i'm telling you bro this is one of these things we're going to be like i wish i donated earlier when it was going on i wish I'm telling you guys it's going to be a venture that's going to benefit you guys in the hereafter let's go Bismillah, let's go, guys. Is somebody gonna give 57 pounds? We're 257 away. 257 pounds. 257 pounds. 257. Who wants to make it to heaven? Who wants to make it to heaven? Let's go, inshallah. You can call in, you can ask us questions, inshallah. But Brahma says is right now we're 257 pounds to reach our target. 257 pounds. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Bismillah. Bismillah. Allah. Wakbar. Let's go. 257, 257. Come on, guys. 257, guys. 257. Bismillah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I know we can do this. I know we can do this. Bismillah. Bismillah, guys. Do not miss this opportunity. Do not miss this opportunity. You do not want to miss this. You don't want to miss this. I'm telling you. You don't want to miss. You don't want to miss. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on. 26 minutes to go. 257 pounds. I mean, if there's someone out there who can give a thousand pounds, oof, no. big man thing. A thousand pounds will teach 166 people to 332 to learn salah, to learn wudu, inshallah. Guys, help us print these because let me tell you something. By the end of May, you're going to see a YouTube video from me showing you our new studio, showing you the 20,000 prayer masks that have arrived, those 10 pallets, those boxes. You're going to see it with your own eyes. I'm telling you. I don't mess around. Yeah, I don't mess around. I'm making big things happen, inshallah, brothers and sisters. Leukemia, we're doing some big things. 257 pounds. 257 pounds, bismillah. 257 pounds, bismillah. Allah, let's go. Let's go. Come on, guys. Three pounds, two pounds, one pound. Let's go. 57. Let's get that 57. Seven pounds here. 50 pounds there. 20 pounds there. I just need two people to give 100 I just need two people to give 100 pounds. Two people to give 100 pounds and one person give 57 pounds. 50 pounds will teach eight people to get this prayer mat. Eight people will learn the salah and surah fatiha. Eight people for 50 pounds. 100 pounds will teach 16 people. 16 people. 16 people. Let's go. 16 people. Bismillah. Bismillah. Let's go. 257. Who wants to make it to heaven? Who wants to make it to heaven? Do you want to make it to heaven? Let's go. Bismillah, guys. Help teach someone how to pray salah. Do it. I know you do a lot of salah khajariya, but you need to add this to your list. You need to add the salah plus program to your list. You don't understand. You don't understand, guys. Trust. Trust me. Bismillah. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, come on. We're nearly there. We've got 34 minutes to go. Look, I'm presenting with my runny nose. I've got a cold. Oh! Oh! -ho! Somebody! Somebody gonna go to hurt. Oh! Somebody gonna go to hurt real bad. Oh. Somebody, somebody just donated 117 euro. Ash, sorry, I was gonna say Ashkam. <laughs> oh, I uh, see 113 pounds. 100, what? Something limited, 313 pounds. No way. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, bro, yeah, get it. Two pounds. So pan Allah free. So he was gonna do man, we need 313 pounds. Yes. Bruv, this guy, wow, he smashed it. Oh, ACOS Limited. You need to add him to the board. The board, the, the top donor board. We're gonna add it. Don't forget. The top donor board was here. We're just moving the studio because we finished Ramadan. We're gonna don't forget, bro. <laughs> bro, ACOS SYS Limited. Do you know how many times this guy saved me? Do you know how many this guy helped me reach my targets? I don't know if he's a sister or brother. Uh, absolutely amazing. Asim ve ikram ichun dua etifan. This is Turkish. Asim ve ikram. May Allah grant you guys the best in this life and the hereafter. Um, allow you to enter Jannah without zero account, uh, 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 without any account. Uh, may Allah bless you guys and give you guys the best in this life and the hereafter and protect you from all kind of illnesses and calamities. I mean, uh, 117 euros from them. ACOS Limited, 313 pounds. This guy always waits it. This guy, I need to meet this guy. I told him before. You need to call me, brother. Who are you? Inshallah, where's, where's my, I lost my tissue. I lost my napkin. Oh, there's my napkin. Oh, alhamdulillah. Brilliant. Subhanallah. 
really that is AHCR F Limited. We're gonna add this to your thing because you're on the top uh, top donors list. We're gonna add the inshallah. See where you're gonna be at. Alhamdulillah, <coughs> guys. We, well, since we've got 22 minutes, let's work our way to the 500 pounds. So we're just 346 pounds away, bro. 346 pounds. 346 pounds, guys. Let's do that. Brilliant. You see what happens, guys, when we all come together? Two pound donation as well. Takbir. Allah Akbar. Look, guys, this is what happens when we all come together. SubhanAllah. Look at the power of the Ummah. Let's go, inshallah, guys. Look, <coughs> 346 pounds away. We've got 22 minutes to go. 346 pounds, guys. Seven of you guys come and give 50 pounds. We reach that. Seven of you guys. Come on. Bismillah, guys. Come on. We can do this. We can do this, guys. Come on. Let's get the next, subhanAllah, uh, 500 pound mark. Come on, guys. 346. Who's going to give the 46? And who's going to shall give us three people to give three, 100 pounds each? Or six people to give 50 pounds? Bismillah, guys. Come on. I know we can do this, guys. SubhanAllah, we are getting the prayer mats. We have sent them to order. Brother and sister, we've set the order, inshallah. Uh, we've uh, we've paid it, guys, inshallah, subhanAllah. Guys, trust me. The, the, in May, the, the delivery is coming of 20,000 guided prayer mats. 20,000. It's not a joke. 20,000, brothers and sisters. Do not miss this opportunity, inshallah. 20,000. We're going to show you the videos. We're going to show you the studio where we're moving to the new place, where we're going to be doing the... Uh, the distribution of the guided prayer mats to masajids, uh, ISOX, prisons, uh, dawah tables all around the world, to individuals all around the world. Uh, we're going to be, inshallah, um, having our new studio there. Uh, we are going to, inshallah, brown sisters. We've got some beautiful stuff lined up, inshallah. Uh, brown sisters, we're going to be doing some travels to Europe where we're opening the Salah hubs. We're already in talks with many masajid. We're opening the Salah hubs there, guys. So come forward, inshallah. We're at 300 and 46 pounds away from our target. 346 pounds away from our target, guys. Alhamdulillah, you see the brothers are uh, doing amazing. 70 people watching, guys. Absolutely amazing. If you, have, if you guys have any questions for us, please, guys, ask your question in the chat or call in. Put the stream link there, bro, please. Yeah? Alhamdulillah, we did so amazing in Ramadan, guys. Wallahi. You guys won't believe we raised nearly 320,000 pounds. Do you know, Wallahi, do you know what that means for us, brothers and sisters? Wallahi. 320,000 pounds. Brahma says, I'm a trustee and I'm a volunteer. The brothers behind the scene, trust me, you don't know, these brothers are amazing. And we've got so much amazing stuff planned. So much amazing stuff planned, guys. Free, we Over 300,000 pounds. And guess what? YouTube blocked our ads. We couldn't do any ads. We usually run ads, yeah? That's where we get to. We raise these kind of amounts. They blocked it. You Facebook ads, they've changed the algorithm. The donations were rubbish, Yeah. But look how Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala showed us that if you fear me, I will give you a way out from place you can never imagine. Through the live appeals, some videos I've done, and subhanAllah, Brother Zishan, Muhammad Hijab, Musa Adnan, they came together, all of us, and we raised 320,000 pounds. Allah showed us that subhanAllah, he would always give us a way out. SubhanAllah, guys. So we are going to do, you don't understand, guys. This project, inshallah, we've got a vision in the next 10, 15 years. Yeah? Alhamdulillah. Yes, guys, we are, we've gone past 35,000 pounds, alhamdulillah. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, people are well, donations are coming in left, right, center. Really? Yeah, AHCO Limited, the one who's in the, in the top donors, yeah, yeah, he, yeah. he gave 313 pounds, 117 euros. We've got Alhamdulillah. Now we're just guys, we've got 90 minutes, we're 346 pounds away from the next mark. Okay. Let's go, guys. Bismillah, let's go. By the way, guys, what about the ice bath? Uh, that... You sure? At all? Is it full? Did you guys put one of the seats down? Yeah, we could squeeze it. Put, oh, okay, put one of the seats down because you two are going to jump in the back. Let's go, guys. 346 pounds. <laughs> 346 pounds. Let's go. Let's go, guys. 346 pounds. We've got 18 minutes, guys. I know we can do it. Who's going to give the first 46 pounds? 46 pounds. Let's do it bit by bit, piecemeal. 46 pounds. 46 pounds, guys. Come on. If I don't get that in the next three minutes... I'm going to have to end the live. I don't want to do that. Let's go, guys. 46 pounds. 46 pounds. 46 pounds. What did we start the uh, thing on? What was we on when we started? Do you remember? It's right, I'll calculate. 46 pounds, guys. Who can give the first 46 pounds? We are 346 pounds away, but I'm looking for the first 46 pounds. Who can donate 46 pounds, guys? 50 pounds. Look, 50 pounds will teach... Eight people to get this guy to pray mat. 
Eight people will get this kind of prayer mat, guys. <coughs> Bismillah. Let's go. Let's go. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Let's go. Allahu Akbar. Alhamdulillah. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, guys. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Forty-six pounds. Forty-six pounds it is. Forty-six pounds. Come on, guys. Forty-six pounds, please. Forty-six pounds. Forty-six pounds. Let's go. Yeah, I'm gonna go. I think I'm gonna need this. Forty-six pounds, guys. Bismillah. Yeah, I'm gonna be there. One. Let's go, guys. Forty-six pounds. Forty-six pounds. Forty-six pounds, guys. Let's go. Come on, guys. Let's go, inshallah, because the team we have to go. We need to carry some stuff to the office quickly. All right, let's do this. Look, in the next six minutes, if we don't get it, we're bouncing. In the six, next last six minutes. Let's see if we can get the 46 pounds in the last six minutes. I'm going to look for, in the last six minutes, guys, I'm going to look for the 346. Let's see if we can push it. Let's see if we can push it, inshallah. Help teach someone how to pray salah, guys. In six minutes, we're going to end the life. In six minutes, we're going to end the life, inshallah. Let's go. Let's go, guys. 46 pounds. 46 pounds is all we're asking for. 46 pounds. If there's someone else who can give 346 pounds, that would be phenomenal. But 46 pounds is what I'm asking for now. And promise this is 46 pounds roughly will help eight people to get this guy to pray mat. Eight people. Eight people will get this guy to pray mat, guys. Bismillah. Do not miss this opportunity. Do not miss this opportunity. Trust me. You don't want to miss this. 46 pounds it is, brothers and sisters. We've got six minutes to go. No, we've got five minutes. Five minutes. Can we pay via PayPal? Well, I, I don't know about that. Uh, try to just pay through here. I don't know about that. I don't want to take no risks. 46 pounds, guys. Is there someone going to come with a knockout? 46 pounds. We need the first 46 pounds. Bismillah. Help teach someone how to pray salah, guys. 50 pounds will help teach eight people to get this guy to pray mat. If eight people learn salah and give it to someone else, that's 16 people. Eight to 16 people to learn salah, guys. Yes, eight to 16 people to learn salah. From sisters, if somebody gives 100 pounds, we're looking for three people to give 100 pounds. 100 pounds will teach 16 people to 30 people to learn Salah and only Salah learn Surah Fatiha. Brothers and sisters, the second pillar of Islam. Let's go. Let's go. I know we can do this. I know we can do this, guys. We are literally coming to four minutes. We are literally coming to four minutes. We are going to end the live anytime soon. Anytime now. Do not miss the opportunity. Do not miss this opportunity. Let's go. Going once, going twice. Come on, where's the 46 pound, guys? Can we do the 46 pounds? Bismillah. Bismillah. 46 pounds. Look, we need in total 346 pounds. From sisters, 100 pounds will teach 16 to 32 people. Let's go. <coughs> Let's go, guys. Come on, guys. Bismillah. Bismillah. We're going to be here every Thursday and Saturday, guys, inshallah. Most likely Saturday, I'm going to confirm. We're doing general uh, Q&As, etc. and fundraising. Let's go, guys. 346 pounds. 346 pounds. Can we get the first 46 pounds? We've got literally three minutes and 15 seconds to go. Three minutes and 15 seconds. Three minutes and 15 seconds. Let's go. Three minutes and 15 seconds. Whoa. Can we get a donation? Oh. Come on. Don't get too excited. You're mm-hmm. waiting for a million pound donation. 46 pounds. Oh, Shocks, shocks. <laughs> Abdul Karim is ready to be a martyr for the Ummah. 46 pounds, guys. We've got three minutes left. Three minutes left. I'm either looking for 46 pounds or 346 pounds. Who can help us teach brothers and sisters, people, how to pray salah? Get this guy to pray, Matt. Help us to take brothers and sisters today. I sent off a couple, I think about 100, 100 national, and I think about maybe 30 to 50 international orders. Can we what? Can we pray if you're under the influence of alcohol? Uh, you still have to pray. Your salah is not valid. So it's not valid for 40 days, but you still have to pray. What well, are you going to Yeah. Really? Yeah. You have to pray. I swear you're not supposed to pray. You pray once you're sober. You don't pray when you're drunk. So what, what does it mean? Like, I would like... Because uh, it's in their system for how long? Like drunk? What do you mean by drunk? Are you talking about? Oh yeah, I don't, I don't know, but I know like if you are in, un, if you have drunk alcohol, if it's still in your system, 
Yeah, but I would, I, I, would, I would, I would say wait for Sheikh Mohammed. We'll, we'll, we'll ask him. Think about um, making wudu. You have to be conscious. How are you going to be conscious when you're drunk? You're not fully conscious. You're yeah. Right. Yeah, we'll ask Sheikh Mohammed, inshallah. It's usually, but because we know if you drunk alcohol, your salah is not valid. Yeah. Like that, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's ask Sheikh Mohammed, inshallah. Drunk, yeah, so basically, what I mean is like if you're drunk, your salah is not valid. But you have to still pray. So, guys, we've got two minutes left, inshallah. We're looking for the 346 pound donation or even 46 pounds, inshallah. Uh, if not, we're going to end the show. We're going to be here Thursday and Saturday, guys. But in the meantime, if you're watching this, guys, we are still looking for that 46 man, inshallah. We've got one minute and five seconds left. One minute and five seconds left, guys. Bismillah. Bismillah, guys. Bismillah. All right, guys. What we're going to do, we're going to go now, inshallah. May Allah bless and preserve you guys. Uh, we're going to go, inshallah, we'll just carry some stuff to this office. And, brothers and sisters, Thursday, we are going to be here. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Go quick, quickly then. Hello, Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, brother. It's me again. Just somebody who had yeah. uh, wanted to ask a question. Sure, yeah. Uh, he's just a little bit shy to ask. He said that um, if Allah is so merciful, why uh, does he send people to the hellfire? Because Allah is also just. It's yeah. like, it's, it's, it's to, to the, the people who are in the hellfire, they, they deserved being in there. They did it with their own hands. Merciful doesn't mean that, subhanAllah, that, you know, if if I if I have a son who's causing havoc, you know, I'm not going to say, "Oh, he's my son and I love him so much." My justice will come in and be like, "No, he is going and killing innocent people." So therefore, the capital punishment will be applied to him. Do you get it? I'm not going to be like, "Oh, but if I'm really if I'm really a loving father, I will not kill him." No, the oppression he's been doing to others is is what he deserves with his own hand, and and what he does against Allah is far far worse. So people who enter the fire, they deserve it. Jannah is something that is gifted to us. There's nothing we can do to deserve Jannah. But hellfire is something what they did themselves. Allah has given them multiple opportunities in multiple ways to enter Jannah. It's not impossible to enter Jannah at all. Yeah? It's actually, if you think about it, it's nearly impossible to enter the hellfire. So if people choose the hellfire when it's a near impossibility to go there, they, they, they damn deserved it. You know, if I tell you there's a cliff 100,000 million miles away that side, don't go. And you spend the rest of your life walking towards it and you fall of it. That's your fault. <laughs> it's, 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 it, you had to go out your way to go there. So people who enter the fire are people who have deserved it. Alhamdulillah. Thank you, brother. No problem. May Allah bless you. Take care. Alhamdulillah, somebody donated 50 or 60 pounds. May Allah bless you, inshallah. We're going to end the live here, guys. <coughs> uh, let me just see who it was from. <coughs> who was it from? Uh, anonymous. anonymous donation. May Allah bless you, inshallah. Uh, preserve you guys carry on the donations come forward it was 50 pounds amazing donation bro. Since we're going to be here thursday inshallah take care look after yourself that was a phenomenal donation guys uh assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh